fucking hell. Can we swing up where we need to get here? Pizza time. And before this game will get finished tonight. <sighs> Fuck, I'm already dead. <laughs> Does the map not look like it's flipping us the bird right now? The map is totally flipping us off. That was totally intentional. It has to be, right? There's no way. Can I push this? It's clearly a button. It's the flip off button. It's pointing me in the right direction. It is literally throwing me the fucking finger. Honestly, that should be a, a YouTube short. I went right through that. I went right literally through that. We need like an instant replay on that shit. And I'm not getting a running start. I'm doing myself a disservice. Right, I'm gonna re I'm sorry, guy. Well, I have two lives. We're not gonna re If I die again, I'll reload. And I immediately fucking die. Come on. Oh shit. Whoa, what we <laughs> What the fuck? I mean I'll take it. Med kit. What? They just glitched through the fucking door? The hardware is not where it needs to be here for this to play well. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Uh, Brad Scorpion, you good? Uh. D what? <laughs> All right, we're going in. Oh my god. Shit, I hear him. <laughs> Fuck. Where the hell is he? Oh, fuck. Dude, I, what did I say about the jump scares in this game? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I had to. We need third or better. No, fuck! Live Moss Live, how we feeling? Ass! <laughs> this is the finale. Live Moss Live, how are we feeling? That timing. Holy on, shit. Okay, we gotta go kind of fast. We're running out of fuel. Oh boy, no. Some slick flying here. I'm literally losing my mind. We got this. We got this, dude. Wow, that was tough. I'm gonna be honest, this might be the most lives I've ever had play. <gasps> Hopefully the practice pays off. That is the goal. I'm already... <laughs> what was that about practice paying off? Good old Guy Fieri. Diners, diving... What was it? Diners, drives, and dine... What? Diners... <laughs> Diners... What is it? Fuck. My brain just fizzled there for a second? <laughs> or the fuck it's called. What if I jump out of the car while it's moving? I'm down to one HP. Hey, run me over. Well, that that went that went faster than I thought it would. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. No. You gotta be kidding me, right? I don't think I was supposed to go down here. Checkpoint. Please tell me I spawn in a proper spot. You gotta be kidding me, dude. 
Why would it checkpoint you there? What the actual fuck did I do to deserve this? This is quality. No! Whoa! That's it. Good evening, Janked and Janker. Okay, I just have to Happy make it Taco through this Tuesday. fucking swinging axe. No biggie. Yes! What is this? Let me hit it. <laughs> Wait, what? A self-destruct mechanism. Eight. Whoa, 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 what? Five, four, three. No. Two, no, what? There's the Banshee. Okay. I know how to use it. I deserved that. Oh shit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. My lord. Dude, it's mowing through now. It is absolutely mowing through. Oh, this is this feels wrong. How are we looking? <laughs> well, I officially won a game. There we go. We got it, guys. There we go. Oh my god. Yo, listen to this oh, music. This is so worth winning the game for. Guys. Welcome in. Happy Taco Tuesday, everybody. Ramen, how's it going? Here's the thing, Ramen. I get flack either way, right? I say I'm gonna be late, and then I'm barely late, and people are like, what are you, Kyle, what were you talking about? And then if I don't go live right on time, I get pinged. Where are you? <laughs> what can I say? It's, it's the curse of being the most consistent person on this platform. How's it going, man? It's the way for good seeing you. Epic, what's up? Welcome in. Monica, thank you for the 33 months. Not only that, but the two-year-long streak. How's it going, Monica? It's good seeing you. Happy Taco Tuesday. Hallian, welcome in. Good seeing you. Don't know why Amazon is supporting their competitor. You get three months of Apple TV Plus if you buy or gift a sub, what, on Twitch? Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little strange. What can you do? Anyways, guys, it's good to be back. Thank you for just the extreme level of support over the, over the weekend. We did 22 hours of live time this last weekend. Which is why I did not end up streaming yesterday. I, I needed some time. My voice was actually starting to give out a little bit. And uh, although I did get a video filmed, I don't want to say what it was about yet because it's going to be a few weeks out at this point. I've got a few videos in the can. I can let you guys in on what Friday's video is going to be. It's going to be about the Wayne's World games that we played the other week. But yeah, we're uh, doing some Jank Quest again tonight. Doing a little PS1 edition. Starting with some toe ball number one, which we played a couple weeks back. I'm hoping that we can get through this quest mode and actually unlock Robo Toriyama, because that would be hype. Any response from Astound? I was told, actually, I got an email yesterday, and I was told that they cannot offer service in my area. So, alas, what can you do? And also, I don't have any update on Starlink, so... We're gonna we're gonna hope things just work here. How's it going, Retro Bear? Good seeing you, man. Okay, I did not save, so we are gonna have to do the practice levels again. How to run? Press up. Oh right, you gotta double tap up. R1 is guard. You can turn with R1 in the D-pad. How's it going, Chris? Getting the chill finally, Retro Bear. You deserve it, man. I have a good day off. I actually, like, forced myself not to work on as much shit as I normally do. Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't too bad. Although I did I did get a video filmed. 
And that took that took longer than I expected. That took a couple hours. They always take longer than you expect. I wish I could say I did some fun shit, but it's mostly mostly just resting. Life up. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, I kind of wanted to stream yesterday. It was just, it was more a matter of, like, I didn't have the actual physical energy. <laughs> like, I just didn't, I, I couldn't. I, I, I knew. I knew when I, I knew when I got up that day. I'm just like, it's, it's not happening today. It's just not. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, honestly, sometimes that is all you need. But yeah, for those that don't know, this is uh this is Toe Ball. Really fun 3D fighting fighting game. But uh we are we are playing the quest mode. I had I had played the arcade mode before. So this game has a really unique like dungeon crawling mode here. And eventually there's there's a level with like 30 30 floors. Oh shit. There's a level with 30 floors and if you get to the end of the 30 floors, you fight uh this this was a game designed by uh, Toriyama, and there's actually like a robot version of Toriyama <laughs> that you get to fight at the end. So I'm hoping tonight that we can get to the 30 floors and fight Robo Toriyama and unlock him. How's it going, Dorito? Found these games a little weird and interesting, and not something that you see anymore. Yeah, you don't really see games like this anymore. How's it going, Spike? A Memorian Stone. See, so yeah, there's like a shop system in there. Like, it's it's weirdly full featured. It's it's shockingly full featured. Mexican restaurant gives you too much too much food. That is the sign of a good Mexican restaurant. Now, I don't trust the Mexican restaurant that doesn't give you like basically two <laughs> two full meals in your portion size Fred your girlfriend's extra dual sense controller you lost your Xbox one controller for emulation you're starting to you're starting to like the dual sense yeah no I, honestly the dual sense has grown on me quite a bit oh yes you gotta have the you gotta have the uh, Indiana Jones boulders. Yeah, we get to fight. Mad Mouse. Easy, dude. Easy. Bariatric diet will be four meals. Yeah, almost every time I get food from a local Mexican it's joint, week. it's been a long week. The week just started. How's it going, Stubby? It's Monday. Or, no, it's Tuesday. I guess I guess technically we, we were sorta of into the week at this point. Losing track of days. Nice butt shot. Dude, that tail whip. Strong. Oh right, and then it sends you out every time you complete one. It's Tuesday. I did do we wanna know what Stubby's week's been like so far? Okay, so that was the practice level. Can I go straight to the uh Yo, you'll notice over here. No, I can't. We want Udan's dungeon. That's the one we're looking for. Crab picked up Zombie Revenge on Dreamcast. Why did it take you so long to play that game? Honestly, that one's kind of fun. I, I do think it gets overshadowed by some of the other even beat em ups on the Dreamcast. I know it's it's not my absolute favorite, but it's it's fun enough. Forced to endure the hell that is life without potato salad. Oh, actually, uh, Stubby will be glad to hear. I did have some potato salad today. Dynamite cop is definitely better. Yeah, I don't know. Zombie Revenge left me. I don't know if I'd even go as far as to say it's great. I, I was, I was like a little underwhelmed by that game. Like, not that it was, not that it was bad by any means. It was just, yeah, underwhelming. Like, it was fine. It was serviceable. Graphics definitely show early PS1. I think this was like 95 at the latest. 
Or maybe 96. Actually, I have it right here. Why don't I check? It, it, and this is 96. 16 bucks, so you can't complain. Yeah, that's not too bad for a Dreamcast game. Hard to, hard to find Dreamcast games for under, like, 20 bucks now. How's it going, Fever? This was Square's first PlayStation game, was it? Really? The very first? The potato salad and fairy has blessed me. <laughs> they have. It shows that's for true. It's it's got it's got that nice 1996 PlayStation aesthetic. Oh my god. Uh, can I not get stun locked here? Please and thank you. How's it going, S Bok? I did not mean to run off that ledge. These things happen. What can I say? So I actually I forget what the the wind condition for this level was. Hate when you walk off ledges too. <laughs> it's really easy to do in this game. Cause you'll notice like this is the default move speed. So right, like I'm obviously not gonna play the whole game doing that. So you gotta double tap forward to run. But then you kind of have to press back a couple times to stop the running. So it is a, it is a little awkward. It's got a little bit of that tank control going on. Something about mammoth meat? Did it say that? I'm sure we'll figure it out. I figured it out before. We could figure it out again. Yeah, I don't think it was going to have me play these again. Japan's ninth best-selling console game in 1996. Dang. Fever, you want some other music like Looking Glass or Ram Jam? Looking Glass, like like Brandy Looking Glass. Ooh man, like like early mid 70s kind of rock. S. Pac, you like this game? The quest mode is a good idea, but it's hard to move in it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, you know, Three Dog Knight's pretty good. They're kind of similar. Most of most of Three Dog Knight's output in like the early mid seventies is pretty solid. That's where we started from. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's essentially a dungeon crawler, and then when you hit an enemy, it becomes, you know, a three D fighting game, which. You know, the main, the kind of the main arcade mode of this is just a straight-up fighting game. Dude, them damn ledges. Yeah, I'd check out some Three Dog Night. Let me know what you think. I am going in circles at this point. Is there... What am I missing? I do remember there being some, like... Kind of crazy jumps in this. Hold up, have I not gone this way? There we go. That's your band name, by the way. Those damn ledges. Till ball two. Yeah, I I have yet to get to that one. I mean, I've played the arcade mode, but I haven't I haven't tried the quest mode on it yet. There we go, we found the elevator. Two Balls 2 is a great sequel. <laughs> Leave it to Ramen. But yeah, for those that uh, maybe haven't been to Jank Quest streams before, um, essentially the way it works is there's a new card set and instead of having a timer running, we only we only subtract HP when I actually die in game or somebody plays a card. So it's kind of our it's our format for longer playthroughs. You know, that way there's not a timer always ticking down. Um, we also have some goals if we hit our eight hour. 
Obviously, it's Taco Tuesday. So we gotta wear the costume if we hit it. Oh, shit. Come on, Ill. You got this. What's on the poll right now? Uh, we have actually, speaking of, we have Toeball 2 on the poll and uh, South Park. Those are those are the options. <laughs> One of which I think I'll like, and the other of which uh, is South Park. Oh my god, dude! So I'm pretty sure we got to make a jump here. These damn logs. I am so gonna die. Like, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Oh! <laughs> yep, what did I say? Alright, Hellion is putting seven toward Toeball 2. We're gonna have to do that level again. Shit. And that means we lose some HP. No, don't go to demo mode. Come on. Help me out here, game. The good news is I won't have to do the first level again. We don't have to do the practice level. I mean, thank you for the 20. We're going to need it. Yeah, we're not even we're not even really to the hard part yet. It's going to get worse. Before it gets better, it's going to get worse. I don't even I don't even know if I have to face off the other enemies. Now that we know where the the elevator is, I think I can just go straight to it. What cards cost HP? No, they don't, Stubby. No, I died is what costs us HP. Yeah, no, the, the voting has no no impact on the on the current game. Was there a sequel to Balls? <laughs> uh, there were ports of Balls. I don't know about a proper... I don't think there was a Balls 2 that I know of. We're on the second floor. Okay, yeah, we gotta jump over here. Oh. Kreb, five for South Park, all right. So yeah, for those for those that maybe haven't caught a Jank Quest stream before, a uh, number of things. There are ways to vote, and if you had Platinum Hits vote cards before, they've been they've been moved over. So they're now they're now the Jank Quest vote cards, and instead of voting throughout the week, we just vote during the current game and then move on. Um, so as long as we're playing Toe Ball, the current vote will uh, will keep going. If we if we manage to beat Toe Ball one here, we move to the game with more votes. If we manage to not finish it, be incomplete. We play the game with less votes, essentially. Damn, stubby with the five for South Park. <laughs> All right, that's eleven. So yeah, there's there's a little bit of strategy involved, also keeping the current game alive or not. Damn it, make the jump, dude. Make the jump, dude. There we go. Oh, there was two. There was a second plus one, was there? Uh, I just see one. Are you sure about that? Unless stream uh, stream loots is doing stream loots things. Oh, that throw! I might be dead. That was close. 
Okay, did that even get me anything? There we go, there it is. I was like, I didn't see it get played. Okay, made the jump, thank God. Life up. Oh, that was a poison, because of course. <laughs> of course it was. Alright, well now we're dead. I just gotta clutch this level out with one HP. No problem, right? We got this. Although it'd help if I knew where it was I was supposed to be going here. Oh, dude. Those hops. Epic, thank you for the crunch wrap. The poison was Jerry Garcia's tap water. It's the only logical explanation. Music started and then just ended when the seagull raised his head. <laughs> Damn it, dude! This level's tougher than I remember. Okay. Yeah, and when you die, you have to start the whole level over. It's pretty rough. And we're not again, we're not even to the hard part yet. This isn't even this isn't even the real shit. We haven't even gone to Udan's dungeon yet. Wouldn't mind a crunch wrap right about now, right? I would not either. Yeah, I, I haven't played that Doctor Slump game. It's a it's a Japanese exclusive. I know of it, but I've I've not I've not gotten to play it myself. I've seen some others stream it. The ghoul is no match for ill. Basically, it's Tekken in third person. I mean, I don't think Tekken, at least to my knowledge, no version of Tekken I've played is at a, a dungeon crawling mode. I mean, technically speaking, Tekken's presented in third person too. But I mean, yeah, there's like a there's like a standard arcade fighting mode in this. Just like most most other 3D fighters of the time, but this this has got like a whole extra mode in it. Is there any new stuff to talk about? We just had the cheesy street chalupas the other day during our marathon stream, and they were really good. Like really, really good. Like definitely, definitely worth checking out. Supposed to get uh, progressively easier each time you repeat the level. I that I'm not sure about. Oh, they were they were excellent, Ghost. A little more expensive than your average Taco Bell item, but also the quality of it was pretty high. It's your wild yard street tacos. I can't stop gushing about them. Stubby is putting three on toe ball too. All right, that gets it to ten. Oh, navigation wise, well, yeah, presumably, unless you have horrible, horrible uh, short-term memory like I do. Oh shit! Get that jump. There we go. How much the uh, the street chalupas combo is like eight? What was it, like 820-something? Sure, it's going to depend a little bit on where you live, but yeah, it's... And it's not like a crazy amount of food, but again, what you get is pretty solid. That was a great jump there. I mean, too bad. No, it's not. I mean, for the quality of the food you get, too. Like, it's it's definitely higher quality than the 
the average Taco Bell item, I would say. Right, like I might I might enjoy my my trash taste, but like I can I can acknowledge when an item is you know considerably better than their average. He looks like a Dragon Ball Z t character. Well, this this was Toriyama was involved in the in the creation of this, so it would make a lot of sense. Again, we are we are gunning. The ultimate goal is to unlock Robo Toriyama in this, which yes is a thing. Oh, Boulder! I somehow dodged that. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we gotta be getting close to the end here, I would imagine. Wish well, they take the five layer burrito out of the box. You don't mind it, Hallian? It's it's when you've had the boxes as many times as some of us have, I don't know. I admittedly it's it's like the one item that's always in there. And I think I'm just like I'm numb to it. Yeah, it's, it's just being tired of the same thing. <laughs> Bro. I didn't even have to fight him. The boulder got him for me. That was incredible. Uh, is, there's multiple elevators. You had Baja Blast for the first time, Lieutenant? What'd you think? Oh my... Game, come on now. Why am I jumping sideways? Game over. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Rip. Good stuff. How did I get through this before? I think I had an easier time last time we played this. I think that that was user error. I don't think I was supposed to be going that way. Excited for it? Drink some of it? You're like, eh, it tastes kind of like normal? Normal Mountain Dew? Dude, I can't even like drink normal Mountain Dew. Dude, to me, they're night and day different. I, uh, I apologize for your taste buds. <laughs> How's it going, Prism? Good seeing you. I feel like it's been a while. Yeah, or they watered down your Baja. Or both. I don't know. Can't go, go for the diet yet? Yeah, was, was it V saying, like, I'm surprised you didn't say he posted some pickups. He had, like, a diet Mountain Dew in the shot, and I'm like... He's like, I'm surprised he didn't say anything about it. I'm like, I don't care. You know, drink what you want. You know, I'm not I'm not really a diet soda fan, but I, I get why others are. Won't be able to have soda anymore. I mean, honestly, it's probably a good thing. I I significantly limit my, my soda intake. I, I maybe have soda once every couple weeks, at most. It's definitely not something I, I recommend people drink all the time. Gone for a while at the parents' place and watching them. Well, hopefully you had a good time. It's always nice to get to visit family. Drinkable potato salad. Oh god, like a potato salad puree. That sounds like it would be foul. Makes you happy your kid doesn't mind it. Growing up with you drinking it doesn't necessarily always want something with sugar. Yeah, right. Although I'm not really fully convinced of like how much better for you. Like, I mean... I did, that's the thing. I guess that's my thing with diet soda. It's like, okay, if I'm going to go and drink something like this, and it's probably not good for me. 
Right, I might as well just go all in on it. <laughs> Instead of going for the diet. How's it going, Natsu? Man, the game that came free with the Final Fantasy VII demo. It disappoints me that a lot of people probably viewed this game like that. Because there's so much there's so much more to this. Weakness is energy drinks fever. Yeah, those can be a little dangerous. Yo, how's it going, V? Had giant cups of Pepsi two days in a row. Felt so good, but wrong all at the same time. Yeah, no, it's just... I mean, the caffeine's nice. Yeah, you can't make that jump. Okay, what the fuck, then? What am I supposed to do here? How's it going, Cordy? I, I mean, that... Shit. That jump doesn't look that much further than this one, though. So I'm not, I'm not sure why we're making the closer one and then, and then the inside one we're not making. It's a good fighter though. Number two is even better. Yeah, no, I, number two is actually on our poll for, uh, for Jank Quest here. I might die again here. Low on health. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics series has been canceled. I didn't know it was still going. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I didn't know that was still a thing. The IOC is going to do esports and NFTs. Wow. Yeah, no, we should be able to make this jump. There we go. Okay, down elevator. All right, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there, y'all. Game reminds you of Spawn for PS1. Oh, God. No! Ah, oh, shit. Guys, I think that was the last floor, too. It's bootleg Makujin, basically. I was like in the final gauntlet of that level. Damn it, dude. That a coincidence? What the the Makujin looking enemy? I yeah, I don't know which came first actually. They they do look eerily similar though. That was a great jump. Holy smokes. Aren't they in Japanese lore? Oh, maybe so. Yeah, spawn spawn PS1's not great. Hellboy's even worse though. <laughs> How's it going, Burbotnik? Spawn in the demon's hand is great. That's the Dreamcast one, right? I got some flack for not loving that one. It wasn't bad, but I I didn't quite get the I didn't get the thrill of it. It was all right. Yeah, it's just there's so many arcade like experiences on the Dreamcast that are like that, but better in my eyes. That I don't know, it just felt felt a little flat. Crab, you just picked up spawn on Dreamcast. Armageddon's perhaps the best one, and even then, it's a poor man's devil may cry. Baja Blast Slushy at 7-Eleven. I'm not sure how that would be possible, considering it's a Taco Bell exclusive. Fever with the YYJ. You gotta hit me with that right now. I'm not already struggling enough. Uh, where do I even put that damn thing? Um, you know, I may have to refund it because I can't even find it. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I found it. Unfortunately. <laughs> to 
my demise, I found it. Is this gonna be playable, is the question. Okay, I can still jump. And, and attack, okay, well. Here goes nothing. Oh my, please. Robotnik, thank you for the spare penny. <laughs> this is this is so much tougher with this damn thing. I can hit him. I'm gonna die again. All right, penny for the luck. I'm gonna need it. Especially with this damn Mahjong controller. All right, I will. I will play it one more time with the Mahjong. I think. I think this is gonna be real challenging. Yeah, Seagull cameo. What am I using? This is a. This is the YY Janso controller. It's. It's intended for Mahjong games. Yeah. No. I'm just. We're gonna die so much. How much was it? Oh, it was like next to nothing. It was like five bucks or less. Surprising amount of fighters, specifically 3D ones that had a mode like this. Do you do you know any others offhand? Because I I can't really think of many. I would definitely be down to play more like this. Well, Tekken 3 has what? Tekken Force. Does it have, like, a dungeon crawler like this? Air guys. I haven't tried the one in air guys. Does it look like an NES controller a, a little bit? <laughs> if it were taller and had a screen on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You guys are going bronze. Yeah, no, they they have the Tekken Force mode, but it's 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 more it's more so just a beat 'em up than like a dungeon crawler. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna struggle here with this damn Mahjong controller. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Death by random log. Well, when I when I can barely move. Ready. It's easy to it's easy to get hit by <laughs> by those things. All right, let's try this again. I honestly did not expect it to take this long just to even get back to the main the main dungeon here. We're we're like we're almost done on this one though. I just need to get a good Good playthrough here. Love Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I actually haven't played that one yet. The only one of that generation I've played is Deadly Alliance. Yeah, I guess Street Fighter 6 essentially has... You know, it's kind of taken this concept into the modern age. Yeah, I was gonna say, Conquest with a C, it's Mortal Kombat with a K. You gotta add that K in there. Yeah, I need I need to try the ones with the kart racing mode on it. You guys know me. I, I honestly I I sh I've, I honestly should have played that by now at this point. We'll, we'll get to it though. I'm pretty sure this is a poison. Oh wait, no, that was life max up. Okay, Raven, thank you for the gordita. Oh my god, the fucking jumps. The fucking jumps. <laughs> Damn it, dude. 
We're gonna get there, I promise. If you wreck into a wall, you turn into a blood splat. Nice. Yeah, I need I need to get around to arm again one of these days. Of course it's called combat cart. Hold me to it? What, hold me to playing Mortal Kombat? I mean, we'll get there eventually. And so, yeah, so the way the HP goes down, yeah, it doesn't tick down. It's 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 either if we die in game or people play cards. Figured it would be a nice mix up to the uh like the roulette time streams. Now we don't have to worry about a timer constantly clicking down. This guy just take damage? Fucking day, dude. Get my ass kicked. Yeah, no, it's 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 me dying. I didn't expect to die this much. Cause we're not even we're not even to the hard part yet. We're not even to the 30 floor gauntlet yet. Means I can be more cautious in games that want it to. Well, <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to be cautious. <laughs> I should be more cautious. Doesn't mean I'll play well enough. This is the best character. I I don't know what the best character in this would be. I would I would assume they all have their strengths and their weaknesses. I don't know if there's there's one meta character that's the best. So it's basically like a timer. <laughs> I didn't expect to die this much. There's always a meta. What even is a toe ball? You know, I actually don't know what the, uh, yeah, what the word means. Robotnik, thank you for the ball, huh? Shit! God damn it. Oh my god, can I stop running off the edge? It's funny how the number keeps going down. I can't catch a break. Cards are a cool feature on the channel. Well, thank you, Prism. I've put a lot of work and effort into them. You gotta be number one. That's why it's toe ball number one. We're aiming to be the best. All right, please make the jump. Good. There we go. Okay. I uh, wonder if they ever made a toe ball two. There is a toe ball two. <laughs> they did make one. It does exist. I own it. It's in fact, it's on the pole. Oh my god. Game Fucking over. hell, dude. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. Did I hear about the found NES rare game? No, I haven't. It's called Glug. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't aware. Got him. Got this is not how I envisioned this going. It really isn't. I'm pretty sure we got through this level a lot quicker last time. We'll get there. It's just a matter of time. This fucking log, dude. How's it going, Doc? Gidget. Here he is. We need our trusty co-pilot. We're, we're, that's what we're missing right now.
Okay. Again, the, the tank controls make this kind of tough. Games give you infinite continue wizard and warriors the first ones that way, so I might enjoy it. I don't know. I really didn't like the second game, so I don't know if I don't know if the first one would necessarily be my speed. Infinite continues or not. Brutally frustrating? Yeah, that's not usually my style. God damn it. Make the jump! I'm dead again. <laughs> okay, I have also noticed that the the length of time you hold the jump button, you do get a longer jump the longer you hold it, which is a little awkward because it's on one of the shoulder buttons. This is a little weird, but we'll, we'll get the hang of it. Imagine you mean it being in the afterlife explaining how you got killed by a random log. <laughs> hey, freak accidents happen. What can you say? Never know when you might meet your untimely demise. Come on, dude, please, game. Fuck off right now. I did not expect myself to have such a hard time here. Honest to goodness. This is this is not how I envisioned the night going. Ghoul got hands, dude. I swear. Maybe try somebody else. I might not hurt at this point. The thing is, I played with this character and got through this pretty quickly before, so I, I think it's just a matter of me not fucking playing well today. Dude, what the fuck? Why is he ruining me? And he's blocking every shot I go for. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, see, like I don't I don't think I don't think choosing a different character is gonna make the AI less bullshit in that moment. Virtua Fighter should have had a mode like this. I I think at the time it probably would have been a little too ambitious. Or something like the first Virtual Fighter. His Virtual Fighter was first. Dude, that ghoul. I don't know why he's messing me up so bad. There we go. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Could have added it to the Saturn port, maybe. Well, alas, they did not. I don't know. This seems very much more like a square thing anyway. Not to say Sega couldn't have pulled it off. Not thrilled that we're at like less than half health here. Okay, meat, come on. That'll help us out. There we go. Now the grab. Stop grabbing me! 
Fucking A. Okay, 15 HP left. Wish me luck. That boulder almost got me. Smokes. I would like to be able to play the game game. We'll get there. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. I, again, I did not expect this to go this way. I, I think the other issue is that I think when I played this initially, like, I went around this whole level, and admittedly there are... For killing enemies, you do get items, right? Some of which will, like, increase your maximum health. They'll increase your attack damage. So me trying to just, like, beeline for the exit maybe is causing me some issues. Although, again, really, a lot of that stuff starts coming into play in the later levels. Yo, the germ. Thank you for the 200 bits, man. Good seeing you, dude. How's it going? Okay, that ghoul fight went considerably better than before. Ah, yeah, dude, we're already low. <laughs> I don't know if we're halfway there yet. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't remember this level being long. Come on, there we go. No, dude. Fuck me. Finish some homemade skillet cookie? Wait, what? Homemade skillet cookie? You made cookies in a skillet? Am I reading that right? You bought little mini cast iron skillets. Yeah, I don't I don't know that was a thing. Well, that's cool. This Toriyama L, it is. In fact, we're trying to get Robo Toriyama, although at the rate we're going. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get there. That was beautiful. Love that. That went perfect. Okay, come on. Dude, yes. I saw you, L. <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. I saw it. Oh, come the fuck on. That was, that was, that was, that was mean. We got him back at least. Alright, we got just over half our health. Looking, this is looking okay. Oh my god. Hey, how's it going, Maccas? Welcome back. Gotta love them polygons, them 1996 polygons. There we go. Okay. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Come on, 
please. Oh my god, dude. This is too stressful. This is too stressful. The ghoul! Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Please, dude. Is this the end? How are there so many enemies? Please. Oh, God, dude. Come on. Okay. 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 Oh, this is good. This is good, y'all. That heart there is an extra life. So that means even if we die, we get resurrected. Okay. That was worth doing. It's too boiling to want to do anything for them. Yeah, no, it's been hot lately. How's it going, December? This is Squaresoft, yes. Yes, it is. In fact, it's, unfortunately, it's kind of most famous for having included the demo for Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I think that's what most people know it for. What is this? Oh, shit. We fit the mother load. Mag, is it storming where you're at? Well, hopefully you're staying safe. Ooh, life max up. That's good. Okay, so here is the issue with all these potions. Some of these can be good, and some can be very bad. And you have really no way of knowing unless you throw them at other enemies. So I think I'm going to pass on these, because I don't really want to risk it. Although we do have an extra life. I don't know. Do we risk it? You know what? Fuck it. Okay, that was life down. That was life max down. Okay. Okay. Life full. Poison. Oh my god. Wait, which one was life full again? Was it the, the red one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I dare try the blue one? That's life up. Okay. Yo, how's it going, Triumphant? Holy smokes, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, some of them are really good and others are horrible. Yeah, I was not joking. Got bread. Yeah, so these squares here are like shops. You can spend... You run over them and you spend points and they give you stuff. In Washington, temperature peaked at 110 Fahrenheit? Holy smokes. We got Mad Mouse. Fuck him up with the tail. Yes. Okay. I presume Washington State. That is hot for, like, Pacific Northwest right now. That's crazy. Oh, come on, game. Don't screw me with this. Oh, dude. God, I'm easy. Nope, didn't make it. There we go. Man, those jumps. There we go. Keep the streak. We're trying to keep it up here. Come 
Come on, hit him. Yes. Yes, dude. Beat this game, reward myself with a pizza. I'm hoping, that here's the thing, it's again, the, like the Udan's dungeon is like 30 levels. To get the Robo Toriyama, it takes like 30 levels, and I think my PB was like level 11 or 12 the other night. A couple weeks back, so. We have a long way to go. I hope we can do it, though. Oh, damn it. Do I dare try the potion? Oh, that was life max down? Yeah, get that shit out of here. We don't want, we don't want that garbage. Just had pizza? I <laughs> don't remind you. Was the pizza not very good? You're just, just absolutely stuffed. Another giant mammoth? Boom, dude. Pizza Hut sponsorship, when? I would be very sad if somehow Pizza Hut got back to me sooner than Taco Bell did. Mufu can be kind of a pain in the ass. Mufu more like mofo, dude. <laughs> but like I said. Oh, this asshole. Fall off the edge. Okay, see that 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 heart came in clutch. Dude, come on, please. Yes! 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 That is it! We got the mammoth meat. We can now use Mufu. There we go. All right, mission accomplished. Thank you for the GGs. Now we can actually get to the true test, I think. There might be another mission before we get to Udan's dungeon, but I, I think we can move on. I guess we'll find out here. That was episode two, yeah. Let's see, is it unlocked? It is unlocked, okay. So you'll notice, Udan's dungeon, level infinity. All right, you must defeat Toriyama Robo if you succeed, dot, dot, dot. All right, so this is where shit gets real, guys. This is the true test. So this is 30 floors. 30 freaking floors. Again, our goal is to reach floor 30, and then presumably, I think we're going to have to fight Robotoriyama. Can't let the game die now. Well, we're probably going to die a lot more here. We're going to need some help. That was a life full. Okay, so now we know. Yeah, so the way you test those potions is by throwing them at enemies. It's kind of like the Paper Mario 100 floor battle thing. A similar, similar idea, yeah. More bread I can't eat yet. Need to play this game tonight. I've convinced you. It's really, it's quite fun. Yeah, the nice thing about the meat is that if you have full health and you eat it, you get, like, a defense boost. Which is pretty nice. But yeah, all these, like, stat boosts are gonna be really important here. Yo, Beard, thanks for the Chalupa. How's it going, man? Thank you for the Chalupa on this Taco Tuesday. This glorious Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh, I missed the throw. Defense with a C? It's, a uh, translation. 
There's a very, very difficult Fighter's Destiny challenge. Are you talking Fighter's Destiny on N64? Yeah, those games can be kind of tough, actually. So this lamp here, that, that'll show you the whole map. You hold it. Freaking no rules get fat. I don't have, how am I still getting the credit on that? <laughs> Ooh, that was a life down. That's good. Freaking no rules get fat. I'll, I'll never live that one down. It wasn't even my fault. Yeah, I kind of want to do a video on all the Jackass games. I've played the PS2 version. Still need to play the, uh, the P I think the PSP is pretty much the same game, but there's also a DS version. Yeah, that was Chi. Chi deserves the credit on that. <laughs> All right, that shit's a life down. Get that out of here. Do I dare just drink this one? I should not have done that. <laughs> that was a mistake. How's it going, Morbid? This is a video game ass video game. This is the most video game ass video game. You don't get much more video game than this. Got the Jackass collection and Bad Grandpa for seven Canadian. What is that, like five bucks or less? US? Yeah, kind of hard to go wrong there. Yeah, Jackass on the DS. I'm gonna have to try that one one of these days. How's it going, Jerry? Night's no, going okay. I can't complain. It's good to be back live. Yeah, how's it going, RG? It do be total time. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, that was pretty good. Daughter's at her first non-family sleepover. Can't decide if you're happy or sad. She's at a friend's house. I mean, that's good. But yeah, it reminds you of their growing up. Oh, do you guys see that skull there? If we can grab that skull, the skull, if you throw it at an enemy, it actually deals pretty significant damage. Of course, they're going to pick it up right away. Uh, this is not going well for us. And I'm dead. Well, I tried. It's probably going to be a lot of that happening, if I'm being honest. Yeah, he kind of he kind of fucking thrashed us. An effort was made. An attempt was attempted. <laughs> we'll get there. That that I expected. Especially because we didn't get that much in the way of really good pickups in the uh, the first handful of floors. It is. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little RNG heavy. Because it kind of just depends on what items you're able to find. Crazy Taxi 3. Yeah, see, that's like an actually good pickup. That one I can actually be happy with having recommended somebody. Okay, we got a potion here. I am not gonna... I'm not gonna drink this. Even though I probably, now that I've made that decision, I'm gonna throw it at a, in an enemy and it's gonna be something really good. Just I know how this shit goes. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I am going to drink it. That was a life up. Time commando. That's another one. I don't know if I could be totally proud of that. That recommendation, but... Can you mix vials? Un unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Hey, easy. Oh, you can until wall two, actually? 
Well, I'm glad they added that feature. Yeah, that sounds sick. The only thing you can do in this game is there's like, um, there's a couple other items that you can combine. Like there's one that's like a weight, like a scale. And that one lets you, it basically enhances the effect of an item, which is kind of nice. Got this red guard easy, dude. Wish the movie's Toys with Robin Williams was better than just the appealing set design. Yeah, that movie's a little disappointing. I mean, I kind of found it fascinating to watch just the one time because it's, it's, it's just honestly fascinating to see like somebody of his caliber have like basically a fail like at the peak of his popularity but yeah bit of a disappointing movie for sure this looks like a jacked spider-man what the hell are you seeing guys trees Patch Adams, you hear, is not very good either. Yeah, he was also in Jack. I don't know, I actually kind of like Bicentennial Man. Now watching Toys is rough. Yeah, well, yeah, as a kid, it's a little different, right? Almost anything is entertaining as a kid. Life up, gonna take that. You didn't hate Jack, really. That's the one directed by Francis Ford Coppola, of all people. Just like, how did this happen? How's it going, Xbox clown? You remember this game? Yeah, I really enjoy this one a lot. Yo, heart? Yo, what the fuck? Okay, wait, wait a second. Wait, what? Did the heart despawn? The heart's supposed to give you an extra life that appears at the top. And we don't have it. I think it despawned when we got into the battle. That's so bullshit. The enemy took it? Is that what happened? Oh my god. Of freaking course, dude. Of course. Just toe ball things, you know? Just toe ball things. Oh, this red frog's gonna mess me up. Yo. Yep. 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 Alright. We're down to 181 from 500. We're losing HP at a pretty rapid rate here. What about the band heart? I mean, fantastic group. One hour photo. That's a, I like that movie. I don't know if it's my favorite Robin Williams movie. You got to definitely be in a specific mood to watch that one. Yeah, I think Mrs. Doubtfire is probably my personal favorite. I think it, I honestly think it exemplifies his strengths. More than just about any other role he took. Like, the way he is in... He's able to convince an audience that he's somebody that's, like, entirely different from him in almost every conceivable way. And yet still pull it off convincingly. I think is kind of incredible. Robots is decent. Yeah, I remember, I remember watching that one when I was younger. I actually watched it again recently, like a couple years ago. Yeah, it's not bad. Popeye, the 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 Robert Altman Popeye. It's an, that's a fascinating movie. The Robots G B A O S T. I I can't say I've heard the G B A soundtrack. No. <laughs> can't say I have. It's really good. I would not have guessed that. I would have assumed the opposite, honestly. 
That Ma of course, Macca's has beaten robots on GBA. <laughs> of course. I would expect nothing less. What dreams may come? That was a tearjerker. He cried your eyes out. Is that another Robin Williams? The other th there's some weird things in robot like like some of the soundtrack is done by um, Tom Waits of all people. I'm like Tom Waits is great. Don't get me wrong, but like kind of a strange fit for a kids movie. They somehow make it work though. Okay, there's the skull. If I can get that skull, we'll be set. Problem is they're blocking literally fucking everything. What happened, Cordy? What do you mean, what happened? <laughs> what are you talking about? RIP! I did just die if you're referring to that. We are- we are rapidly running out of HP on this. RIP Blue Sky Studios? Yeah, they no longer exist, unfortunately. Cordy, I'm often juggling multiple conversations. You're going to have to be a little more specific than that. <laughs> it's... We still got DreamWorks, at least. We do still at least have DreamWorks. They can't take away DreamWorks. Oh, yeah, Tom Waits. I was just saying, weird, weird choice for a kid's film. What was the film? Robots. <laughs> it helps to helps to listen. Okay, that was a life fall. That was a life up that I just threw at him. Foo Fighters? That's going quack. Yo, Lehman, welcome in. How's it going? You're just playing some toe ball. I am trying to get through to these 30 floors. <laughs> Schools sound like an old school Rudenscape monster when you hit them. Yeah, the, the sound design is pretty fucking funny. We are already not doing great here. This is not a good attempt. You got done playing some Balatro? I'm probably butchering that name. You have four achievements left. Close to finishing off the set, though. That's exciting. Give me that bread. Delicious. <laughs> no, the grab, dude. The double grab. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Love to see it. I'm gonna 
farm this shop here. I sage a billion dollar franchise. Freaking ice. Aren't there like, they made like what, four of those movies? The announcement for Shrek 5. I, did they show much other than just thing, announcing that it's coming soon? Have they shown any footage? Because I, I mean, I heard about the announcement. I don't know. I, I have to admit I'm not that excited about it. Because the, the way I see it is like they freaking... They perfected the formula of the Shrek films with the second movie. Three was a letdown. I don't think I saw four. Yeah, they peaked it too. I'm like, how could they make a better movie than Shrek 2? Like, it's, just, it's not gonna happen. So why do I care? <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds harsh, but... Genuinely, like, they already perfected the formula. You have a good night, Epic. Third was awful. You enjoyed Forever After. That. Yeah, I've heard I've heard Forever After is definitely better than three. But I just I don't know. I, I it's hard for me to care. Two is the peak. One one is classic. One is still a very, very good movie. But two is just like almost perfection. And then after that, they dropped off. And I'm just like, yeah, lost interest. Another Shrek movie means we'll inevitably get some sort of video game. It, probably, yeah. We'll have that going for us. I still haven't seen Puss in Boots. Almost everybody I've heard talk about it says great things, though. Ooh, that was a life down. That was a good throw. Oh, you love to see it. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll play Shrek 5 the video game <laughs> when that comes out. I feel like we talk about Shrek a lot in general. That would that would be that would be accurate. <laughs> you would not be wrong there. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. By the time Shrek 5 comes out, wouldn't it be surprised if we move to the next generation? If there is going to be a next generation. Wait a minute. This is floor 5, okay. I was like, I was like, did we go back up a floor? We're good. Just for some reason, they put the boss, like, right next to the beginning of this stage. Shrek Marathon win. Maybe Shrektober will happen. I have a lot of games I'd have to grab between now and then, though. It could happen. It could happen. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> we had a goal for it before we didn't hit, so... I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll reinstate the goal. Maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll hit it this time around. So many things peak on the second installment. There there are a number of of instances. I personally think like Back to the Future 2 is my favorite. I know I know that's a hot take for some people, but Yeah, Toy Story 2 is a good example. Get that defense up. Get out of here, mole. Still waiting for the GBA, too. I want to hold your breath on that one, Magus. Star Wars, yeah, Empire Strikes Back.
Spider-Man 2, Raimi Spider-Man 2 for sure, for sure. This dungeon's got a bit of, a bit of a mole problem, just just slightly. Blade 2, huh? I actually haven't seen the Blade films. Back to the Future Part 2, your favorite. Hello, anyone home? That makes about as much sense as a screen door on a battleship. Make like a tree and get out. No, I really do think Part 2 is my favorite. I know a lot of people would say, no, the original's better. I thought it was just so much about the second film I thought was really clever. Hello? Hello? Hello. There it is. Mario 2? You mean Doki Doki Panic? <laughs> Alright, we're up to floor 6. We're getting there, guys. Or I guess I should say down to floor 6. We need a Doki Doki Panic too. That's just a, a a reskin of a Mario game. Go the other direction. Oh, I watched I watched the Raimi Spider-Man two recently when it came back to theaters. Bro, holds up, holds up. In fact, I think I appreciate it more now as an older. An older viewer than I, you know, when I saw it as a kid. Can't miss this floor, mate. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 were released. Yeah, no, it, yeah. They, it, well, they only showed it, I think, for, it was like a week? Maybe even a couple days. It may have been less than that, actually. It was a, it was a pretty short little re-release. Trashy and I just kind of happened to catch it. Yeah, that and Shrek 2, they, they re-released around the same time, yeah. Okay, there's the skull. Can I get it? I'm gonna mess up oleums here. Come on, man. Finish him off. Fucking finish him off. There we go. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Guys, we got it. All right. How's it going, Jawbreaker? This sure is a It's a lovely game. Don't you be smack talking toe ball. Easy, dude. Easy. Yeah, the only downside to the skull is that you gotta kinda keep carrying it around everywhere you go. It's a small price to pay, though. Watch the Sandlot today, V. Kind of surprised they never tried to make that into a game. There's a little. Oh my God, the Life Max. I should not have. Should not have drank that. Unseen monster. The instant kill. Better iconic Shrek song. I mean, I think All Star gets most of the memes. I think I need a hero is more iconic personally. And it's totally subjective, but. No, 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 no. No! Shit. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. That's our that's our personal best today, though. Floor eight. We're getting there. Slowly but surely.
Yo, Beard, thanks for the gordita. Imagine if they made a part where you had to run around from the beast as Ben. He would have been jank central. Is it truly a licensed movie game if it's not jank central? All right, back we go here. We're at 146 HP. If anybody would like to help get us some more HP, you can check out the jank quest packs on the stream loots. Um, also, here's the map as of current. South Park is in the lead. Um, at this point, we manage, ironically, if we manage to not finish Toe Ball 1, we'll be getting Toe Ball 2. We'll be playing next, whichever game gets less votes if we if we manage to die during this game. If we finish it, though, we'll, we'll play the game with more votes. What happens is if HP gets to zero, we move to the game with less votes. Yo, Beard, thank you for the 10, dude. Should you have the cards make sounds based on the picture? Kreb, I want to do that, but that's going to take additional, like, extra hours and hours of my time. <laughs> One of these days, I'd like to do that. But, uh, it, time is a problem. V putting three toward toe ball. Alright. Why wasn't there a Shrek game for Dreamcast? Well, what, Shrek 1 was 90... Was it 99 or 2000? I think just the timing was off. It was 2001. Yeah, the Dreamcast was basically dead by that point. That's why. I mean, I hate to be kind of <laughs> kind of a downer about it, but that, that was just the case with the Dreamcast. By 2001 in the U.S., it was basically dead. All right, Beard, thank you for the packs, dude. Hopefully get some good pulls. Let's get you a bonus wheel spin here. Taco Bell ones could just be a sound clip of me eating. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Beard, thank you again, man. Let's see what you get. Yo, that 20%. As it lands, that's going to be two free audio card packs. But that 20%. Damn, that was a lot of water. All right, Beard's going for that wedge above. Thank you, man. Let's get this 20% going. Put audio or video clips of yourself chewing food anywhere for others to see or hear you. Wow, well, okay. Well, I'm not going to read the rest of that. It's a little harsh. I personally wouldn't do that. I think it's I think it's a little gross. I'm, I'm with you there. I don't know if the punishment fits the crime. <laughs> Let me get this coupon added to the command here. Yeah, we're playing some toe ball currently. All right, Beard, thank you, man. Let me get you some packs as well. Thank you, man. Thank you for kicking things off. Getting us a coupon. Appreciate it, man. Again, hopefully got some good polls, too. All right. How does the next game get decided? Uh, we have a poll. And like I said, depending on whether we finish or lose the current game, if we manage to beat the current game, we move to the game that has more votes by the end. If we fail, if we don't get through the game, we play the vote, the, the game that gets less votes. So there's a little bit of a strategy element to trying to keep or, or kill the current game. Animals eating doesn't bother you. It's just, it's just humans. <laughs> I don't know. Unless they're in my face about it, I kind of don't care. Yo, V with the freaking booster box. Dude, V, thank you, man. 
Damn. All right, let's do some more spins. The germ with the three for South Park. I'll get that added in a second here. Dude, V, the kindness lately. Seriously. Thank you, man. Let me get you a topper. There's that, man. All right. Hype indeed. Oh my god. Chris, dude, thank you for the 10 jank quest. God damn, guys. Chris, I wish you luck on your polls. Thank you, man. Hopefully you get some good ones. Alright. I owe V3 spins and then Chris one. Alright, V, that first spin is gonna be... Time wheel spin, which ironically does nothing today. Um, so I can either give you a, a respin for free on the house, or actually, I guess, I guess we could spin the time wheel and I could kind of multiply it. We could use it as kind of an HP boost. I haven't done that yet though. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm down for whatever. Let me know how you'd like to proceed. Cause I could definitely, we could spin the time wheel and I'd be, I'd, I'd, there, I could do something. Is it time to make an HP wheel? It might be. <laughs> it very well might be. I think V's cooking. He's not sure what to do. Give the power to Kreb? <laughs> Kreb's decision? Yeah, how's it going, Caper? What are we playing today? We're playing some toe ball. HP wheel. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make the wheel right here right now. That's gonna take too long. So we'll we'll use the time wheel. And I think we'll just multiply it by a factor of I don't know, five or ten. I think that's gonna be the move. And how about before I do that, we'll do the other spins I owe here. We'll, we'll save that for last year. All right, V, this is gonna be spin number two. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the time wheel. We'll just multiply it by... We'll multiply it by 10. All right, V, that second spin is gonna be a free roulette pack. Unless you like to wedge a respin. Yeah, times times a thousand. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, no. We ain't doing that. Should you upgrade the Windows 11? Dude, I don't I don't honestly even know how Windows updates work anymore. Like, I don't even know. I don't think I'm on 11. But I'm like, is there is there that much of a difference between 10 and 11? V, there you go, man. All right, spin number three for V. Then Chris gets a spin, and then we'll do our we'll do our HP wheel. All right, spin number three. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, bro. Ten percent coupon. There we go. I assume you're good with that, unless you'd like to wedge your respin, V. Don't update anything unless you have a good reason. That's a mood. We're making it a poll. We'll leave it up to chat. We'll, 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 we'll make chat choose for Retro Bear. All right, we're gonna make it uh, V-Man 10 here. Bada bing, bada bam. There we go. Coupon is active. Let me just get via pack and then. Chris, you're here, right? You're out of ad apocalypse. 
Are you ready for your spin, sir? All right, here we go. Good luck. Chat has decided Retro Bear's fate. He will not be upgrading. Thus far. I'm, I'm also going to go no. Fuck that shit. <laughs> All right, Chris, that is going to be two free audio card packs. Unless you'd like to wedge a respin. Uh, be uh, below is two roulette packs. Above would be another 10% coupon. You also do get a pack for getting the coupon. You're okay with the audio? All right. Let me get you these real fast. All right, there you go, man. Thank you again. Okay, last order of business before we get back to the game. Is to spin the uh, totally HP wheel, not the time wheel. Wink, wink. Alright. Um, and just pay no mind. Pay no mind to that. Okay, so what we're going to do here. Is we're going to shuffle this up. We're going to multiply whatever we hit by a factor of a factor of 10. So like if we land on like plus 10, I'll add 100 HP. There we go. Someone got a booster box. V got a booster box. Yeah. Actually, 10 might be too high. 10 might be too high. I'm and maybe maybe 5 would make more sense. Yeah, because we could get up to 60. If that was by 10, that would be 600 HP. That's a lot. Maybe maybe we maybe we go 5. Make it 20? <laughs> I'm not making it 20. If anything, I'm lowering it. I don't know. Do we think... Do we think... You, I'll give you guys a choice. Should we go 10x or 5x? 10x or 5x? I think five is more reasonable. 10 is kind of crazy, but it also, you know, we like the chaos around here. So maybe, maybe 10 the move. V's saying five and it's V's spin. Seven and a half. <laughs> it is stuttering crab at and I have zero drop frames. Pray to the Lords. Let's, let's go five. We'll see how five goes. If, if if we need in the future to boost it, we can cross that bridge when we get there. Let's, let's go five times two. That would be ten. <laughs> we'll do we'll do five. We'll do five, all right? Here we go. We'll see what we get here. So the game currently has 166 HP. Just Just heads up. Yeah, because I'm also worried if we go by 10 and we get a minus here, which it's looking like, it could kill the game. Yeah, it's going to be a minus 7. So that's going to be, at, at 5x, that's going to be what, 35? See, that would have been significantly more brutal if we 10x'd it. All right, let me uh, quickly do some math here. There we go. Okay, so we're down to 131 HP on the game. Yeah, I think the 5X is the move, especially considering how, how bad that could have been. Kreb, thank you for the crunch wrap, sir. And the Baja. All right. See, our goal, our goal currently is to. This is the thirty-floor gauntlet on Toe Ball here. Our goal is to hopefully reach level thirty and uh, find Robotorium and unlock him. Should Retro Bear go to Windows Eleven? It seems like we have decided 
No. <laughs> Retro, hopefully we helped you. Alright, a couple reminders too. Thank you to everybody that supported tonight. We are we are already I did not expect to be this close to the eight hour goal this soon in the stream. We do hit it, we will go eight hours, and in addition, it is Taco Tuesday. So you know what that means. Get that sweet taco costume. <laughs> Just go to XP. Downgrade the XP. Need to need to upgrade to the potato salad OS. I've been meaning to do that myself, actually. Come to think of it. Ooh, what is this potion? Do I dare drink it? That could have been worse. In all fairness, that could have been worse. <laughs> Dude, every every time I just go for it, it's always bad. Every time. Defy chat, Retro Bear should just go to Linux. Yeah, I've decided I'm not upgrading Windows. I'm actually going to switch OS's entirely. Okay, we're probably going to die here, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I called it. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that fast. But I did call it. <laughs> that time. <laughs> uh, classic. Classic, classic, classic. I mean, I had such little health left. I, I, I halfway expected it, but still. <laughs> Playing a game, oh, trying shit. to beat it. Love being in this Gold channel dude. when you're gaming. Need that eight hours if you plan on beating it tonight. Help keep you in the zone, V. I'm glad I can help. Oh, wait. Did I enter the wrong level? Oh, shit, guys. I, I didn't mean to go in here. Okay, I'm not going to count this toward the HP. There's no way to exit without dying. How's it going, RW? Over. Q always sunny theme, honestly. <laughs> I'm not counting that. That doesn't count against us. I entered the wrong area. Perfect timing, Stubby. Thank you. PlayStation Network is down? What? Really? Well, the Xbox 360 store closed today. This is unrelated, though. Like, the, like their service is down. It's not? I'm glad we've come to a consensus. <laughs> when is it not down? We'll be right back. We'll indeed, Franzel. You can't load any games, RW? Weird. Yo, Chris, thank you for the chips and cheese. Oh my god. These ghouls are kind of feisty. Robotnik with the BG's fact. <laughs> Robotnik is sitting on the BG's facts. What do I got for you? Um, did you know? That they they appeared on a this was a mid nineties release in like ninety five or ninety six they did a a whole bunch of artists got together and did a kind of a tribute to Carol King and covered a whole bunch of her songs and they did um I think they did Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow which is a great song really good cover they just kind of piled up. I was gonna say. Luckily, I have no shortage of facts. Ghost trees, a lot of things seem to be down. Internet on the island where you live was down since the cable was out. It got fixed though, well that's good. We live in a wild world lately. Okay, that was a good one to drink. Life full. Let's go. Oh yeah, also if we somehow again and I don't I don't expect this at all. 
But if we somehow double our goal tonight, I will I will return. It will be the great grand return of Suragaya. It's been a it's been a long time coming. I think they're still doing free shipping right now. I think it's until like tomorrow morning. Cause it ain't worth ordering if they don't got that free shipping going. <laughs> Back now, no need to apologize, RW. You're, you're all good, man. Make a quick work of these guys this time around. See, so you watch stream, you beat a boss you've been stuck on all day. I will I will be glad to take the credit for for the assist. <laughs> GG's V, GG's. All right. Let's see. Do either of these have a skull? No skull. We're just going to go for it. Yeah, you don't have to apologize for anything other than being late. Yeah, and we have a card for that. <laughs> Stubby, thank you for the three. Damn it, I died. Hopefully you get some good pulls, Stubby. Shucks, dude. Gonna play some EDF fever? Yo, enjoy, dude. Leeching away my gaming skills, Tyler. Not that I have that much to begin with. How's it going, Tyler? Good seeing you, man. Now, I mean, I, I think we all have our strengths and weaknesses, right? Like, there are definitely some games I'm pretty bad at. But there's also some games I'm pretty darn good. Really just depends. I... I don't know. I, I, luckily, I feel like I'm decent enough at most things to be able to jump into them. But, there, I mean, there's definitely games where it's just like, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time. I, just, I think that's just normal. Especially when you're playing things you've never played before. Can't be a god at everything. Oh, Stellar Blade. Yeah, cool. Difficulty spike comes out of nowhere though sometimes. Like as much as you like beat em ups, you're not very good. Well, I would I would ask how to define being good at a beat em up. Because most of those are designed to kill you, right? I mean they're arcade games, right? Like the they're by design meant to be difficult. So you have to use quarters. Now that being said, somebody can spend a lot of time on a beat em up and get really good at it, but I would say the average person is probably can probably play through a beat em up no problem, you know. Oh, did EDF six like just come out? I actually wasn't aware. Thought you were pretty decent at Tony Hawk games with those retro achievements are tempting you to eat your controller. Yeah, like, that's that's a good example of a game franchise I'm not very good at, because I just haven't really been able to put in the time to get good at them. I mean, that being said, like, every time I do play them, I, I notice that I get better. Um, but those are, those are tricky games. Yeah, and especially if you're going for, like, RA... Like, bro, those are going to test you. Bread. Eat the Eat the Never been able to beat Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, or Double Dragon. Beat River City Girls, though. Fighting Force took some patience. Well, a lot of those early beat em ups, like in the in the 16-bit era, a lot of those have limited lives and continues on console. 
Whereas like the arcade mode, you can kind of just spam quarters. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't honestly feel too bad if, if you struggle with some of the console beat em ups because a lot of times the amount of lives and continues they give you are, they're, I mean, they're kind of on the lower end. Comic Zone looks beatable. I've gotten to the final boss in Comic Zone. I, I've not been able to finish Comic Zone. One of these days, though. Golden Axe, probably the best beat em up to get fundamentals down. It's it's one of the best, yeah, absolutely. Is it going free? There was meat back here. I'm like, yeah, don't don't hide it. I know it's back here. Comic Zone's good, you've never been able to beat it without cheating. It's it's a tough game. But the thing is, like, that game's only, what, like, six stages or something? It's, it's like, it's legit, like, six stages. So, I mean, I think they made it hard because they knew the game was pretty short. Love the D&D &D beat em ups. I need to, I need to try those. There's, like, a Saturn compilation of those that is pretty highly collectible at this point. Virtua Fighter. It's got that early 3D low polygon style for sure. Yeah, and some of the movement feels a little floaty like like Virtua Fighter. Oh damn it, I just I just gave them like a, the hyper move. I'm fucked. I'm shocked I lived. Yeah, that is one of the best potions in the game right there, is that hyper potion. Yeah, I, I, they are on Steam. Yeah, the collector in me is like, I gotta play those Saturn versions, though. The Steam version is the much more reasonable and realistic approach. Where are they going, Torin? That butt slam was potent. Yeah, tell me about it. Makujin from Tekka. Oh, yeah, we've definitely discussed that. Yeah, I don't know what the story behind that is. We're probably gonna die here. I just life maxed him up. Damn, I was close, y'all. All right, we are down to 86 HP. We're getting low here. EDF World Brothers 2. They got another one coming out in a few months? Pumping out EDFs. <laughs> you know, I respect D3 for finding something that works and just giving the people what they want. Okay, so currently, just heads up. Uh, Tobal 2 is in the lead on the vote by one point. And if we do run out of HP, we move to the game with less votes. So, currently, we will be playing South Park. If we die on this one. This game's pretty good for an early 3D fighter. It definitely is. No, it's, I think it's one of the best of the era. Ocean. World Brothers is like EDF, but chibi voxels and somehow more ridiculous, which is saying a lot for those that don't know what EDF is. It's basically, it's like it, it's like Starship Troopers kind of, and you're fighting off these hordes of like giant insects. It's absolutely ridiculous. So more ridiculous than that. Is saying something. Do I dare? I dare. I should not have dared. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. We don't want that life down.
Too bad EDF6 has Epic. Oh, it's it's got Epic Online integration. On Steam? I honestly hate when they do shit like that. Where it's like you'll buy it on one platform, but then you still need the other one to use it. Like Ubisoft did that for a while. And they might still do it with freaking Uplay. It's like you'd buy a game on Steam, and then you also have to launch Uplay. It's like, alright, this is ridiculous. Civ has to open up the 2K launcher. They have their own as well. When did they introduce that? Because I, I, I own Civ 5, and I don't think that game had it. That must be with a couple of newer ones. Been getting flack for it. Understand why. What game nowadays doesn't get flack before being beloved? Well, I mean, if we're talking about... If we're talking about the freaking... DRM bullshit. I don't know. It's getting absurd. It's getting out of hand. Let's go bronze. XCOM uses the 2K launch. Yeah, I didn't even realize they had their own. But yeah, the cover art for this game is one of my favorite parts about it. <laughs> I mean, it's a great game regardless, but like, man, that cover art. games EA stopping doing that Bioware announced for the Steam release of Dragon Age they're bypassing the EA app altogether and I'm like I mean do they not realize that it just annoys the shit out of the, the customer like it's just absolutely obnoxious we that skull we want that skull nice nice that was really good Toss, toss the skull that way so I can grab the bread. All right, and the reason we want the skull is because you can throw it at enemies and they take damage. Check this out. <laughs> the half his health, boom. Got him easy, dude. You'll love to see it. Now, I think if I leave that skull there, it'll stay. And I can go through the rest of the level to hopefully level up a bit. Give it the option to make an account rather than for... Yeah, I mean, is I mean, I, I guess I don't care about making an account as long as it's an optional thing. But a lot of these DRM kind of implementations force you to use them. Like, it's not like you have a choice. It's like, you're, you're doing this or you're not playing the game. And that's where I get frustrated. Because, like, I already bought it on a service that has DRM. Right? Steam has its own DRM. That was Pog. Thank you, Torrent. <laughs> Shit, this mold actually messing me up. I should have taken the skull with me. We're not looking. That was that was not a good fight. Tobal Two also does have a quest mode. Yeah, it does. Pick up that scale. Thought I could use it with the meat. I guess not with that specific pickup. You're supposed to be able to combine the scales with certain items to get more powerful items. I guess I guess the meat isn't one of those items. How many votes is it at? Uh, currently, let me check it again here. There aren't many votes. It's 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 a close race. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna die here, no. Game over. Fuck. All right, we're down to 61. Uh, Tobal 2 is in the lead. 
by one vote. Um, which means South Park will get played if we if we die here. That ghoul was not having it, no. We got to the fifth floor. Man, dude. Better that that. All right, boosting South Park. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, again. I, I kind of like the way that the votes work on this because it, it makes us question. It's like, all right, which one do we boost? All right? Do we think we can beat the current game? There's a little bit. There's a little bit. There's some layers. There's some complexity. Yeah, I, I think I think when we played this a week or two ago, I think the the best I got was like maybe halfway. I think I got to like, or maybe just under halfway, like floor thirteen or something. Again, there's thirty floors, but again, a lot of it just comes down to RNG and like the items that you're able to to get and the the buffs you're able to gather over the course of playing here. Now we shoot ourselves on the foot as Kyle one C sees this. I would love to one C see this right about now. I would I would I would adore that. That would be fantastic. Okay, that was a light full, now we know. And the nice thing about throwing the potions is once you've done it once and you run into that same potion again, it will tell you what the potion does on, on subsequent pickups. Which is really nice. So you kind of just use the first one as like, okay, we're identifying this one. And if you're wondering, the colors do change. So it's not like, oh man, this pink one is a life up. That means it's going to be life up every time. It's unfortunately not how it works. They are randomized each time you play. Did that potion hit him? I didn't even see it. Oh, I think it. Okay. Interesting. Speedrunners had like a potion chart. Yeah, no, it's 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 randomized. It's randomized each time you play. Is that really the cover art for the game? Uh, this is a Japanese cover art specifically. Although I think the U.S. art's pretty similar. I think they're pretty close. I know usually you usually the US and the Japanese are like way off, but I, I think in this case they're pretty similar. Unless you can do seed manipulation, it looks like Dragon Ball Z. Well Toriyama was involved, so <laughs> it's not a coincidence. In fact, that's what we're aiming for. We're trying to get the Robo Toriyama. Nice, we got him. The Godfather of anime. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, his, yeah, his influence cannot be understated. Basically, this dungeon is 99.9999% dying horribly and then 0. .00001 insane percent god run. It's not wrong. I mean, it's not all luck, but I mean, there's, there's a heavy luck factor for sure. This 
It's like you'll you'll notice each time like if I, I'm trying to pick up meat when I have full health so I can get my defense stat up. Because we have a we have attack points and defense points in the top right, right? The higher those are, the better the better it is. Right? So the more the more boost the more boosting you can do, the better off you'll be. The problem is that boost thing really comes down to the items. So Krebs, thank you for the five layer. Speaking from experience, 17 those. Yeah, there, there's a heavy amount of luck involved for sure, but I mean, some of it is just playing too. There we go. I've definitely, I've definitely made some mistakes. I've, I've, I've taken runs that otherwise probably could have been okay, and uh, probably kind of killed them. Okay, we are on to floor six. I'm low on health though. Was that really a life up? I didn't even like notice it do anything. Like we are we are very close to death right now. 70 HP. US box art is some generic looking shonen dude running toward the cover. Hold up. I thought they were pretty similar. Okay, yeah, no, you're you're right. The US the US version is considerably worse. You're absolutely correct. Yo, beard, thank you for the chalupa. <laughs> oh, this is so much worse. Alright, I gotta I gotta show you guys this. Oh my god. Man, I thought I thought they used the same art in this instance. Once again, we're getting screwed over. Look at this shit. They use it as the back cover. They use the epic Japanese art as the back cover. This is this is the front art for the US version. <laughs> That's so bad. So much worse. Yeah, Japan wins. Oh wait, shit, what did I, did I just spin a wheel? Guess it matches two better. It's kinda, I guess. Toned down. They took a squeegee and bleach to it. Yeah, no, they, it's like they scrubbed it of anything that made it look cool. But I mean, they did that a lot in the U.S. Like, if a game was if if a game was 3D rendered, they're like, we're gonna use like in-game rendering or like you know CG models that are similar to the the in-game models for our artwork. Because I think there was a, there was a feeling, especially in the U.S., that like if they used art that didn't really match the game itself, that they were somehow like, you know, false advertising mixed with the blackout hands. Obsessed with giving North America weird 3D. Oh yeah, well, because it, you know, it, it it did represent what you were gonna see in game a little better, but I don't know, the amount of motion blur and shit they had on that. Like it doesn't even it doesn't look good. Stubby thank you for the Diablo. Alright, do we, we do not know what this blue one does yet, so we're gonna throw it. That was a life max up. I'm kinda wishing I had used that. V with the IRL Diablo. All right, I've got one here. It says, spoiler alert. Here we go, spoiler alert. Oh, I don't have any water either. Spoiler alert, hiccups are almost for sure incoming. Hey, how's it going, Moon Watcher? Milk, bruh. It's not that hot. Robotnik, thank you for the Diablo. Ooh, that's a nasty grab. That's another nasty grab. Oh my god. Into another grab? Game over. What the hell? Oh, sorry about the glitch here.
It's okay, we're back down to double digits. I just died again. We were at 101. We're back down to 76. I always wonder what this game was like. Never played it before. We are doing the quest mode specifically. There is this is essentially like a, a, a 3D arena fighting game. Um, you know, the tournament mode is more like the arcade mode, but we we've really been focusing in on the quest mode. Yeah, it's 25 HP for every death we take, yeah. So I'm I'm sorry, I'm trying not to take deaths, but it's easier said than done in this game. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we're getting like five, six, seven, eight floors in before we die. So, I mean, there's, there's, there's at least that going for us, but yeah, shit's tough. I missed the throw. Speaking of throwing, I'm definitely not throwing for content. Okay. We are, I am giving legit best efforts here. Wanna know why we package DVDs in most games after PS1 in tall boxes rather than jewel cases, even though the dimensions of the disc were the same? Uh, I think I think a lot of it had to do with just letting there be more room for artwork on shelves. Because we even dealt kind of with that issue in the CD era. Where retailers were like, well, you know, the jewel case dimensions don't really show the artwork really great. And so they put the jewel cases in these giant long boxes to kind of try and make up for it. And I think the DVD plastic case was a bit of a compromise. It was like, all right, this gives a little bit more room for the artwork to shine, but we don't have to have these ridiculous long boxes. I think that's really what it was about. More durable, yeah. They 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 don't crack as much as jewel cases do. That's for sure. Looking at Tobal 2's box art, and it's better. But like, what happened to this dude? Thought the biscuits were an entree and not the appetizer. No, that's all muscle mass, Quack. It's all muscle mass. It's just, it's it's hard to imagine such, such physical form, you know? Ooh, that poison, that was a good one, dude. You love to see it. Oh, the life max down, why did I do that to myself? DVDs always came in bigger cases? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's under, that part's understood. I think Daruta was asking why. Which is a fair question. Yeah, I, I think it was just a compromise. It, it, also, the bigger case makes it a little harder to shoplift. You know, in addition to the artwork being easier to see and more prominent. One to match VHS dimensions. Which also make, although I mean, again, you could you could ask why then CDs were the shape that they were, right? Why weren't those more like standard dimensions of what was out? And I think they realized that when we got those stupid long boxes. I say stupid. I actually really like long boxes for how dumb they are. CDs are square because the records are square. Yeah, it makes it makes translating the, the artwork a lot easier. But if we're talking about if we're talking about shelf dimensions, CDs were like a huge hurdle. There were a lot of stores trying to put them in like record racks. And just like, how do we do this? I don't know. We'll add a whole bunch of cardboard outside of it. That'll do it. That'll fix our issue. Damn, dude. Ghoul, get out of here. You 
fucked me up. PS1 EU jewel cases especially were really bulky, yet somehow incredibly flimsy. Yeah, there's there's some Japanese ones that come with larger manuals that I don't think they're quite like the European ones, but they're they're also not nearly as substantial. Yo, Dennis, Welcome thank you for the gifted Dolby. sub, dude. How's it going, man? Good seeing you, dude. Welcome in. Guys, we have the editor, Dennis, in the flesh, Walt Disney, <laughs> in our presence. I'm looking forward to Friday's video. The editor. All right, gray mold. No, no. Okay. Like jewel cases for whatever reason. Maybe it just tickles your brain, or it's the kind of space efficient. Oh, it's very efficient in terms of space for sure. Shouldn't he have a badge? Uh, he has. He has the editor role, but there's no badge. So, and he doesn't want to be a mod. So. <laughs> Not much I can do at that point. You don't have to talk to Twitch about that one. There's an artist badge. I guess I could give Dennis that. It's not really the same. You'll be a mod as long as you don't have any responsibilities. <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily want to give someone a sword if they're not going to do sword things. Love the throwaway nature of jewel cases, Mansta. The throwaway nature? Well, I mean, the long boxes were definitely talking about throwaway. I don't know. I actually really like jewel cases as long as they're older jewel cases. At some point in like the late 90s and the early 2000s, I think there was like a transitional period for sure, but as CDs matured, the cases got flimsier and cheaper. Like if you compare like an old like 80s DVD or an 80s CD release to like a mid late 2000s ones, like they're so much more fragile. Fragile like jewels. They take bullets for the artwork inside. Well, again, like I've got some, like shoot, actually, I have a, I have a, I have an 80s CD sitting right over here. Just to prove my point. Although I, I can't really show you. I'm not gonna sit here and try to break it, but like I found a copy of Billy Joel's Stormfront at a thrift store few years back and this is like an original 89 press and this jewel case is so much better I've got some uh, back there that are from like the early mid late 2000s and you can just feel like this ain't going anywhere like sure it'll get scuffed up I mean it's it's quite scratched the uh, the reflection hits it right but I mean, you kind of expect that. But like, this is not cracked at all. Whereas like newer CDs, bro, you look at them wrong, they crack. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. They're easy to replace, that's true. Yes, replacing jewel cases is pretty easy. How's it going, Sorcerer Lance? Wasn't this game supposed to be the Chrono Trigger fighting? I don't know any tie-in to Chrono Trigger here. And, I mean, uh, Air Guys has a bunch of Final Fantasy characters. I don't know about a Chrono Trigger one, though. I think it would be kind of the opposite as plastic technology gets better. It's, it's, they're, it, it, they're making them cheaper so they weigh less. So they're easier to ship. Back tray was so flimsy it flexed under its own weight. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, no, you'd, you'd think, oh, they'd get higher quality, but no, it's it's like they're they're shipping in higher volumes, or at least, you know, 
in the early 2000s they were shipping at higher volumes. So I think the thought was if we can if we can make each jewel case way less, you know, we'll save money. That came at the uh, significant downside of them being flimsy as shit. That was a good throw. And it was a life down. Love to see it. Print, print and label and burn CDR. Yeah, there's a lot of print on demand shit going on. It's kind of a solved problem now since we have music streaming and then you can assume physical buyers are looking to collect and own so they'll want to shell out some more. Yeah, well, I actually, I don't even, I, I haven't bought a new CD in forever. I actually don't know how how CD jewel cases nowadays stack up. Like, if you're buying, like, a limited release CD, I assume they're probably better, but I, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's so many factors, right? There's so many manufacturers of these things that quality varies quite a bit. This game reminds you of Lady in a Leotard. It's the low-poly look of this, for sure. Yeah, the trick is really just, like, going to thrift stores and buying, like, older CDs with the better jewel cases. And then you could swap them out. Get him! Yes, dude. Alright. Life up, and then we'll get the fence up here. Really hope they'd be better. Wonder if some of it has to do with later era jewel cases having to be lighter since they're getting shipped further. It's possible. It's very possible. Is this a game made for me, engineering? I, I think most early 3D games are made for me. <laughs> I freaking love I love the aesthetics and the gameplay styles. No, I am this there's a reason this is my favorite generation of gaming. Basically ever. Custom made? I can't say. I wish. Jank Quest? Oh, that's that's the title of the stream. That's not the title of the game. This is Toeball. I wish this game was made especially for me. I'd feel so special. Especially if Toriyama did it. Bro, ghoul. I need to get it over. Well, it's not. It, it's, it's yeah. It's not actually on the artwork. Yeah, in fact, it's sticking up over the artwork. It's been a long day. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hopefully, you're okay. Was this the life down? No, that was life max up. Okay, we want to drink that. Yeah, the, the shutters before the fights. Yeah, it's, it's almost, yeah, it's almost like some kind of, like, storefront or something. 14 hour a day. Damn, dude. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about that. Because this weekend, we did, like, 22 hours of live time. You know, I almost feel bad that, like, I can't do more without feeling it. But, like, also, in all fairness, most other jobs... You know, like, your mood isn't as much of a factor. <laughs> like, I don't know y about y'all, but it's 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 pretty hard to run a stream and be social when you feel like shit. And when your voice is starting to give out. It's one of the downsides of what I do. I, I wish, I wish the, the physical, I wish my meat sack bag <laughs> sarcophagus could handle more. You're in test automation, you do like production line stuff. Sounds fun. Sounds like it could be alright. Sounds like it could be a decent job. The long hours definitely aren't the greatest, but hopefully you're getting compensated for it.
crash dummies. <laughs> I need Ritalin. I need Adderall. No, at a certain point, you just can't do that. Like, I had to be careful. I, I realized, I would, you know, I filmed a, a YouTube video yesterday. And I could start to feel like, you know, my, my throat was having some trouble. Like, at a certain point, it's just like the body needs rest. Like, you can't... You're not designed to talk as much as somebody like me does. Like, it's just... You're not. I mean, that's kind of part of the life of a content creator. It's like you're already... You're always running your mouth about something. <laughs> it's kind of part of the job description. Just, I think a lot of other people that do this... Probably don't have to put the hours that I do in. There is a skull. Okay, that's good. No. Please, dude. Please. Please, dude. Please. Finish him off. Okay, this is close. All right. Problems with big tech across the board. Waiting for them golden handcuffs kind of roll. I do stream a lot of hours, but it's, you know, it's like... At a certain point, it's out of necessity, you know? I mean, it helps that I love what I do. But yeah, sometimes sometimes it's just like my body, like, just doesn't it doesn't hold in, right? Like, I'd, I'd, I'd stream more if I could. But if, if, if my voice starts to go, or I'm just, like, mentally drained, right? I'm like, I know that's not going to make good content. So at that point, it's just like, okay, I'm going to cut my losses, just not do anything today. Or if I do, I'll work on a YouTube video, or I'll make a thumbnail, or work on some stream loots cards, or do something else. Cause I'm like, I, I kind of know where my limits lie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes, sometimes you're better off just like giving yourself a, a bit of a break. But like yesterday, honestly, if it if it weren't for me just feeling absolutely exhausted, like I I wanted the stream yesterday. Of course, it goes over the mole. Me throwing the skull goes right over his head. We are getting very very low on health, like excruciatingly low. One of these days, I can just have a prop skeleton in the chair on camera while I just game and don't say anything. Yeah, I don't think that would go over as well. Something tells me that wouldn't quite work the same way. There we go. See, that was a good throw. Oh, beautiful. That was textbook. Where did my skull go? Okay, we got him. That's fine. All right, life up. Let's see what this does. That was a life full. I'm wishing I hadn't thrown that at him, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't want to take the chance. Damn, dude, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. It's always when it's useful, exactly. I always, I always drink the potion when it hurts me, and... And throw it at an enemy when it's when it's good for me. Yo, I know this is a shot in the dark question. It sounds empty. It sounds like you've played this. Do you know how many of the? I forget what they're calling the crystals. Do you know how many we need to get the the extra heart? Poker's a lot of hours. Getting your old job back, RW? Poker. Wait, are you like doing like professional poker? What? <laughs> or you're like dealing for poker. You don't remember? Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't figure you would. But I thought I'd ask just in case. I was hoping it was 30 here, it's not. Oh, you casually play? Okay, you made it sound like it was your line of work. I'm like, what? <laughs> Professional poker player in our presence? A 
Okay, we've got an orange potion. Again, I'm afraid to use it just for fear of it being bad. Some things in this game that are hardwired in your head and others that are just basically a complete mystery. Yeah, no, I feel you. Oh, shit. See, that would have been a good one. That was the hyper mode. Damn, dude. That one basically makes us like an unstoppable killing machine. You don't believe poker's a job? I mean, I mean, what makes a job then? I mean, if you can make your living off of it. There are people that are professional poker players. Stubby, thank you for the Diablo. Yeah, we're a little low on uh, Drink Quest HP, by the way. We're 56. Um, if this if this hits zero, we move to the game with less votes. So that would be Toeball too. At this point. Although the uh, the vote's pretty close between it and South Park. It shouldn't be a job. I mean, who who are you the authority to say what should and shouldn't be a job? I mean, somebody if if somebody can make their living off of it, I think that's all that matters. Who am I to tell them they shouldn't be doing it? That was a life up, damn it. Not a horrible one to, to waste, but. I mean, I don't I don't think it's really opinion at that point or a W. I think I think if somebody can make their living off of something, it's a job. I don't think an opinion matters <laughs> at that point. Like, like whether you, whether you think it's a, a good line of work or not is, is entirely different from whether or not it can pay somebody's bills, which is ultimately what a job has to do. If somebody can play poker and make their living that way, it's a job. Like it's not, it's, that's not even like an a, a subjective thing. Yeah, it's just straight up objective fact. You can like or dislike that job, but it doesn't not make it a job. So you, you don't like the idea of somebody monetizing what a lot of people view as a hobby. Is that what you're saying? Viable source of income is a better term than job. You don't care about poker. I, I thought you said you played poker. What the fuck? You say what I do is a job, but it is a viable source of income. It can be one without the other. Yeah, I guess maybe there's a difference there. I mean, I don't think there's a huge difference. I guess I guess it depends. What is the? I guess the difference is like the perceived amount of work put in. Maybe is 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 the point. Oh, dude, this is definitely a job. No, any anybody that thinks what I do isn't a job. <laughs> I'm making it look too easy. Which I guess is what streamers are supposed to do, but like, trust me, it's a job. It absolutely is. Like, I don't, I don't get to do just whatever the fuck I want and have it work and get paid to do it. Like, no, I, I have to put so much extra work in. This is totally a job you get to put up with our nonsense as we judge your video game existence. I mean, there's a lot of upsides. It's it's the best job I've ever worked. But like, there's still aspects about it that make it a job. 
It doesn't become a job until a Taco Bell sponsorship. <laughs> then I've then I've made it. Then I've made it. Then I've truly made it. It's not a job in the conventional se sense of like, oh, go to work a nine to five for a company, clock in, clock out, have benefits and stuff. The old school definition, yeah, it's almost never worked. It's almost never worked. There have always been, there have always been odd jobs, people making their livings through like hustling and, you know. And that that's face it, the the traditional version of a job really is a relatively in the in the grand scheme of humanity is a relatively new phenomenon. <laughs> Honestly, what I do is closer to what most humans have done for the, the majority of time. Alright, you provide a service, you get paid directly for that service. I'm basically Paul Newman. <laughs> Everyone was a laborer tradesman before the 1800s. No, exactly, exactly. Where's my salad dressing? It's it's in the works. Actually, we're going to be releasing our own hot sauce. Looking forward to it. <laughs> no, I wish, honestly. When the pyramids were built, the workers worked 9 to 5, clocked in and out, had vacation days, benefits. You know, the works. They definitely weren't like... Indentured servitude. <laughs> Hobos catching rides on trains doing odd jobs. Those odd jobs inconsistent. They're not thought of as actual jobs because they're unstable. Well, it's 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 those that work stable jobs trying to make themselves feel better about working a stable job. Which is fine. Like, yeah, no, I, what I do is not for everyone. Like, not knowing exactly what your next paycheck is going to be would stress some people the fuck out. You know, I get it. It's not for everyone. Ten years from now, this will be considered a normal job. Well, I think it already should be, but... Getting paid every two months would make you rage? Are there jobs like that? That seems like... That seems like it should be illegal if that's a thing. Imagine waiting 60 days for a paycheck. Tetris is coming to Minecraft, Kreb. What? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? They're putting Tetris in Minecraft? Oh, stoners is what you're saying? I mean, again, I think, I think if, you know, who am I to judge somebody's hobby? Or what they do with their recreational time? If they can afford it. Stoner streamers? There's actually quite, there, I've seen a number of those. Some of which do well for themselves. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I always get paid every month. I've, I've never, I have never gotten, like, a payment held for a month. That's never happened. Yeah, I, it, that would only be if you're making, like, less than $50 a month, which, at that point, uh, yeah, not a job. That's for sure at that point. Five ten cartridges? Well, I don't know what those are. Smoke's not good long term. Oh, it absolutely isn't. I don't think I don't think that's any secret. Oil vapes. Yeah, the the whole world of vapes to me is. I I have a friend or two that vape. I don't get it. But hey, like, if it makes them happy, whatever.
don't smoke for your health. Yeah, and the way I look at it, like, even if I was into that kind of stuff, which I'm really not, like, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, but even then, like, the smoking side of it would worry me. You know, because it screws up your lungs. You, it screws up your your vocal cords, too. Like, I, I use my voice on a daily basis. Like, it's very important that I can speak. So the idea of messing it up with smoke is not, not, not good. Even less than 50 a month could be a job potential. Well, right. I mean, the other thing is, right, yeah, there's... Everybody's gonna have their own... Their own threshold of, like, how much you have to make before something becomes a job. Which I think is ridiculous. I mean, like... Like, for example, my brother's been doing, like, screenwriting. And I would say, like... Genuinely, that's a job, even though he's not getting paid for it right now. Like, he's putting the work in. It's not... It's not, like... I'm just doing this for fun. It's like, dude's grinding out here. Like, yes, at some point you do have to make a living, but... You know, I think I think gatekeeping what is and isn't a job is kind of ridiculous. It's always the jo a job from the start, as long as you approach it as one. Well... Well, that's where streaming gets tricky, because at some point, you have that moment where you're like, if I do this full-time, I could make it work. But, like, almost no one starts streaming as a job, at least that I've talked to. I I've, I didn't when I started. I just kind of fell into it, and I think that's how most people treat it. It's like why, why you like profession. Yeah, it, it gets a little semantic. <laughs> it's just like... It's a little too semantic. You know, it's kind of a, tu a touchy subject for people. Which I which I get. But I don't know. I, I, I tend to... I tend to take a broader approach to like what I consider a job is. I think anybody that somebody... You know, anything that somebody's doing to try and try and sustain their lifestyle and take seriously, like, to me, that's a job. If you do something that's your primary means of income, boom, profession. Right. Yeah, I think so, too. If you produce something, provide a service. Yeah, right? Like... You know, I think, I think, and, and, and I think artists and entertainers especially deal with a lot of bullshit from people that work. You know, I got nothing against a nine to five. Like I've, I've worked nine to fives, but again, I think it, it, it's more so, I think people can't understand the idea of not like working for a company that's providing you a paycheck. Like, it's just like, it, 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 it like short circuits their brain or something. It's, that's, that, it's, at least that's the feeling I've gotten trying to explain it to people that can't really wrap their heads around it. They're like, you play video games and it's your living. Like, what? And you're not an esports person. Like, they just, it's like, it doesn't make sense. People are scared of the lack of stability. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're self-employed, precisely. Which, like, that isn't that unusual. Like, that's fairly common. There, there's a lot of that going on. But I think I think a lot of people that have never, never tried or don't know anybody that does that kind of work, just, like, it confuses people. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's become a little more normalized, for sure. I think it's become a little more normalized with, with like, gig work, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Lyft, all that kind of... Well, yeah, they're independent contractors. 
Yeah, technically in like a legal sense is slightly different, but being employed by an employer doesn't grant you stability either. That's true. That is definitely true. I think it's just it's it's generally more stability than than certain forms of self-employment. Again, generally. Obviously there's exceptions. Yeah, and I've 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 heard stories of like you know, if anybody remembers like uh Barnacle's Nerdgasm, I remember watching him back in the day and he had before he went full time on YouTube, he got laid off from Microsoft after like ten years of working there. So, I mean you, you truly never know what's gonna happen. par for the course these days, which is really unfortunate that there's no loyalty between between corporations and their employees. I don't know, that, that, that makes me sad, and that's one of the reasons that I kind of started pursuing this. Because I'm like, yeah, unfortunately a lot of companies don't really care about their employees. They view them as disposable. Company does layoffs every Christmas. What an awful time. What an awful time to do layoffs. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Get out of here. Damn. Burbonic, even stuff like that meets them in the middle. There's a brand name, right? They're like, oh, you do DoorDash. That's okay. Yeah, gotcha. But I think also with DoorDash and Uber, I mean, like, the majority of the people doing that stuff are doing it, you know, in addition. It's, like, supplementary income. You know, not to say there aren't people doing DoorDash and Uber and all that full-time, because there definitely are. But I think, I think the majority of those people are kind of doing it in addition to something else, usually. Damn, dude. All right, we're down to... 6 HP. <laughs> Very low here. At least they got a subscription to the Jelly of the Month Club. It's the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. That's not many H's or P's, no. Engineering, that's why you injected yourself into the military side. Forever job, there you go. Military industrial complex. <laughs> hey man, whatever you can do, honestly. What are the votes at? Currently, I think South Park's in the lead, which means if we lose this, we play toe ball too. Robotnik with the three for toe ball. She gets it back in the lead. Which means we'd be playing South Park if this runs out of HP. Chris, thank you for the Chalupa. Uh, oh, was that after? Wait, hold on. Did that go through? Wait a second. What? Because <laughs> we were at, what, six? And then and then Chris just added, wait, how much is the steak chalupa? Things are happening. Things are happening. Let me just let me just double check here. Okay, the chalupa is 20. Right, so that would put us at 26. Head trauma is 50. Okay, so we're, we're where we need to be. Sorry, it's just a, a couple card plays came in all at the same time. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, we're fine. 11, 11 is Craig. Chalupa's been half consumed. You hate to see it. Yo, Hallian, thank you for the hot coffee. <laughs> that freaking card. <laughs> that freaking card every time. Guys, don't tell Twitch, okay? It's our little secret. It's okay, it's censored. Chalupas are... Have you had the engineering? Have you had the, the the cheesy street chalupas? Holy smokes. Those new Taco Bell street chalupas are good. Let's 
25 HP for each death. Yeah, the burrito, though. Oh, they have a street burrito as well? Yeah, dude, the avocado. Yeah, the, the, the like, avocado verde sauce. It's good stuff. All right, defense up. Tacos are cool. <laughs> Like Bill and I have tacos. Science is cool. Bill, 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 Bill. Oh my God, Waz, thank you for the 30. All right, that gets us up to 85. Speaking of tacos, Waz was not kidding. Tacos are cool. <laughs> We're getting our taco costume on. Thank you, Waz. Let me first get you a topper here. At least you think it was a burrito. It totally could have been tacos. Bro is so on that grind. He doesn't even know what he's eating. I Honestly, I've been there. Dude, I, I hope you get to relax one of these days soon. The suit cometh backeth. <laughs> Indeed it do. Money gun? Do we want to do the money gun? We can do the money gun. I'm down. The least I can do. Alright. Wise, thank you again. Hopefully got some good pulls on the packs. Here we go. Let's see if Waz can go three for three on the toppers again. Here we go. Land on that was offsides, no, for sure. Contact made. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the wheel. My 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 bad. My apologies. Should we respin? It was gonna be 10. percent Okay. Would you would you prefer a respin or or the 10 percent was? Yeah, cause I I screwed that up. That was that was my bad. <laughs> Coupon's good, alright. Streamer penalty offsides. First down for Waz. Okay, let me get this coupon going. And we'll spin again. That's evidence the wheel is rigged. No, my, my stupid taco costume is interfering. Look at the humiliation you made this man endure. The utter humiliation of wearing a taco costume on screen. Oh, dude, I live for it. I'm gonna be honest. I totally live for it. <laughs> I personally love it. You know, people are talking... You know, this is probably one of the things people would look at and go, Yeah, this is a job. This poor man has to wear this costume. No, I fucking love it. Yeah, I'm proud. I'm 100% proud of it. You'd wear a taco costume if your job paid you for it, right? It's a blessing. All right, Waz going for the wedge below for the topper. <laughs> You've worn less. Uh, okay, so we are going eight hours, by the way. We did hit the we did hit the goal. Well, as there's that topper. All right, one more spin. One more spin. And we got the money gun. Yo, how's it going, Toaster? <laughs> the room, once again, is a mess. And another topper. Bro, is that money gun luck? That money gun luck coming in clutch. 
There you go, Waz. Waz has more toppers than anyone mortal would ever know what to do with. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I clean all this money up right now. I, I don't think I want to. I think it will just have to sit as is. <laughs> Waz, thank you again. All right, let's get back to it. We have 46 HP left on this game. Which gives us wiggle room for one more death at the moment. When was the last Suragaya stream? Uh, like, actually forever ago. I just, uh, the... The amount of disposable extra income has been a little more limited re recently. Well, I should say earlier, earlier in the month. Lately, things have been wild. And I appreciate all the support. We're playing this masterpiece. We really are. We're out here. Dude, we're trying. Not gone as far as I would have liked, but... Hey, we're still alive. We're still kicking. Oh, damn it. I gave them the... So whenever it says dynamite there, I forget what they call the actual potion. It's like some hyper potion. It's one of the best ones. I, I can't believe I just wasted it. How much you guys want to bet if I drink this, it's going to be bad? You know, it actually wasn't. All right, we'll take it. This has to be one of the biggest hidden gems, which is really ironic because a lot of people bought this game strictly because it had the demo for Final Fantasy VII before FF7 came out. And so, like, a lot of people bought this and probably just got it for the demo of FF7, which is really sad. Because this game is so much cooler than, like, second fiddle to FF7, in my opinion. We're, we're giving it the time and, and shine it deserves, you know? Who makes this? This is a uh, Squaresoft. Toe ball number one, aka Final Fantasy VII Lite. Yeah, I think a lot of people treated it that way back in the day, which is, again, really unfortunate. I think, I think toaster just means in the aspect that, you know, it was like, it was viewed, even though really you were buying Toeball 1 and getting the demo, a lot of people viewed it, viewed it more like, I'm buying this Final Fantasy 7 demo and then getting Toeball. Oh, shit. Yo, how's it going, Larry? How did this come back? Because I wanted to play it. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> Pretty basic. Nothing crazy here. How's it going, Larry? Man, can I not combine the 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 scale with any any of those objects? Oh, like mobile phone demo. I got gotcha, you. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good, Larry. I can't complain, man. Do I dare? <laughs> Fuck. That was bad. That was bad, y'all. Do I dare? I should not have. The Life Down X2, dude. The Life Down X2. You hate to see it. We're gonna need some health items. I should not have done that. What's the lore for this? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. If every potion's random, do they change it up floor to floor? 
Uh, so the way it works, each 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 attempt, the potions are different. So yeah, no floor to floor, they're the same, but the colors will change depending on the attempt. So you can, essentially, what you can do is the first time you find the potion of a color, you can either drink it yourself or you can throw it at an enemy and see what it does. And then all subsequent times you pick up a potion of that exact color, it'll tell you what it is. But yeah, it resets every time you die. Wise, thank you for the uh, the cantina tacos. I really should have made a. Uh, I need to make a street chalupas card now. Honestly, be a legendary with how damn good it is. A little punishing, a little bit. Okay, here we go. Toaster, thank you for the Baja. Ooh, gray Mole's messing me up. Ah, dude. This is not good. This is not good. Making you want to take a walk to the local Taco Bell. Can we, like, every time somebody says something like that, guys, can we, like, screenshot these comments? We need to, like, make a big... A big, uh, just compilation of all these times send it to whoever at Taco Bell is willing to look at it they need to know how much I'm spreading the gospel dude then then maybe then maybe I can get that sponsorship <laughs> you should do it though Robotnik <laughs> absolutely we'll make a video Baja Blast is the only reason. I mean, it's a good reason to go. I'm going to have to disagree on it being the only reason. A mosaic, yes. That forms the Jank Jesus logo. That would be glorious. I would love that. Ah, damn it. That's a game over. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Good thing we have HP. All right, we're down to 61. Hits different from a fountain than a bottle. I would agree. I would agree. It's kind of like I'm gonna give I'm gonna give McDonald's a little bit of credit here. I I do think getting Coca-Cola from McDonald's from the fountain is usually better than the uh, the cans or bottles. Daruto, that one, there is there is zero sarcasm in that comment. Zero whatsoever. I have to admit, and I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, trying to get the Taco Bell sponsorship, but I do think the cheese at Crunchwrap was a little bit of a letdown. I, I just, I have to be honest. Not my favorite item from them. I had it once. It was okay. It was edible. It was fine. I probably wouldn't ever order it again. Which Taco Bell was better in the UK? Are they, they they're slacking over there in, in Europe? A rare miss. A rare miss from an otherwise excellent franchise. Brabant, you agree and you like cheese. It. Yeah, it's just, I, when I got mine, the and I assume most of them are like this, just with the way it's made. It's like the cheese it gets a little soggy, and it's like you you, you don't want your cheese it soggy. That's, that that ain't right. Last one you got was literally just a giant cheese it with a sprinkling of meat and cheese. Nothing held it together at all. Yikes! They have a strict contract with Coke. They actually have a slightly more concentrated formulation. That makes sense. That would explain why it's why it seems to taste better because it's more concentrated. You have to eat it out of the hands of the Taco Bell employee at the counter for the optimal crunch. We need the the minimal the minimal sog. <laughs> yeah, because I remember last time I I went probably I don't know three or four weeks ago to McDonald's. And got a Coke. And I hadn't had a Coca-Cola in probably months at that point. 
And I was just like, holy shit, this is what coke is like? Like, what? <laughs> like, this shit is... This shit's strong. Oh my god. That was really unfortunate. Yo, have a good night, RW. Alright. So I threw the hyper potion at them and they just murked us. You want the best coke of your life? Large coke? And they, large would be too much for me. Yeah, I got a medium last time. Even with ice, it was really good. I was like, damn. They got that extra syrup. Yeah, the, the extra concentrate. Fly down under the grill and open that mop for the new cheese and atrocity. The gla the yes, the, the Mexican style glass coke, also very good. This shit's strong. What is this coke? Yeah, that that won't get taken out of context. Thank you, Toaster. <laughs> Waffle House cherry coke, they literally squirt cherry syrup in the coke. That's why people always fight there. <laughs> They're fighting because the cherry coke got them wilded. Oh my god, again? No. Bro. They can't be doing that to me. I'm already almost dead. Really get you going. Warms you up when you feel your slow wind. Wind these. Have a smile in heaven the nice day. <laughs> Love Colombian Coke. Well, I was thank you for the five layer. Yeah, back back in like when I was in like middle school. Cherry Coke is my favorite soda. It's it's still one of my favorites. Absolute classic. Takes takes the existing Coke formula and, and makes it even better. Do I dare here? Okay, good. That was a life down. Nice. Yeah, I still... This is like such a stupid thing to remember, but I, I remember getting up at like the crack of dawn... I mean, I'm to the surprise of nobody, I was in my middle school's robotics club, <laughs> and uh, we were going to a competition that morning, and one of one of the girls knew how much I liked Cherry Coke, and sh so she got she got us a two liter of Cherry Coke. <laughs> the fact that I still remember that, all these years later, I swear I'm not an addict. All right, we're already almost up to full health again. Did I make the move? No, she was a couple years older, and she was graduating like the next, like the ne like like that that next fall. And she was going to a different high school. So unfortunately, it's a universal sign. I mean, I probably should have. Looking back on it, no, dude, I was so not keyed in. Like, I look back, and I'm like, there were definitely girls that were, like, trying to flirt. And I just, like, I wasn't, at the time, like, looking back on it, it's obvious. But at the time, I was just, like, so oblivious. It's okay, none of us were. I Dude, I, like, it, I'm like, there were definitely some girls that I probably, I probably could have had something with. And I just, I was so oblivious. Pepsi Lime. I don't think I've ever had Pepsi Lime. You're going to jail? Don't worry about girls. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't mind being in a relationship. The problem is just time. I'm so focused on my, my business. It's like... A relationship is not in the cards right now, I don't think. Girls sat on your lap and you're like, oh, they just do this with all of their guy friends. They have no interest at all. Yes, I was the same way. I was the same way. I'm like, damn it, I was a fucking idiot, dude. 
It also doesn't help when you have like a crush on somebody and they don't reciprocate and you're like focused on them. <laughs> And then there's these other these these other women that are like definitely into you and you're just like you only have the eyes for one person. And even though it's never gonna happen. That that certainly didn't help either. You didn't go to prom with a girl that offered just because you didn't want to go because it sucked the last time you went by yourself. <laughs> Damn, that was that was a misstep right there. Toaster, you're a bit of a soda addict. Yeah, I for a while there I was too. Like almost every day. Which is definitely not something I would I would personally recommend. You know, you, you like try to make yourself feel better. Like I've I've heard of people that drink like whole like twelve packs of soda in a day or like, you know, entire two liters, and I'm like, okay, that's ridiculous. Like I'd never do that. Like, also having a soda every day, probably, even then, is probably not good. Yeah, and it, it's kind of easy to be like, well, I could be doing worse, right? Like, I could be drinking. Or I could be, or I could be smoking. You know, you kind of, you kind of justify it to yourself. And you're like, well, if I'm going to have advice, like, I could have a worse advice. How's it going, Donicton? Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream zero. Way too good. <laughs> you could be doing all three. You smoke soda. Kreb, can you make a YouTube tutorial for us? Ooh, that poison throw. Dennis, you're two years sober as of today. Yo, dude, congrats, man. Yeah, that's definitely a uh, not easy, not easy, man. Smoking, drinking, like some of that shit can get really addictive. The dude, kudos, man. Major, major W. All right, where the hell am I going here? Here we go. mess up this puppet. Biggest dub of the week, honestly. You know, it's serious. Like, seriously. Like, I, you know, I know of people that have smoked, that have been drinking. Right? I think, I think people that don't have nearly as addictive personalities don't understand just how hard it actually is to overcome that stuff. Like I had a I had a friend of mine that smoked for like ten years. And it took him like a few years on and off to actually quit. But he eventually did, and I was so proud. I'm like, dude, yes. <laughs> like That is what we're talking about. Lizard man has the wettest feet. Yeah, some of the uh, the hit noises. Definitely interesting sound design here. All right. Oh, there is a skull. <laughs> oh, come on. Not only was it a life max up, but then he knocks me off the side. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. That's all that matters. We're fine. Mom went cold turkey after health prom. She smoked for over 30 years. You got to go from 30 years, this is my daily routine, to I'm just done. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Okay, we've got the skull. So the skull we can throw? <laughs> I love it. And it deals a whole bunch of damage. Life max up. We definitely want that. Stop drinking soda a long time ago. You do like six plus cans a day. 
Oh yeah, the sugar and caffeine. I mean, honestly, it's kind of amazing that soda is is so normalized. And and the fact that it's not regulated in the same way that like alcohol or tobacco is. Because like in a lot of ways it's it's it, it can be to some, like just as addictive. Yeah, which is why yeah, the the sugar and the caffeine addiction is is the reason that I cut back. Cause I'm just like I don't want to feel like beholden to this. Like I don't want to I don't want to be able to function on a daily basis because of this, right? Dennis, you have like a week long headache when you cut caffeine out. Yeah, no, it's real. Regular, shockingly sweet. I've had the same thing, Donic. Where yeah, if you, it's been a while. Like like I was saying with with the Coke from. Uh, McDonald's. I was like, this is how sweet regular Coke is? What the hell? There's this much, like, it's like you can taste the sugar, right? And when you're drinking it regularly, it it definitely tones the taste down to your taste buds. Like, it, it just, like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the same. Some diet sodas have more caffeine than the non-diet ones. Get a headache, feel tired, but you can't sleep. Yeah, it's just not, not fun. Sometimes I feel like we took the wrong lessons from Prohibition. Damn, Dor Dorito's jumping, jumping head first into it. Yeah, no, I, I do think it is weird sodas like crazy normalized though, for sure. You yeah, know, I, I don't think, I don't think that's right. Personally, especially because children really aren't educated about it like they should, and it, it's just so normal. It's like, oh, kid goes out to a restaurant, parents are like, oh, we'll get him a soda. Like, it's like they don't even think about it, you know. When you grew up, there were a billion soda commercials on TV, now there's pretty much zero. There's definitely less advertising for it for sure. Drink five gallons of soda every day if you wanted to, and no one can stop you, right? Like, like I don't know. And it, well, it gets into a larger conversation of whether or not people should be restricted. Like, if that's how somebody wants to spend their life, and you know, I, you know, realistically, they're gonna have health problems sooner rather than later. I know it gets into a whole other topic of like, should that even be allowed, right? Should should there be restrictions on that kind of thing? Should people be stopped? I mean, I kind of personally think so, but... I think also, also the education is just not there, too. There's, there's, there's definitely... There's, there's multiple factors. Where's your free water, Ed? Soda was push hard when you were growing up, ghosts. Cigarette ads all the time? Yeah, that's definitely changed. Might ask for water at restaurants, toaster. Yeah, I mean, I, I I try to drink water as often as possible. Like the only times I'll treat myself to a soda, like the the odd occasion where I I go out and get food, which is pretty rare. I don't keep soda in the house anymore. I used to, but I'm like, yeah, it's just if if I make it that easily accessible, I'm gonna drink more of it. Paying for a glass of water is a crime. I think it's ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> There's like a water industry. Imagine charging for something people need to live. And I mean, obviously, like, if you're on your city's water, you pay a little bit for water. But I mean, it's like almost nothing, you know. So I'm more so talking about, like, the bottled water industry. Soda speakeasy. <laughs> yeah, they're going to outlaw sodas and then we'll have, we'll have soda speakeasies. Dude, easy fight. Okay, this is looking this is looking okay. This is looking decent. Never occurs to you to ask for water rest dude, almost every time. I probably annoy a lot of restaurant.
staff. Like, they always ask, like, hey, what do you want to drink? Like, I'll go to a bar with friends. And it's like sometimes some of my friends will get drinks. You know, they'll get they'll get sodas or, or beers or something. Almost every time. I'm just like, yeah, water. Just give me give me some water. Because they upcharge so much at restaurants for drinks. And I mean, I get it. They got to make money, but... Like, drinks are one of the highest upcharge items at restaurants. You're the Sprite guy, Caper. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Your city water is shit. Guy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, if your if your city's infrastructure, <laughs> right? If your if your municipality has like garbage water and sewer systems and stuff. Yeah, sometimes you don't have much of a choice. It's a valid point. Throw this life down at the guy. That that worked pretty well. Come on. Nice. Overproduced sugar, sugary foods by a lot, at least in America. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's the yeah, there's no there's no questioning that. Easy, cheap, maximizes profit. Well yeah, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna tell you that all the sugary foods are like somehow better for you. The corn lobby goes hard. Not wrong. Oh, that was a life full. Damn, I'm wishing I'd use that. But hey, now we know. Every farm near you is a corn farm or a feed farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't surprise me. There's a Taco Bell farm near you. <laughs> Don't look at the ingredients. I mean, honestly, that's kind of the way you have to treat them some of the time. What does the book do? I actually don't remember what this does. Oh, wait, does that? Hold on. Does that? Oh, my God. Oh, that's huge. It identifies items. Wait a second. Okay, so that's a life up. Yo. I've actually... I don't think I've seen the book in this. Yo. It tells them how much HP we the, 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 the enemies got. This, if you have the scale with the book, it gives you even more info. Yo. <laughs> Dude, I, I, honestly, it's it's crazy how you can play this game this much and then like still find just with the way that the items are randomly dropped, like you're still finding new shit like hours in. Oh, this mole is messing me up. That was a close fight. I do not love how close that fight was. But guys, we are PBing. I'm on floor 10. Oh no. <laughs> Life max down. Okay, not touching that. Although that would be a good one to throw at an enemy. Okay, please make the jump. Nope. There we go. Fuck. You hate to see it. But hey, we topped the leaderboard at least. We got that going for us. Okay. Freaking Mufu got us. Instantly destroyed. I mean, I had such little health left. I, You know, I was kind of expecting that, honestly. Unfortunately. Oh, shoot. I accidentally somehow spun the wheel again. This game is fun. It's it's challenging and it's definitely unforgiving, but it's it's fun. May add it to your RA. I don't is there an RA Ready, set for this? Fight. There probably is one actually come come to think of it. 
All right, we're down to 21 HP. That means next time we die, we're uh, we're moving on. Assuming we don't get some more HP. Um, and currently, South Park is losing by one point. And again, if if the current game dies, we play the game with less votes. So <laughs> we're on the we're on the fast track to South Park here. <laughs> get it? It's getting a little scary. When games die, do they get added back to the rotation, or are they dead forever? Uh, nothing's nothing's dead forever around here. Assuming I like the game. Yeah, no, this is this is one I would definitely come back to at another time. I can't I can't tell you when that would be. But yeah, I I wouldn't be like, nope, this game's gone for good. It exists. It's on RA. It's it's got requests though. I mean, 16 isn't that low. 16 is enough that I'm actually kind of surprised. Has it, has it not been claimed yet? Because I know, I know achievement authors can, like, claim games to let people know that they're being worked on. You can as a time traveler. <laughs> You're a time traveler is a part-time job. In 2056, it'll have achievements. Imagine, imagine being a time traveler and like your main concern is what, what retro achievement sets are available. <laughs> and that was a life max up because of course it was. It do be a jank quest. It, it do be, Kreb. That means earth isn't destroyed at least. <laughs> Caper can be believed. Yo, so far so good here. Nice. Beautiful. Love to see it. Wise, thank you for the five layer. Ikadagi! <laughs> Get out of here, puppet. You're mostly a security guard, but you know, you, you dabble in time travel. I can respect that. Okay, that's a dead end. Wait, isn't there a way to flip 180? I think. Uh, that's that's a move. Time traveling security guard movie. It writes itself. The screenplay writes itself. And they're drop. Oh, life max up. Take that. Paul Blart three. <laughs> Yeah, how do we how do we extend the Paul Blart franchise? We make him a time traveler in the third installment. Sounds like something Jean Claude Van Damme would do. That does seem that does seem like a JCVD movie. You're not wrong. Screw Time Cop. Time Guard. Yeah, how's it going, Emmy? I really like this game a lot. It's challenging. You gotta get the segue to 8.8 .8 miles per hour. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Emmy, you beat Bio Billy. Congrats. Not good, not horrible. Yeah, it's kinda it seems kinda underwhelming for Konami's standards, but I don't know, I've I've still thought about picking it up. How smooth this game looks. Yeah, it actually, you know, say what you will about the graphics. I kind of like the graphical style. And the the additional bonus, the additional upside is the fact that, you know, because it's kind of low polygon, the frame rate's actually pretty solid. 
Time traveling security guard who fixes security issues gets fired because there's no need for a security guard. This game has a pretty in-depth grab system. Yeah, there are some there are some definite crazy moves. I don't know how much of the the move sets available in this versus the arcade mode though. I mean, I'm probably just a noob, but there we go. Nice. Okay, we're on to floor five. Yo, Gecko, have a good night. Thanks for being here. Sleep tight. Yeah, this is this is by Toriyama, and the ultimate goal of this quest mode is to get to level 30 and unlock Robo Toriyama. Itadagi. <laughs> King hires an assassin to kill his rival. Assassin says, I already did it. I stabbed him as a baby with my time knife. <laughs> I activated my trap card. If you can beat him, that's the thing, right? Yeah, he's 30 floors up, and my, and my personal best is, like, maybe halfway up. Or halfway down, really. We're going down every time. Bro, did the ghoul get the heart again? I swear. I think he did. Oh my god. If you're wondering what the heart does, it gives you an entire extra health bar. You get basically an extra life. I'm officially going to be able to explain it from game facts. Yeah, I I genuinely don't know how much it would realistically help. I feel like a lot a lot more of how we do is going to come down to how much we're able to upgrade ourselves between floors. Um cuz that makes a huge difference. Like it makes a fight unwinnable versus like a absolute killing. Like you just murder them. A lot of it has to do with the stats that we get throughout the levels. Our strength is at 34. Holy smokes. There we go. Get that ghoul out of here. The real roguelike. No, this seriously. I think that's why I like this game so much. It's almost like it, it reminds me of Toji I'm in a roll in a lot of ways. Nice, that was pretty clean. Okay, don't need that. Up over this way. Finding itself isn't bad in the quest mode is just yeah, the, no, this is definitely I mean I think the I think the fighting mechanics are actually Again, and I'm no expert, I'm not very good, but compared to the other fighters that I've played of this era, it plays really nicely. Second game does also have a quest mode, which might be likely we try here, depending on how things go. Yeah, I would like our health to be a little bit more upgraded than it is. Yeah, it's Master Splinter. We just killed Mer Master Splinter. Yeah, it would be kind of cool to be able to compare and contrast. You can do like 11 different throws. Holy smokes. Uh, speaking of, holy shit, that's a lot of damage. I, there was there was there was no way we we had no chance that bastard and he had the skull there, there was there was no chance still can't beat my favorite fighting game ever star wars 
Masters of Terrace Cassie. You know me too well. There's translation patches for the second game, so quest mode should be playable. Uh, well, I have the original Japanese version. Is there is there that much text in it that it's going to be, like, impossible to understand? Second game, every single quest mode enemy can be unlocked to add to the fighting game roster, so the whole thing's like 250 characters. Wild. She has it going dino. I'd be a little shocked if, if Tobal 2's quest mode is, like, all in Japanese, because the vast majority of this has been in English. What's the vote at currently? Uh, currently, Tobal 2 is in the lead by one point, uh, which means if this game dies, we're playing South Park at the moment. We have 6 HP, so basically the next time I die, we're, we're outie. Oh, yeah, we have... Yeah, we have one kick button and then... Actually, a couple punches. And did I put on a taco suit when we hit the uh, the eight-hour goal? It do be Taco Tuesday. Oh, my God. No. Is my demise coming sooner than I thought? Please, no. Okay, Jesus. WF2 for South Park, okay, which barely puts it above toe ball. See, see the strategy plays here. Oh my god, I did it again. I need to close this wheel. Yeah, toe ball could be using a little bit more health right about now. Someone give toe ball votes. Krev so badly wants to see me play South Park. How's it going, Mac? DF2. DF2. What's DF2? Robotnik with three for toe ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shit's getting interesting. It be getting interesting up in here. How's it going, Mag? Was with the three for South Park. Okay, so for those, for those, I, I know this, this system's a little confusing. If we beat the game that we're on, we play the game with more votes. If we lose the current game, we play the game with less. So that means currently, if we're to die here, we have 6 HP. That means if I die one more time, we play the game with less votes. So currently, that means we'd be playing Toe Ball too. Hopefully, that makes sense. The war begins, indeed. And I'm going to play uh, pretty carefully and slowly. Verbonic tying it up. Uh, you know, I didn't have anything in mind I don't think we've had it a tie yet <laughs> I yeah I, I guess I guess coin flip at that point I think that's the only fair way to do it yo dunk thank you for the lurk that potion just totally missed entirely It was a poison. Sup with the wank PlayStation sub. That was a good poison throw. 100% Sonic Heroes to decide the winner. Let me, uh, let me just... Let me just poke my eyeballs out with an ice pick. I think that would be more fun. <laughs> Waz, thank you for the 20. Another poison, yes. We get 
getting close. We getting close. It's all good. It's all good. I'm at 69 health. Nice. Oh, and we're we're into the first fight, like mini boss zone. Ah, shit. This could go okay or horribly. Fuck. No, but he got me with the skull. All right, we are at one HP. The freaking skull, dude. It's unfair, dude. It's unfair. All right. Well, it's down to this. It is down to this. Uh, reminder, there are some coupons if people want to grab some jank quest packs. Either save or, or kill the game. I mean, hey, who am I to judge? High game, one HP. It is down to the absolute wire. Chris with the vote for toe ball. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. All right, which means again, if the game gets killed, we're off to South Park. Oh my god. We're we're retying. We are retying the poll. <laughs> I love democracy, isn't it great? Some dude was saying all songs after the 16-bit era were trash and the only passable ones were adventures and heroes. Why heroes? Yeah, why would you why would you single out heroes? That is a choice of all time. I can get behind adventure. I would put generations in the spot instead of heroes. Okay, that was a life down. That was a good throw. Did I miss a dynamite cherry? I frankly don't even really know how to use those properly. Oh, that was good. More meat. Get that, uh, get that defense up. Or no, that's the strength up, right? Damn it, I'm too poor. <laughs> Your boy's too poor. I mean, if it's like other 3D fighters of the era, I would think it's probably a couple of the face buttons together for grabs. Okay, it's not X and it's not X and square. Even colors would have been a more respectable answer. Yeah, heroes is heroes is rough. It's guard and medium. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, see, I'm... Did I do it? Disagree with colors being respectable. Dino, you don't like colors? That game is middling. Well, middling's better than outright bad, like Heroes. <laughs> do, what, do you like Heroes more? Do you like Heroes more than colors? Bro, I mean, to each their own, but man, that's a take, if so. Prefer heroes over colors. What the fuck? I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll fully admit bias. I just fucking hate heroes. And I have not played colors, but I've heard better things about colors than, than what I experienced with heroes. They're all well a tier below generations and events. Yeah, for sure. For sure. 
No, I don't. I don't think we're in the minority, Ghost. I think I think Dino and Burbotnik are. <laughs> I mean, again, I respect it. I totally respect it. And again, I haven't played Colors, so maybe Colors is worse than I've heard. But I'm just saying, from what I've heard about Colors, it sounds like I'd like it more than Heroes. Sega. Bro, I went to do Sega in that octave and literally, like, nothing came out just now. <laughs> Toaster, thank you for the chips and cheese. You heard that. Dude, my voice, the 22 hours of weekend streaming is, it's taking it out of me. V with the praise game. I mean, I will say most games, if I were to make this little progress in like hours and hours of playing, I'd normally be annoyed. <laughs> but this game does it so well. It's so engaging that I, I don't even, I don't even care how far we make it. Oh my. Oh, there we go. He reversed it? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I wasn't expecting the reversal there. And we did get the skull. We got the skull. Okay. The fucking skull missed. Oh, dude, stop the game, please. Please. What about colors on DS? I assume that's a, a pretty different game, right? That's pretty uh, probably a pretty strikingly different version. My god, Toaster, thank you for the 10. Hopefully you get some good pulls, man. Let me get you a bonus wheel spin here. Alright. And Toaster save us. <laughs> here we go. Good luck on the spin. And your pulls. Time for some Tekken practice. <laughs> I mean, I beat the arcade mode in this game. I sorta kinda know what I'm doing. All right, Toaster, that is gonna be a topper. Unless you'd like to wedge a respin. Well, perfect. Hard, it's hard to say no to the toppers. You know, thank you, Brabotnik. No, I, that's exactly why I... That's exactly why I put this together. Because, yeah, I mean, like, I could show longer games with a timer, but... It's kind of like the anxiety of it always ticking down, right? Unless I start a game with, like, four hours or something, you know? I do feel like this is a better format for, for longer games, for sure. All right, Toaster, there you go. There's your topper. Good luck on that as well. We are on level five. We have a skull. And we have six HP. Yeah, it's, it's 25 HP per death, so. I'm gonna throw this up. We're gonna hit this. Eat that. There we go. Gives RPGs a chance. <laughs> well, about that. Six is better than one, except not in this case. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, six is not enough to uh, let us survive here. I, that would be a, it. Would be amazing though if we like had the god run this time. Yo, thank you for the cantina tacos toaster. All right, that gives us a little bit more wiggle room. Again, I, I really, I really am trying my best here. This is just a really, it's a really tough game. Yo, that skull throw though. Let's go. Let us go.
Yes. Yes. Yo, Blue, how's it going? Unfortunately, the skull does wear off. We did lose it. Yeah, it has it has most like most items in this. There's like a limited a limited use life. I'm doing pretty well, Blue. I can't complain. A lot of the character specific things in this game are their combo attacks, actually. A lot of the ones for this character you just hold forward. Okay. How's the jank been tonight? Uh we've been playing this all night. It's a great little little PS1 gem. One of my new favorites, honestly. It's it's that good jank. The grab part sold you, Kafer. You're in it. That was a life max down. Okay, that was a good one to throw. Get the meat. Eat the Eat the Guys, we're doing, we're doing good here. Hallion, thank you for the lurk. Have a good night. I like how they have, like, the, the small bread. There's, like, the big loaf of bread, and then we have, like, the, the... It's the same loaf, but just, like, shrunk down. New strat. I mean, I, I can hold two at once. Yeah, actually, let me just grab both. Semi lurk. No worries, Soser. Do what you gotta do, man. Are there hidden walls like Souls games? Uh, to my knowledge, no. At least I don't believe so. We are crushing it. Oh, no wonder our attack points are 37. <laughs> No, the double grab? Fuck, I was doing well. Oh my god, no. Damn Mad Mouse. F's indeed. F's indeed. Holy cannoli is right. All right. Well, we've taken over the leaderboard, at least. One of these days, one of these days, before my time on this earth ends, I will finish this game. Today, today may or not be, may or may not be the day, though. Hitting us with that atomic buster. I'm <laughs> freaking honestly. All right. Do I dare? Was with the vote for toe ball. <laughs> Are we gonna have to play South Park? I was. I was. You know. I. I, I didn't foresee this happening. I love the way we throw items in this, too. Oh, that's a hyper? Oh, yes. Okay, hold on. No, this is this is good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, 
I'm gonna go to floor four and then pop this off, I think. Stubby, you came prepared for war. South Park. All right, they are tied. How's it going, Wesley? They are indeed tied. Yeah, if, if, if it ends in a tie, I guess we'll coin toss for it. Oh my god, the seven for South Park. All right, up to 29. And again, reminders, whichever one has less votes if this game dies, we play next. Unless we just get the absolute god run this run. <laughs> no way. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they're tied again. We're gonna coin toss. <laughs> Holy smoke. War. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. War. War never changes. <laughs> they killed Kenny. Is, is that is that a vote for South Park? I presume so. Hold up. That's uh that's not right. There we go. Raven, thank you for the crunch wrap. Alright, that gets us 26 HP, so I, I can I can be afforded another death. Not that I want to die. Sorry, that was a slip of the fingers. Pay no mind to it. Um, do I dare? I dare. I should not have dared. I should not have dared. I should not have dared. <laughs> oh no. Have a good night, Elliot. Uh, I should not have done that. That was a poison. Guys, I fucked up. Thank you for the chips and cheese. Wait, 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 wait. Meat. Strength up. 65 HP. Not great, but it's better than nothing. Oh, but dude, the dynamite. That hyper. You'll love to see it. Okay, yeah, see, this is why the hyper is one of the best potions in the game. I was not I was not messing around when I said This is like the best item in the game. Honestly, you're planning on saving that, Chris? No, no, we're all here for the chaos anyway. Right. We live for it around here. What's what's life without a little chaos? God, that got closer than it should have. Okay, we looped around. I have a minute 21 left on Hyper. I don't know what this potion does. I don't think I should risk it. Little Billy wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> Half of it reminds you of the Mystery Dungeon games? No, that's, that's valid. Power Stone. I think it's the items. It's reminiscent of Power Stone. Yeah, no, I, I could definitely see that. Get out of here, Grey Mole. Get wrecked. Okay. This next floor is the, the mini boss floor. There's a skull. Life, that was a life full. Oh my, you hate to see it. Toaster, thank you for the penny. God, I hate when that happens. Dang it. That would have helped us. That definitely would have helped us. 
All right. What can you do? You win some, you lose some. That's how it goes. Our hypers almost ran out. Where did the skull go? Ah, uh, dude. Okay, we are we are down to seven HP. Good news is Tobal is behind, so if this game dies, we uh we move to the sequel. <laughs> Found a penny on the floor the other day. It was stuck on the pavement with gum. I, you know, honestly, I'm sure a lot of people would have gone, they would have looked at that and gone, that ain't worth salvaging. Gotta get some inventory done. No worries, Burbondic. Thank you for the raid. The, the raid. The lurk. Thank you for the lurk. That's what I meant to say. Contracting COVID, not worth a penny. Yeah, I see, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I would have messed with that. Who knows how long it'll stay there. Chris, thank you for the Gordita. Getting us close. Okay, defense up, that's good. It was a 20 quid note. Yeah, exactly, right? At what point does it become worth the while? Oh, that was a life max up. That would have been nice to have. That would have been quite nice to have. Give me our strength up. Can I get another one? Strength up. No, that's defense up. And now I'm broke. Delicious. Poison. Yes. Yes. And we got more defense. Old lady in your neighborhood does that with adhesive, though? <laughs> Wait, what? They, like, stick change to the ground with adhesive. That's next level. That's kind of hardcore. Damn, that was a life up. Although we had full health, so it wouldn't have, wouldn't have done much here. Coins on her doorstep. <laughs> Super fun to see people try once you know. So they're not even just like on the sidewalk, they're on her doorstep. Wow. Nothing over there, dang it. I totally missed. How's it going, most known? Kagera. Why does that sound familiar? Damn, why can't I pick up this penny? One day? It, it sounds familiar, but I, I, it's not ringing a, it's not ringing any particular bells. Two day, three day? Are we counting now? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Get out of here, Gray Mole. Alright. 
We looking decent. We looking decent. It's our favorite, though. Floor four. I almost ran off the ledge there. As long as I don't let him hit me with that skull. There we go. It's not a tumor. PSX is one of your favorite all-time cons. Oh, same. I mean, it's it's my favorite, too. 100%. But yeah, I definitely don't claim to have played or know everything. That's for sure. I, I assume Kagero is a PS1 game. Still got your OG hardware? Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> he dodges it. Making me, making me look like a fool. The lens is out? Well, luckily lenses can be replaced. Yeah, I don't think that's enough to get the, the heart here. Should be really it would be really nice to have an extra life. There we go, got him. They program the enemies to know when you have an item upon triggering them. That's honestly pretty big brain. <laughs> That would be pretty big brain. Okay, that's a poison. So we've got two items that can kill. Perfect. Remember the first day you opened yours up? You had Cas Crash Bandicoot Casper and Alien Trilogy. I assume the uh, the Casper game just just called Casper because there's I, I think there's a few Casper games on PS One. Yeah, that would, be, that would be the one that was also on, like, 3DO, right? Oh, there we go. Right, the one based off the movie, the good one. <laughs> the one that's not, like, one of the later ones based off the cartoon that's... Pretty shit. Yeah, I, I played one that was like it was almost like a 2.5D platformer, but it was it was like one of the worst that I've ever played. Like holy smokes, this is bad. No red frog, don't do this to me. Bro, stop blocking. There we go. Get out of here. Can you combine the scale with the skull? Unf unfortunately, I don't think so. Although, I don't know. I didn't land a shot. Maybe maybe you can? Maybe if you throw the skull while you have the scale, it'll do double damage? But I don't, I don't think so. This mission, it just got a hell of a lot more... Impossibler. <laughs> Impossibler. Truly a walking word. That was good. I think what's happening is if you throw the skull too close to the shutter, it leaves your hands behind the shutter. Maybe that's what's happening? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a better explanation than what I can think of. Studio Mark II was going to have graphics like this. If only it had come out, you know? Get that ghoul out of here. We crushed him. Wait, actually, let me... 
Hold up. I gotta I gotta think carefully about how I wanna do this. I think we wanna double the the meat. We're gonna eat the bread first. Oh my that only did one HP. Oh sh well, I totally messed it up now. Yeah, unfortunately you kinda have to juggle items here. Can't wait for when they release Tobal 3 for the PS5. <laughs> You're Delulu. <laughs> Dude, if only we got a third game. I'd be down. I'd be so down. I'd love to see it. Okay, we're not even gonna bother with that bread. It's 1 HP. All right, our attack points are only 19, but our defense is 28. Imagine a Tobal MMO quest mode. That would be wild. No. No. Finish him the fuck off. No, dude. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Guys, this is getting too close, y'all. How's it going, Gog? Guys, I die again. We're 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 off this. Apocalypse 2, PS5. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this could very much be the end of this here. Alright, well wish me luck. Oh yeah, we're fucked. Guys, I tried. All right, the good news. The good news in all of this. Is that Toeball technically was behind by one point. So we're booting up Toeball 2 next. I'm gonna take a quick break. Use the restroom, grab some water, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll play some Tobal too. I'll be right back, dude. I'm getting this. We are gonna get the win. This is the most clutch victory. Okay, guys. Fuck! I read chat without sucking uber ass at games. It's it's a learned skill for sure. Hey, and speaking of, we got first. That's it. That's it. Don't fall off. Oh my god. Oh my god. That needs to be clipped. This? No! Did you did you guys hear my soul leave my body when I missed that grind? There we go. That's what I meant. Fucking kill me. Still have 84 feet? Wait, what? Really? And we're putting? Oh, shit. Uh, rip us. No way! No way! I was so sure I wasn't gonna get that. Yeah, give me that instant replay. Beautiful. That was worth playing this game for. Unfortunate placement of the word calm in the top right. I mean... <laughs> it's perfect. We're going to leave it as is.
I think we're probably gonna have to do this one again, unfortunately. Oh my god. No, yes, dude! The clutch! Get wrecked! Look at how little health I have left. When it is a golf game and you're like trying to do somewhat well. Okay, so that should get me back over. Oh my god! How? That didn't just happen. What the fuck? Cool, I'll take that. Holy smokes. Wow. Eagle. That was clean. That was total blind luck. Entirely blind luck. This is one of the least fun platformers I've ever played. <laughs> I will say, audio-wise, this is the best game so far. This game doesn't make my ears bleed. So we got that going for us. Until, like, within five minutes of setting it up, the emulator's crashing or losing audio or... What are the odds? Yo, this music! Literally the moment All right, we're back. Thank you guys for waiting. We're gonna go ahead and switch to Toeball 2. I think if this one... This one manages to die early, I think we will we will worry about that when we get there. So I'm not gonna bother with another set of votes. Just because I'll be a little surprised if this one dies that quickly. But uh this is this one I ooh man. Even the main menus got way more Japanese. Game Shark lets you use all of them. What there's there's codes. Hopefully two has a dungeon mode. I'm pretty sure it's also gonna have a quest mode. I'm a little worried because this one was Japanese exclusive, whereas the first one was not. Uh, more of the game might be in Japanese, but hopefully it's not to the point where it makes it hard for us to play. There's an English patch ROM. Well, I'm doing real hardware, and I don't have a, I don't have like an, an ODE or anything, so it might be hard to do. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. If it proves to be a problem, then maybe we'll just do the arcade mode. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's get us up to 500. The third option, new game. At least that I understand. All right. This game also has analog, does it? Oh shit, it does. I don't know. I, honestly, I I feel more at home with the D-pad on games like this. Do we go with ill again? Oh, maybe we'll mix it up. Let's go Hom. <laughs> we'll be we'll be Robot Man. Toaster, you're doing Duolingo to read Japanese games. They added charge fireball attacks? Oh boy. There's a whole bunch of text here that I can't read. Oh snap. Forget what he says here. We're, we're not gonna worry about it. Hopefully it's not too important. Comet, could I use my phone? I mean, I could, but that's that's slow things down pretty considerably. Oh my god, what? Oh, this is already way more involved. Oh, fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. This is already so much more. What? We, we may have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew here. They massively expanded. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Okay, so this is clearly a shop where we can buy items, but we have no money.
I mean, we can we can figure out enough context, I think. Although I might this this is like I'm assuming wow, so many text boxes. Yeah, this is this is more than just like dungeon crawler. Like this is straight up this is straight up like an RPG. Let me let me see what they say here. All I can do is give you a little information. It's not wanting to auto-translate, so I have like, to take a photo of it first. As you fight against monsters, you will receive stones with special effects and various medicines. You may be able to get it. They can be synthesized. Whatever that means. The method is easy. Can be hampered by bad font. There we go. All you have to do is place the original stone or medicine on the floor and then throw another stone or medicine at it. So this is the, the combination system. Like the first game. Whoa, hello. Flashlight. The only way to remove the cursed stone is to drink a white medicine, but that medicine can only be created synthetically. The method is easy. That's all you need to know. Please be very careful. Please save this town. Okay. Welcome back, Magus. Can we go out of town? We cannot leave the town yet. Okay, what did this guy say? He says, if you pick up items... Oh, or not. Did you pick up items dropped by the monsters? Especially drugs. If you go outside, you won't know my name. What the fuck? The items the monsters drop. Especially drugs. You want those. You want those. Okay, so I can go this way. I've been vibing to the recently released Deep Purple album. They put out a new album? Welcome, Agdonk. Still writing code, chilling in my, in my sweet vocals. The dulcet tones. All right, who's this guy? Oh, so you're the rumored martial artist. I'm an archaeologist who is ex excavating these ruins. By the way, wouldn't you like to know what, what these ruins are? It's an underground labyrinth built by the gods long ago to keep away demons. The monsters that are now destroying Tagalo Town are probably the monsters that were revived here. Come on, translate. You want to go to the ruins? Question mark? <laughs> Yo, Chris, have a good night. Thanks for being here. First, show me your arm. Oh, yeah, I heard there was a monster's nest in town as well. Seems to be a cave near the church. If you successfully break through, I will recognize you. Come on, come on now. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Kyle can read Japanese. No way. Gillian's like 78. Bro, some people just have it, you know? They don't lose it. Yeah, I can see why this has been translated. I can see why this has been translated. Trying to play this without, uh... Without knowing the language. It, it's... I, I expected it to be a little bit more like... The mode in the first game. What do they say? 
Are you saying you want to pass through here? I've been ordered by King Triel to protect the castle, so I can't let anyone pass. Wow, okay. Rip 360 store, indeed. There's a translation patch that exists, so I don't need to translate. If I want to play the copy that I own, I kind of need to Google Translate through the phone. I don't have a way of playing the translated version on real hardware. Oh, hold on. Do you like to enter the practice dungeon? Sure. Oh, now we're now we're cooking. See, this is more like what we remember. Holy shit. Guru -ru -ru roots. I'll tell you something good. If you guard and turn left and right, you can change the direction on the spot. Now let's go to the graveyard. Get fucked up, Grey Ghoul. Was he Mario? Yucky! Yo, Fever, welcome back. Okay, can I can I grab these? Are the controls gonna be the same? The stanky leg. Oh, there we go. Okay. What is? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they they changed the grab button from a. Uh, from from square to circle, for starters. Stone of Capture plus one. Why is this your new favorite character of all time? He is pretty great. Oh shit, blue jelly. Can I pick up the jelly? I picked up a blue jelly. <laughs> well, I guess that answers that question, huh? Huh, guys? Can I eat the... Oh, shit, we can eat the blue jelly. Guard X2? What the hell? Are we healing? Do we get a gradual heal? So you, you can't eat it. It has various effects, but I can't eat it. That's why I'm eating you? What the... <laughs> you what, mate? Yeah, that's that's got to be like some cheese. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I definitely like the map screen. Visuals have definitely been updated. The map is better. Okay, what does this say? Items on the floor can be picked up with guard and circle. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already, game. Oh yeah, this guy's cracked too cuz the the reach on his on his arms. Oh snap. Anyone you come across becomes playable characters. I was I was told that earlier. Yeah, we we've covered that. We got some options here. For for being a practice dungeon on the first floor, there's certainly a lot of a lot of options here. Make sure to raise your guard level as much as possible in this dungeon, otherwise you'll have a hard time later. That was a waste of time and die. <laughs> Health is regening. This is 96 to 97. Yeah, it is kind of amazing how much a year a difference makes. Yo, I'm invisible? Oh, shit. Oh, we don't trigger the enemies when we're invisible either. Fascinating. S 
stealth mode. I wonder how long does this last? There we go. Okay, it's worn off. Wait, what was that? Oh shit. The problem is the text boxes pop up so quickly on some of these items that like, there's no way I have time to translate them. Get out of here, jelly. Oh, what? Oh, okay, floor two. Yikes. Damn, I almost lost there. Getting a little low on health. Throw your karma at me, or throw the medicine you have at me. Hold the guard button down and press the upper button. Basically telling us we can throw the, the potions at the enemies to figure out what they are. <laughs> Track jeans, beer girl, creak boots. Truck tan legs, train dog beer, Dixie cup. Got a beer in my beer and a Chevy in my truck. Got a dog at the wheel. Cut off jeans, truck, dirt road, back road, be a moonlight, red, white, and blue girl Friday night. <laughs> My god. Oh, that was good. Got a whole bunch of health back. Mecha Papyrus, what? Oh, shit. Guys, I died in the practice dungeon. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even thinking Undertale. I hear Papyrus, I think the font. Um, is that a continue? I probably have to have a save file for that, huh? Don't I? Probably, probably, probably. Well, guys, you know, this one might be a little, a little extra. I think I'll, I'll give it another go and we'll see how we do and see if we get any further. If so, we might keep going. If not, I think I might, I might do the arcade mode on this one. Like, it's, it's impressive that they were able to expand upon this so much, but it's also, as a non-Japanese native speaker, there's a hell of a lot of text. I'm, I'm kind of surprised even the items don't just have some, like, basic English. Considering the first game, I mean, I own the Japanese, we were playing the Japanese version of the first game. And, like, all this stuff was in English. They must have known they were going to take it international. And then maybe with, maybe with this one, they knew it wasn't releasing outside of Japan, so they didn't bother to... Didn't bother to change it. Although, like, it says Floor Zero in English, so I, I don't know. Guess is as good as mine. Supposed to have a US release. And they opted to release Einhander instead. Instead of this? I mean, that's kind of a weird. I don't know how this is really like a sub. Or I don't know how Einhander is like a substitute. Why not release both? Kind of strange. I, I don't know what Square was doing at that time. 
Definitely don't claim to know. It's easier to translate? Well, yeah, Einhander, there's very little to translate. It's a shmup. The Wall 2 is to be released in North America with a planned launch on March 7th, 1998, but the release was canceled. It would have been the sixth and last title to be part of Square's publishing deal with Sony Entertainment America. They just instead opted to release Einhander. Huh. So they had a deal of, of with Sony of America to release a certain amount of games. And I guess they weren't renewing that contract or something? Bro, this mole's gonna get me. The mole got me. Yeah, I guess they had one slot left, and they figure Einhander instead of this. Yeah, for being the quote-unquote practice dungeon, uh, pretty rough. Pretty rough, not gonna lie. Should have used that slot for Saints Row 4. <laughs> Honestly, miss misstep. That's a misfire right there. They goofed up. They goofed up. Makes sense since Einhander was actually a square game. Was this was this not? I thought they developed this. Shall we resort to ill? Maybe I should try a different character. Oh, they were Dream Factory, that's right. Okay. Fair enough. I just, I definitely just ran over one of those, uh, one of those money gun bills. You say we play South Park? <laughs> well, of course you would, Grev. Not biased at all. Totally not biased. Never, never, not once. I don't know, I'm not gonna be disappointed if we don't play, if we don't play South Park. Kreb is seething right now. Yeah, if I die again, I'll, I'll switch characters. Sounds like the play. Game show game's not forced at all. Not at all. Actually, I do want to do, one of these days, a marathon of every version of Family Feud. I think that would make for a good video. Bro, the first enemy got me. Okay, yeah, we're swapping characters. Make a deal if this dies early, then we, we do South Park. I don't know if I want to necessarily incentivize people killing this, though. Air guy, air guys is fun. Let's try, you know what? Let's, let's try ill. Let's see how he plays in this. Get a, get a, get a one to one comparison. Definitely higher polygon count for starters. Air Guys also has a quest mode. See, so that one I also have the Japanese version of. I'm, I'm curious if it goes the toe ball number one route where I can play it. Or if it goes the number two route where, like, everything's in Japanese. I guess we could find out. The model does look better. Yeah, definitely higher polygon count. Don't tempt you with a good time, Crow. Because we all know how, how great of a good time South Park on PS1 is. It's so much fun, right? It's a hoot and a holler. <laughs> it's why you don't play it. It's too good. Yo, Hyper. I like the music they add for Hyper in this. It's like the Mario Kart invincibility music. Holy shit. Like it's stolen from something. Now nah, Mario Kart can't freaking, they can't claim that as IP infringement. Yo. Jeez. 
kill this penguin, though. Damn penguin. Yo. <laughs> Holy smokes. Penguins dropping mystery meat here. And we're at a hyper mode, damn it. You hate to see it. Also stated because they were working on translations for Final Fantasy 7 and Bushido Blade, they lack the time and resources to translate it. I, I mean, I guess that's fair. It's just weird to me that the first game is pretty much playable, like regardless of the the version you end up picking up. I mean, even if I didn't have even if I didn't have English text in the first game, like, I think that it's simple enough you'd be able to figure it out. This one, I worry, like, progressing through the game is gonna be a problem. Publishing deal with Sony prohibited them from contracting, or contracting translations. The third-party company, they had to do it themselves, right? Dude, those moles. Them moles, man. Actually, I ought to check out while we're uh, loading back in here. Suragaya. When does their free shipping end? August 1st at 18, 1800 Japan Standard Time. I think that's like 6 in the morning here or something. Okay, so we have, we have till the end of, till the end of tonight. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe the moles won't ruin me th this time around. Come on now. Ooh, that was good. That was tasty. And I love how, like, the, the, the music's almost like lo-fi. I assume that had to be an aesthetic, or actually maybe it wasn't an aesthetic choice, just because there's so much in this game. There's so much content. Maybe they actually had to compress the music. Yo, nice. Frogs. Get wrecked, frog. I will say these areas feel a lot more empty than the than the the, the first game's dungeons. Like, there's a lot less items. I mean, maybe it's because it's the practice dungeon, but. Seems like it's it's it not only did they make these areas bigger, but there's less in them. That noise. Grow or shrink at the character selection screen, hold L2 and R2 and press X to choose your character. During the game, press L2 to shrink and R2 to grow. What the heck? Or how big can you get in this game? Yo. If we die again, maybe I'll try it. Just gonna ask that. It's like, yeah, can we break the game? 
gets so big that we like clip through everything. I wonder how combat works at that size. Or get so small that the enemies can't hit you. You're a constantly moving tiny hitbox. Oh shoot, is that poison? We're losing health. I... Is that gonna wear off? In response to the first game's Nork and Snork character. What names? Yo, hyper mode. Let's get him. That's ridiculous. Holy smokes. Skip our beating our ass, honestly. Bro is just tanking all of it. This frog. I have three HP, y'all. And my max went down. Snork was a big character that was a boss character. Snork was small Nork. That was the version you could play as. Looks like the frog kissed me. And we're out of hyper. I am somehow alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked they give you. They put us to sleep? Wait, what the fuck? How long does this last? Oh, it heals us? Oh, good. Okay. Oh, excellent. Alright. We're looking good. We're looking good here. <laughs> I love that that dude's name is just Boxman. Tetsujin. Wait, what the hell is Tetsujin? Second bar seems like it might be like stamina? Yeah, you're white mouse. Taking your cheese. Got that fancy white cheese. <laughs> <laughs> noises. Oh, it stands for Iron Man. Okay, so it probably, it probably like greatly reduces the amount of damage we take. Yeah, we're screwing them up now. Damn it. Floor three. I I love that this game just is like, here's low five beats to chill and study to. <laughs> While you're playing our game. Show <laughs> that. Punch in the face. Holy shit, he's clapping back. Why do these mice look roided? Am I the only one? <laughs> he's raising hands at us. Oh my punk head, okay. Jeez, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm knocked out? We got him, we got him, we got him. Damn it, dude. Four, four. 
Did you hear the bass go like <laughs> when we drop floors? Health regens over time. Does it regen to full? Like, am I, if I just sit here, will it eventually get all the way back up? Or is there is there a stopping point where it stops regening? Let's see. Should we find out? I mean, that'll make this pretty easy if that's the case. We got the 50. Watch a Taco Bell video and just stall. I don't know if I care that much. Red jelly. Dude's got like boxing gloves on. He's ready to throw hands. Okay, what does the red jelly do? Oh, it gives us Tetsujin again. Boom. Oh, I might be dead here. I am definitely dead here. I am definitely dead. All right. I wonder how long is this practice dungeon or does it just keep going? Because that was what, like area five or six? Yeah, we did get a lot further. But like, this is the practice dungeon? Yeah, I guess we'll stay with Ill. We're definitely doing a lot better than with Ill than we did with uh, Oleums. Or, uh, no, he didn't play as Oleums. The robot. I will say, these FMVs are hype as hell. Some tasty, juicy FMVs. Okay. Did we beat the Labyrinth mode in Toval 1? No, unfortunately, we... We ran out of HP. It'll regen as long as you have your yellow meter filled? Okay. Man, it's probably... It's like, like a hunger meter or something? Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I have no idea how many floors this is going to be. Yeah, the, the 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 yellow bar was draining real fast when we were getting the uh, the heal going. I have no idea what the uh the crystals there are for. I can't seem to pick it up, so Not sure on that. Damn, son. It's so it's so funny to me to see like a frog with like such good like fighting form. It's so ridiculous. Okay, we got light blue. Let's see. I assume we can still do the thing where we throw... Throw the potions at the enemies. I don't know what that did. Didn't seem to have a negative effect from what I can tell, though. Oh, my. All right, Grey Ghoul. All right. I see you. I see you. You are seen. You're a worthy opponent. He beat my ass. Yeah, I wonder what the hell I threw at him. I wonder if it helped him out. So he's not John Cena then. Not not quite. I could see him, yes. He doesn't camouflage with his surroundings.
Do, 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 do. John Cena. Can you smell what the rock is good? I'm mixing them up now. Have the, have the Rock and John Cena ever gone head to head? I, I presume they must have. Brother? Yeah, brother. Yo, that move. I love the noise on that. Easy. Easy deletion. Bram Moles putting up hands. Yeah, just something about seeing all of these animals with their hands up the way they are. It's just, just so funny. They look so damn serious. Damn, we went apparently absolutely the wrong way here. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWF superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're on the list. And that's Stone Cold's list. I'm fixing to start running through all of them. And as far as this championship match is concerned, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time is coming. When I get that shot, you're looking at the next WWF champion. That's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Reminds you of the dinosaur in Time Splitters? I don't think I've seen the dinosaur from Time Splitters. Got up, stood upright, and fired guns with his tiny hands. Little, little tiny dinosaur arms. When took a look at the quest mode in Air Guys. It's not translated at all, and it's also text heavy. A freaking course. Well, thanks for checking it, at least. Now I don't have to- now I don't have to boot it up to find out. <laughs> yeah, I've only ever played the arcade mode in that game. Oh my god, ill. This blue jelly, dude. cheese the jelly jiggler what <laughs> the hash sling the hash flinging the sla the sash slinging <laughs> Bobo, Bo I have never. The only reason I know of Bobo Bo's existence is because there's a couple of PlayStation games I've run into in my research. Yeah, arcade mode's enough English. That, yeah, the only the reason I bought Air Guys was for the arcade mode. I'm like, well, for that I can play it, right? It's a fighting game. I can I can figure it out. Yeah, quest mode probably probably not so much. Damn, this frog fucked me up. That was close. Uh, YOLO potion drink. It could have been worse. It could have killed me. Yeah. Hey, that was good. 100 HP back. I'll take that. Gladly. Get out of here, penguin.
box man. <laughs> Alright, what do they got? What is this? Muteki? What the hell is Muteki? Got him. Nope. Okay, that maxed up our... Yeah, I don't know what our, our yellow bar is, but I assume it's probably stamina or something. Yo, V with the, the walking. I was hanging out with my friend in his garage. It was sad, though, because he showed me his stepladder. He's never read, met his real ladder. Never met the real ladder. Only the, only the stepladder. You know, I, I can honestly say I've never heard that one before. GG's. Step ladder twice removed. Wow, Muteki D's nuts. Wow. God damn it, Stubby. Yeah. Get him, my guy. Yo, it's a red frog. Come on, we got this. We're gonna let red frog show us up? Oh my god. The ladder's got a step or two missing. A few, few nuts loose. I'll be here all week. Alright, I think I've decided. We're gonna play the arcade mode. Looked up Muteki and you found that there's a Japanese adult video company with that. Of course. Amazing. Wait a second. Can I play as Blue Jelly? No. No, wait. No, wait. Well, I guess we're going Chuji. Ready? Ready? This game's also pretty hard. I might actually game over on this. I think quest mode is bad. I'll say I remember arcade mode on this being pretty tough. Ring Yo, that ring out though. This looks better than Mortal Kombat. Damn, RW. I would say uh, different than Mortal Kombat, not necessarily better or worse. Mind you, Soul Calibur. Yeah, like early Soul, like Soul Edge, Soul Blade. Ready? Fight. Press in both analogs to charge fire. Can you only do it on analog? Is there is there a is there a digital input? Analgum? Because I'm just using I'm just using D-pad and face buttons. Oh, does it let me turn analog on mid match? It actually does. Oh, I'm pressing both in. You have to hold it, probably. That yeah, doesn't seem to be doing much. Yo, Waz, have a good night. Thanks for being here. I even sport. Ooh, come on. Ooh, that's no good. Oh, shit. That was close. That was real close. Crab heading off as well as freaking mass exodus. <laughs> nah, do, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. As long as I'm not talking to myself, I'll be happy. <laughs> you go all stay, damn. No, guys, do it. Do what you gotta do. Ready? Tyler, I've got Tyler. Tyler's got Milo. No, at least one must stay. That is required by law, Crab, don't you know? 
It's in your contract. And shit. Contract. Oh, you don't remember signing it? That's gonna be that's gonna be a problem for you. Knew <laughs> you should have read everything. That's how they get you. Ready? Read the first paragraph and then lost interest. <laughs> I just, I wanted the sword. I was signing for the sword. Everything else, everything else doesn't matter. But it was on page three. It was actually on page 69, subsection 420. Ooh, we got him. It's right under the free weekly Taco Bell part. <laughs> yeah, you missed that part too. Should have read the Wikipedia Ready? summary. Fight. Man, the music here is so good. Damn, game is just blocking everything. There we go, get him. At what point does the bus explode, or is that just in speed? Um, we, we'd have to, we'd have to, we'd have to contact Dennis Hopper for that. Have a good night, man. You'll love to see it. Ready? I seem to recall this game has a weird number of stages in the arcade mode. It's like it's like eleven or twelve or something. We got we got thick Mary here. Packs a punch, or a kick in this case. Multiple kicks in this case. Thick Mary was your nickname in college. They released this the same day as the dual analog, really. It was the first game to be compatible, wow. Why is this move working? I think I found the stun lock. Larger female characters in fighting games are pretty rare, right? be more normalized. She doesn't mess around. All shapes and sizes. I mean, right, if we can have, like, whatever ill is, right, we have space for some, some larger ladies, you know? Oh, I am so screwed here. I will count each continue, I guess, as a death. We need them thick thighs in our games. Thick thighs do save lives. <laughs> as the prophecy hath foretold. Damn, dude. Okay. Ill, Ill is, a uh, Ill is ill here. Yes, nice, okay. Down to round three here. Set three. No. Okay, come on. Nice. Beautiful. All right. You're a good RW. 
These things happen. Even the one female character in Fighters that you know of who uses sumo wrestling is a short, skinny girl. Right, yeah. Ready? Fight! It's always gotta be somebody that's like real thin, tiny. I mean, hey, that's fine too. It's just if the guys can be everywhere from like twigs to fucking immovable boulders. Damn, dude, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, see, this is more the Toe Ball 2 experience I remember. I was like, early game felt a little too easy there. Alright, first continue. Losing some health. Continue. continue. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Deliver with such a gusto. Marissa's the character from Street Fighter 6. Yeah, I, you know, I really should play more of that game. I don't know that roster well enough. Especially some of the newer characters. 6 8. Amazon Woman. Damn, this is gonna be close. Close, but probably not in my favor. No, dude. Oh my god, the save on that. Ready? Okay. We got this. We got this. Damn, that hit. No, 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 no. That's no, that's no good. Okay, come on. Get him back. Dude. Shit's heating up. Shit's heating up. Nice, 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 nice. All right. That was close. You win. That was that was stage eight. Okay, Ready? we're on nine. Shit, Chaco. Chuji and Chaco. <laughs> I wonder if they're siblings. Names are similar. Looks like Chaco might be a little better than us, though. How's it going, Nova? You like Jank? You've come to the right place. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Also Ready? like Toriyama. Yeah, these are these are really interesting games. We played the first toe ball earlier here. Boo Chaco not that No again, we need we need the whole The whole spectrum, Stubby. It's okay, we got Mary. We got Mary for our thickness. Damn it, dude. Yeah, welcome, Nova. Continue. Continue. Hoping we can get this. And then maybe I'll, uh, once it looks like we're getting close. I don't want to start the poll yet, because it, like, legit, we might spend another half hour on this game at the rate we're going. You never know. Yeah, Chaco's messing me up. In fact, I probably, I really probably should have lowered the difficulty a little bit. Instead of, you know, not touching the options at all. Uh, pull for the game we play after this. Or what we, what we decide to do after this, because we still got a few hours. There we go. Okay, this is a better start. Yeah, 
It was a better start. God, she's just ruining me. I am not playing South Park. I refuse. It lost. It fair and square lost. I I ain't playing it. Ready? You know what? Actually, I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal. So we're about deals around here. And I would like to see Suragaya happen. If if we double the goal and we hit Suragaya, I will play South Park. Otherwise, otherwise South Park is not getting on the pole. <laughs> Where did I lay my wallet? Yeah, I'm sorry. That game is just... We've played it a few times. It's its bad enough that I'm like, I... I gotta justify it somehow here. I gotta get something out of it. There we go. Okay. Round three. Where did I lay the jank? The jank... In my collection, the jank lays everywhere. I'm not winning that. There's no way. Damn, dude. Continue. Continue. Ready? Yeah, I, I should have lowered the difficulty. In fact, I'm kind of thinking about going back through and, and lowering it. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure I've beat this on normal before, but it is. It's it's a rough one. The difficulty spike toward the end of the game is pretty considerable. And even then, I, I, I remember, like, honestly easy not being the easiest either. Game doesn't mess around. Yeah, let me, let me lower it. We're going to lower it. Game over. And maybe we'll play as our boy Ill, just for the hell of it. Because I wasn't really planning on playing as Chuji anyway. Uh, there we go. Do I set it to one set matches? It's a little tempting. Oh, Poppin' Tanks is so good, Tyler. I hope you enjoy it. That game is fantastic. Yeah, I hope you dig it. Actually, you know what? Let's try Hong. Let's play as the robot. Ready? I mean, his, his long ass arms. Yeah, this is gonna be. This shit's gonna be broken. <laughs> I mean, his Mario sounding ass. Woohoo! Bob and Thanks is bliss. It so is. <laughs> the noise. Bro, I could be the voice actor. If they bring this back, I could be Hom. I just gotta go, woohoo! Okay, I can't do that part, though. <laughs> Ready? I can't do that part. Uh, Domo Arigato Mr. Roboto. That's, that's, that's what I could do for the spoken word part. Ooh, damn, I might lose this one. Damn, I lost that one. I even lowered the difficulty. No, I worked on my hair a long time. He, he hit it. it. He, he hits my, my hair. Ready? <laughs> damn, Chuji is... I think Chuji's pissed that I switched off of him. Chuji's not happy. Bro, he's about to get a perfect on me. Are you serious? Okay. We'll just have to uh, not get hit at all. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Back in square, then a hold back. Okay. Ready? Wait, like tap back. 
Oh, okay, well, there's that. I don't know what you mean by tap, tap back and then square and then hold back. I mean, that move's nice. I like the little uppercut. Oh my god, barely got him there. That was close. <laughs> I'm gonna be hearing that. It's gonna be in my dreams. I'm gonna hear just like phantom hoo hoos. Alright, Oleum. Freaking Oleums. Bro, dude, I set it to easy. It feels more difficult. Hold on. Did I. Did, did it just not go through? There's no way this is supposed to be easier than normal. I refuse to believe it. I'm thinking maybe I didn't confirm my, my choice. Bro, what the hell? No, it is on easy. Until what? Okay, maybe Hom just sucks. Alright, our, our boy Ill, the standby. Ready? Fight! That'd be really fucked if they made easy harder than normal. There we go. There we go. Hey, she fell first. It's time for us to get ill. <laughs> Dude, I hear yelling. That's quite the move. Ooh, that's ring out. <laughs> You gotta cheese with the ring out. Yo, what was that windmill move? <laughs> I shouldn't have skipped that. Ready? Fuck. Apologies, guys. I've depraved us all of the uh, the windmill arms. You beat Sydney 2000, Wesley, of all games, huh? <laughs> what, what possessed you to finish that one? I don't know. Who knows? That might actually be... I'd be curious to know. Maybe that's actually a good Olympics game. Background's just straight up Dragon Ball Z. Bro, the Toriyama influence. It's no Nagano. Dude, I'm still bummed about that PlayStation version of Nagano. Like, I, they fucked it up. I don't know what they did, but it ain't good. Need that N64 version. Alright, stage four? It's five. Snap, dude. Oh my god, the combos. Old man's got moves. Better than Atlanta 96. Who knew there were so many Olympics games? Continue. Continue. Ready? Ready? <laughs> A lot of these announcers for these games, I imagine, did not get paid enough. Dude is just blocking. Block, block, block. Block city out here. 
Obviously, it's better on Dreamcast. <laughs> I missed that meme. It's on Dreamcast? It's, it's gotta be better. Ready? Fight. Unless it was one of the few that was also on, like, PS2 or Xbox as well. Or GameCube. There we go. Get that ring out. I'm taking it. A win's a win. Is gonna get an N64 version? They canceled it before it could release? You hate to see it. Like how Atlanta was so confident their Olympics mascot, they tried to turn him into a marketable character with a platform game and everything. Yo, the perfect. They were so convinced. They had so much faith. I mean, I can respect it. At a certain point, you know, you gotta have faith in what you're making. Ready? The ill mirror match. I think he I think he plays ill a little better than I play ill. Oh wait, 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 wait. I take back what I said. I spoke too soon. You never know when the fight can turn on a dime. There we go, easy dude. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, Dr. V. No! Oh, that's no good. I'm about to ring out. There we go. Get him out! Yeet! Okay. Those were noises. Ready? We're back to Chaco. She's no match for ill, though. Easy, dude. We're connected for life. We're blood brothers. Our spirits, our spirits are one. Yeah, Sydney 2000. Yeah, it would have been a little early for PS2. Oh, shit. I almost walked off the edge there. Yeet. <laughs> that freeze frame punch. You'll love to see it. All right. Freaking Mufu. Bro, I'm just bullying. Why did the game get easier all of a sudden? I'm just bullying them now. Me and me and Ill have corresponded wavelengths. Ready? Freaking Nork. Been searching for me. Been searching for me for you. <laughs> all right. Think this is the last boss? Grimace looking motherfucker. Yeah, Udan. You're gonna name your firstborn Nork. Yeah, Udan's an ass. I remember getting stuck on this stage for so long. Bro, they just perfected me. Did I say he was an ass? Oh, I actually meant Satan himself. Come on now. Oh shit. Why does it let me like run through him? Normally it doesn't let you do that. Alright. I'm not gonna bother with the HP. We're, we're not gonna sweat it. We'll finish this. I'm probably gonna regret saying that. Because I know how this fight can go, but. I have a fucking score to settle with this bastard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Continue. Ready? Fight. 
The fact that he... He, like, ducks low enough for none of my punches to land either. Oh, damn. We almost have him. We almost have him. Come on. Oh, my God. Crazy thing is I probably could have been keeping track with the HP. Yeah, Waz, thanks for the bids. Ready? I'm not throwing. You can't prove it. There we go. There we go. See, we got it. See, we had enough HP for it anyway. You win. Beautiful. That's game. There we go. Toe ball two. Oh, enjoy the ending. <laughs> Shit's cursed as hell. Mr. Steel Yo Girl. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm not gonna bother with dungeon mode. Somebody animated this. Yeah. Somebody animated this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is still all two. Mr. Akira Toriyama himself. No girl. Yeah, that got pretty dark. Yeah, no, agree. Nobody's worth doing that over. All right, guys, I'm going to give you some options for what we do next year. Baldwin. Yeah, when is Dennis going bald again? <laughs> Let me put a poll up here. What to do? We can do uh, just like random PS1 games that I choose. We could do... We could do more Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. We didn't get to the arcade version the other day. Uh, Michael Jackson. It doesn't all fit. Michael Jackson Moonwalk. <laughs> uh, or we could do some... I don't know, Genesis variety? Alright, I'm gonna make the poll a few minutes. There is no PS1 version of Moonwalker. We were wondering how you made the emote the other day, Retro Bear. We were. Did Dennis. I assume you just like took a, an image of Dennis's face and then like. mapped it to the. mapped it to the uh, 3D model? But I'd be curious how you did that. All right, I will be right back, guys. Vote in the poll if you can. Also, if you for some reason can't see it, let me give you guys the, the pop-out link. Oh, you had you send uh, several images at various angles. Okay. Low-key high production there, actually. Sounds quite involved. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Vote in the poll. That'll decide how we proceed here. BRB. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I will say, audio-wise, this is the best game so far. This game doesn't make my ears bleed. So we got that going for us. Until, like, within five minutes of setting it up, the emulator's crashing or losing audio or... What are the odds? Literally the moment I said that. What are the fucking odds, dude? Oh my god. We're already dealing with a boss? Oh. 
What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Way better this time around. Oh shit! I was doing way better this time around. Game, come on, dude. I was doing better. Fucking hell. Can we swing up where we need to get here? Pizza time. And before this game will get finished tonight. Fuck, I'm already dead. <laughs> Does the map not look like it's flipping us the bird right now? The map is totally flipping us off. That was totally intentional. It has to be, right? There's no way. Can I push this? It's clearly a button. It's the flip off button. It's pointing me in the right direction. It is literally throwing me the fucking finger. Honestly, that should be a, a YouTube short. I went right through that. I went right literally through that. We need like an instant replay on that shit. And I'm not getting a running start. I'm doing myself a disservice. Right, I'm gonna reload. I'm sorry, guy. Well, I have two lives. We're not gonna re If I die again, I'll reload. And I immediately fucking die. Come on. Oh shit. Whoa, what was <laughs> What the fuck? I mean, I'll take it. Med kit. What? They just glitched through the fucking door? The hardware is not where it needs to be here for this to play well. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Okay, we're back. Sorry. Give me just a moment here. Uh, Rad Scorpion, you good? Uh, get in the next game booted up. What? <laughs> All right, Just checked. I was close to the end of the practice oh dungeon. God. Well, alas. <laughs> Shit, I hear him. We're moving on. <laughs> Fuck. Where the hell is he? These things happen. All right. Oh, fuck. Dude, I, what did I... Let's, uh... Play the next game. Yo, Fever, have a good night. Thanks for being here. Take care. Audio from the highlight made you think I was back. And I am back. <laughs> it was all elaborate ruse. Okay, I gotta I gotta change a couple things here. Damn, I forgot to update this this overlay. Okay, real fast. Oh, before I actually came back? Yeah, some of those clips can fool you. We're gonna play some Mock Go Go Go, also known as a uh, Speed Racer. Go, go. Look at this mock. Son of a bitch. I'm having a hard time here, guys. Why can I not copy that? There we go. That's what I want. Oh, and these are all moved too. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Get this crap out of here. Speed Racer was probably the first anime, your first anime, because Cartoon Network aired reruns. You never liked it. I mean, I don't claim to be some big fan of the anime by any means, but this game's kind of fun. Why is he holding socks? Wait, what? Did I miss it? Man's out here holding socks? 
I mean, it's hard to assert your dominance otherwise, right? How's it going, V? Movie's awesome as well. The, uh, are we talking the Wachowski one? I actually still haven't, I haven't seen that one. All right, what is this? Dennis and Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, that one. Okay, right. I forgot about that one. Yeah, what's with the socks? It's an inside, it's a defunct inside joke. It's an old meme. The Wii ba game based on the live action movie. That one is actually pretty good. That one is, that one is surprisingly good. No comment. <laughs> game mode. Race style orthodox. Orthodox or endurance. I don't know what that means. We'll keep it on normal. Good old Chicago days. Yeah, I don't I don't claim to know. Alright, accelerates X. Squares break. Circle is essentially our or item button. Oh yeah, there's the SNES Speed Racer game, which was kind of a mess. Yeah, this one's not bad. It's simple, but it's it's not too shabby. You got the S, M, and L. Small, medium, and large cores. Came to PS2. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think Tyler was trying to say it was only on Wii. <laughs> Alright, we want this bad way. Yeah, this is this is another one of those cases where I have I have the Japanese version just because it's cheaper. Like the, the Japanese version of this is like five bucks or less. Whereas the US version is like over twenty. Just one of those cases. Can we only play as Speed Racer? I believe that is the only character you get to play as. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of crazy shit you can do. Chopper. The Fencer. We're in sixth place. This first course is far and away the easiest. And it's and it's one of those games, it's one of those racing games where you finish one of the courses and it plays credits. Gizmo. Oh shit. No, dude. That's no good. Oh, it is six laps. I forgot about that. Japanese version most of the time has better packaging. Usually, yeah, usually. Although, I don't know. I think in terms of artwork, it could be argued on this one, which one's better. The, uh, the US art on this one's actually pretty good. Oh, snap, dude. Watch out behind. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's very reminiscent of, like, Ridge Racer. It's got maybe a little bit more going on, right? You got the you got the power-ups, the abilities. Can't talk about Japanese video game cover art without bringing up the hilariously bad Japanese cover of Heavy Rain. I forget, actually, what the... Oh, goddamn, dude. Fuck. It's just all nose. <laughs> it's just like a character's nose, like up close. Shout out to noses, honestly. Yeah, I don't I don't really know. I don't really know how to feel about any version of the, the heavy rain cover art. I mean the origami is it's simple. But part of me almost wonders if it's a little too simple. The European version is the best. Oh, that is the origami cover. Wait, what did the US get then? Oh, dude, we got this. 
course is basically Daytona bronze. You're you're not wrong. The U.S. is the origami plus floating characters. Okay, right. Disembodied character heads floating around. Never seen that version of Heavy Rain. That is certainly an art. I, I feel like I gotta look up this Japanese version. Now. Didn't really like Heavy Rain, but you don't regret playing it. That's a mood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen this. Forgot about this cover art. I gotta show you guys this. Yeah, this is definitely a choice of all time. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's just, it's just nose. <laughs> yeah, this is the game with Jason. Jason. Also, I think Sean, right? Sean. Thought it's Europe that mostly messes up cover art. We're greatest, guys. Yeah, it plays credits after each map. Well, I, I guess basically because it's the same map, but I mean, like, even, like, Ridge Racer has you play all the versions before it gives you credits. Best Olympic game ever made is Athens 2004. Wesley's done his research on the Olympics games. <laughs> that is that noisy mode. Game over. Your ranking is shown. We got fifth place? Bro, guys, I'm slacking. Wesley forgetting Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. SMH my nose. Alright, let's go with the let's go with the medium course. Vroom. That was like a very like cruising USA style engine rev right there. Ready, three, two, one, go! Yeah, SMH my nose, dude. They aren't Olympic Sims. <laughs> yeah, and they're probably better off for it, honestly. What? This is this is news to Dennis. You, you've broken Dennis's worldview. You're simming at Sonic, though. Yeah, it's a Sonic simulator, right? It's a Sonic and Mario sim. Well, true. Yeah, you can't debunk that. <laughs> Haven't seen many toys by Tomy. Probably really noted for like Zoids. Yeah, how's it going, Jerry? Good seeing you, man. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Just uh just uh drive it off. Drive it off. Car can handle it. Gymnastics are literally just like DDR. You say that like it's a bad thing, Wesley. <laughs> I'm just hearing goat status, is what I'm hearing. Hey, Used to get the Zoid sets all the time. Can't find them unless they're super expensive on eBay. Yeah, I imagine they're quite collectible. Hey, 
Not a bad thing, just something easy. This is very Ridge Racer, yeah. It's part of why I love it. Also, I forgot there's like a day-night cycle in this. This game's got a lot more going on than, than meets the eye. Just watched a movie, cried your eyes out, you good? Sad movie. For with more action figures than video games. Didn't really get into gaming to your teens, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the exact time frame of when I got into to gaming. I was definitely by my teenage years, I was definitely already I already got an Xbox at that point. Damn, well, we did not win this. I hate to see- holy shit! I just, uh, murdered them, though. <laughs> they're not coming that- they're not coming out of that unscathed, that's for sure. Goal! Alright, five- five out of ten, not great. The potato salad mood, dude, I got more potato salad left over. But I am I am ready for after stream, let me tell you. Game over. I love how whether you win or lose it says game over. Mark go go go. Damn dude, that intro screen is so good. It is the truth. The game is over. Even if you win, that is true. The game is over. I can't, I can't argue with that logic. Dude, yeah, we got like, we got one of them big, we got one of them big tubs of research. Reesers? Yes. Reesers. Not Reeses. <laughs> Reeser, Reeser brand potato salad. It's the uh, it's the mustard potato salad. It's the good stuff. Went through a phase in your late teens where you stopped gaming completely. Yeah, no, I, I think a, I think a lot of people have phases like that. I, I never fully quit outright at any one point, but there were definitely times where I, I gamed a lot less. Like especially in my. Uh, some of my some of my teenage years in high school into college. Yeah, no, the deviled egg the deviled egg potato salad is yeah, it's that that's the good shit. It's probably my favorite one. One MMO. Still played one MMO. I like I occasionally I I would play like Smash Bros with my friends or something, but in terms of like, and maybe like, a, I, I did a little bit of League, although I eventually quit playing that because it was just pissing me off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I cut back pretty considerably at that point. Just because there's so much other shit going on. Put your PlayStation, all your games in the closet for a few years. Glad you didn't end up selling it off. You know, I think I think sometimes when people hit those phases, they're a little short-sighted, and they're like, "I'm just gonna get rid of it all." Never mind the fact you're probably gonna ha hit another phase where you're gonna want to play them again. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, I think at, at certain points life gets in the way, but if you're if you're a lifelong gamer, I don't I don't think you ever. Even if you have to give up a lot of it, I don't think you ever fully give it up. You know. Regardless of what's happening. Yo, you had some talk about Jerry? Let's go. <laughs> Love to hear it. Hey, that was a really good turn through there. Just stop going up against the rail. You're gonna be gaming at age 100. 
Well, hopefully you hit that point and you can still game at that point. That's that's the life right there. Oh, you did eventually sell? Yeah. Yeah, and then the regret hits in. Yeah, I definitely sold some things I regret. Like, mostly, probably the biggest one was my Dreamcast with all my games. I had, like, 40-odd games for my Dreamcast. That one, that one I'm kicking myself at. All right, this is the last lap. Oh, hello. Sometimes you need the money, though. It's true. But I mean, there's other there's other ways to get money, you know. You had a massive GameCube collection when you were a kid. You sold in your late teens. Yeah, usually it's like uh, usually what happens is you go to like upgrade systems and you're like, I don't have the money for this outright, so I'm gonna sell my old shit. Which is just, you know, it's 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 kind of sad. Damn, dude, I'm right there. Are you kidding me? Get around him, please get around him, please get around him, please get around him. God damn it. I was so close. Yeah, you go like, man, I can really use like, you know, whatever the case might be, like an OG Xbox or like a PS3. You know, right when those launched. You want a PS3, yeah, exactly. Toaster, you have an obscene Wii collection. Oh, I, you know, I totally forgot to update my title. My bad. Your ranking is shown. I just realized. Went with the 360 because of Call of Duty. Yeah, right, at that time. Well, they were all coming out on both, right? But, like, all the DLC would come out first on, on Xbox. They had got, like, that timed exclusive nonsense. Yeah, I remember back in high school when the, a lot of the DLCs would drop and like all the PS3, all the PS3 gamers would be so mad at the 360 guys. Because they were talking about, they were talking about, uh, you know, getting it, getting it first, having played it before they even could. Hell, you just dropped the comment. You got to give me a second. Battle emus. <laughs> Pissed the 360 got the Skyrim DLC before PS3. Yeah. Friends of your class all went PS3. You could never stand the 360, man. What did the 360 do to you? Where did where did they where did it hurt you? Me. Dude, I, I still think the 360 is one of the greatest consoles ever made. V had a wobbly desk. The 360 would fall over. Oh man, that's a tight turn here. Yeah, I was gonna say, most of the people I knew had 360s. I, I knew a few people that had PS3s. Like, it wasn't, like, totally uncommon, but it seemed like the majority. Majority were 360. Hated the controller and the menu. Wow, okay. 360's, like, one of my favorite controllers ever. <laughs> and I, with, the, with the UI, I would say it would depend on which version of the UI you were using. Skipped both and stuck with the Mattel hyperscan. Yeah, the, the OG Blades UI was great. Yeah, and I, I love the control. I think the only thing wrong with the 360 controller is the D-pad. Everything else is, like, fantastic in my eyes. One of the best controllers. British people yelling through their headset on the 360. It's a mood. It's okay. I mean, Americans do that too, Toaster. That's that's a that's a universal language. 
Here's Red Ring. Yeah, I might have Red Ringed a few times, but admittedly, Microsoft was pretty good at replacing those systems. Like, they knew they screwed up, and they tried to do, do right by people. Tekken Tag 2 forces you to use the D-pad, at least by default. Yeah, I mean, the 360 D-pad, yeah, if you're going to play fighting games, like, yeah, that's, that's a bit of an issue for sure. But I mean, most games on the system, I feel like were made with that controller in mind, and it's just such a comfortable controller, well-built controller too. And they only recently stopped replacing Red Ring systems. I that I don't know. I'll be honest. Eventually, I gave up and just got a, a slim, which I think is what a lot of people did. But yeah, while I while I had my my original. Like, I probably got it replaced, like, two or three different times by Microsoft. And it was, it was free every time. Like, they really, they really hooked us up. Because they knew they screwed up. Two ten. Uh, it's one for me. West Coast. Around 2012 or so. Released the Slim in 2011. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's our first place. There we go. Baffling how many of those red ringed? I mean, it was a literal design flaw. I mean, it's it, there was there was like a legit a, a problem with the design of the system. My understanding is basically the X clamp would flex the board and then the heat would eventually like desolder. We and PS3 also had common issues with the first iteration. I mean, they all had issues that gen. Yeah, it, it was kind of a widespread. I mean, the 360 got the brunt of all the attention about it. Because it was definitely the worst. But yeah, no, I mean, those early PS3s were pretty bad. And yeah, there were some issues with the Wii systems too. We're greatest. <laughs> we are greatest. Thanks for the GGs. Your ranking is shown. PS3s weren't prone to yellow light of death. You'd say that's the one that won the seventh gen. Well, I mean, they eventually did win the seventh gen. Sony actually really turned the PS3 around, and it ended up outselling the 360, like just at the end of that generation. Hello, everybody. All right, we're on to the large course. This is the last course in the game. Had a launch PS3, never had any issues, Dennis. Ready. Yeah, I think I think the fail rate on the early PS3s were a little less bad than 360, but it was still a pretty widespread issue from what I've heard. White Wii that would read everything except dual layer discs, really. PS3 Yellow Light of Death is when you learned what Arctic Silver was. Classic. Damn it, I thought I had the turn there. Hold up. Can I restart? I can. Actually, do I have... Did somebody say... Did somebody say Arctic Silver? <laughs> I literally have this at my desk. It's hard to see. I've got some Arctic Silver 5 here. I know what's up. Yeah, I got that Arctic Silver hookup. If you ever need any, let me know. I actually, I just had to use it because I replaced the uh, the heat sink in my in my PC. Yeah, I had to like, I, I honestly, I had to dig around my room to find where the hell it was. I hadn't I hadn't done any any computer tinkering in in years. I'm like, I know I have a tube of Arctic Silver around here somewhere. hard to get where you're at retro bear you just have knockoff thermal paste can't get that name brand stuff the good stuff <laughs> yeah this tunnel here is pretty tough i think this is the main segment the large course adds i think after this 
Oh, shit. Forgot about that nasty U-turn. Some of the best games were dual layer. Smash Bros, Metroid Trilogy, Xenoblade. Yeah, right? A lot of the heavy hitters. Yeah, PS2s can be notorious. Sometimes they won't read the, the CD-based games, the blue bottom games. That's a, that's a pretty common known issue. Watch out behind. Watch out behind. Oh my god. That was clean. Your PS2 only read the CD-based games? Really? I wouldn't read the DVD ones, damn. Found a 39,000 that reads everything and is modded. That's pretty nice. It would read DVDs, but only after like five minutes of being on? Or it would only read them for five minutes. Kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, either one of those. Either one of those is strange. Yeah, so far so good on mine. The only th I have a slim and a fat. I'm playing. I'm playing these Japanese games on a on a fat PS2. Had no issues with this, although the fan's a little loud. I could probably replace that though. The main issue I have is with my Slim. When it tries to read some PS1 games, it'll like, the, the, the disk drive will try to like speed up real fast. It'll spin the disk up super, super high RPM for no reason. And then like after power cycling it a number of times, it'll stop doing that. And I have no idea why. The PS2 break on you while a friend of yours and you were having an intense game of PS1 Scrabble. The most intense PS1 game. It's amazing. Your PS2 has that too, V, but only with certain games. It'll take a minute until it recognizes the game. Damn. Oh, so, so Dennis was saying, if you put the disc in, right, it loads for that long. Wow. That's pretty bad. I forgot this was only two laps. I was thinking I had a third lap to save it. Game over. Your ranking is shown. Your ranking is shown. <laughs> hey, I got first, though. I, I love how I, I get, what, fourth or fifth place, and I get first there, though? Man, this music kicks ass. All right, we're going to get the win on this L course, and then, then we'll move on to the next game. Hoping we get it this time around. There's just a couple of spots in this that are really just nasty. How's it going, video gamer? Uh, we're actually we're not doing jank quests anymore tonight. We're going more casual at this point. Did some uh, some toe ball action earlier though. One of these days, guys. One of these days, toe ball number one will beat that quest mode. Ill will return. One day, one day. Damn, that turn is ridiculous. This is, yes. This is the casual jankness. Just hit the edge there. Hmm. 
Looks like it can't read the disc. You just wait. You wait long enough, it boots up. That's so strange. All right, come on. All right, it's already the final. Only two laps. There's top three, though. My God, speed racer, be quiet. Shit, man, dude. Some of these narrow passages in here aren't 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 jokes. Okay, that, I mean, could have been better, but also could have been worse. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Out of my way. Yeah, we could, we could still make this. Fuck, unless the dude spins me out. That's a reset. That was a dirty play. That was a dirty play, dude. Dirty ass play. Yeah, we were we were getting a real good spin there, honestly. Actually. Every time we pass someone, he says hey chicken. The fucking ego on this kid. <laughs> the fucking ego. Oh man, that that like that's almost a U-turn right there. It's, it might as well be. Ooh, the little speed boost there. Bonking my ass. Look at the man just wants to finish his race so he can hit up the post-race KFC. Hey, chicken. Hey, Colonel. I'm ready for your unique blend of herbs and spices. Ooh, come on. That was really good through there. That was really good through there. All 11 herbs and spices. Yes, indeed. All right, final lap. We're in second, about to be in first. We're doing good. Yikes. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's like they saw how savage they made speed in the dub and brought that personality to this game. I guess so. That that turn is just fucking impossible. I swear. So difficult. Then they just take that turn like it's nothing. Okay, bro. Out here with the flex. Do I get paid for channel points? No. Not at all. That's just, that's like a viewer loyalty thing. Oh my god, I'm so close here. So close it hurts. If I get a really clean passage through here, we might be alright. No, I turned too early. Yeah, that's the end of the course. Damn it, restart! Just a couple spots in this that are just really tough.
Hey, look, it's a clear sky. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey chicken. Hey, hey, hey. Nice thighs. <laughs> Don't tell Hillary. <laughs> Become rich, command, if only. Somebody would just like to give me a small loan of a million dollars. I'd love that. Think about all the activities we can do. Does Monopoly money count? I mean, you know, beggars can't be choosers, as they say, Cloud. <laughs> Let me check my wallet. The wallet says no, damn. Worth a shot. Game rude. Oh my god. Hey, chicken. Man needs to be put on a watch list. There we go. That was really good through there. Final lap. All right, we got this. I believe. Your wall left the chat. <laughs> Touche. Damn, dude, I still can't get the, the feel of this part of the cave here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they boosted us. Nah, dude, nah, dude, come on. We got this. We're right behind him. Raw distance is gonna kill me. No, dude, no, 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 no. No, stop hitting the edge. It's over. Shit's hard, guys. It's tough. It's a hard knock life for Mr. Chicken. Yeah, it's too late. Damn, dude. What well, the game may lack in content, it makes up for in difficulty. <laughs> Codemaster, thank you. Why does the music sound like a Pokemon battle? It really does. That's pretty accurate. You talking your chicken instead of going to therapy? <laughs> hey, I mean, KFC sometimes is all the therapy you need. Yeah, it's kind of a cross between like Daytona and Ridge Racer, which is kind of cool. Is KFC good? I mean, I enjoyed it as a broke college student. I don't know how it would hold up now. I have no idea. I don't even remember the last time I've been to a KFC. I seem to remember liking Popeyes a bit more, if I'm going to be honest. Not not to say that KFC's bad. A lot of people hate on KFC. But I think the quality for the price is fine. I also think some KFCs are much better than others. I've heard some horror stories of KFCs. Toast, you got no Popeye, damn dude. Yeah, I, I don't really have any Popeyes near me, so I don't really ever go. I'd have to drive pretty far out of my way to get the Popeyes. Should try more food? You've only ever had Taco Bell. I mean, that's all you need. <laughs> Catnip, that's, uh, Catnip, that's uh, not mine. Yeah, only Taco Bell. Only Taco Bell. 
Pokeball alone. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> you right. Yeah, get that crazy talk out of here. <laughs> Last time you went, the chicken was dry and greasy, and the mashed potatoes were soupy. Yeah, that's that's a bad that's a bad KFC experience right there. God damn that turn, dude! Last time you went to a KFC, you were still in high school. Probably 31 on the 18th. Definitely prefer Popeyes. Yeah, I think it's just it's it's more expensive, but it's it's kind of worth the extra. Where them nuggets at? You know what? The best thing KFC ever had were the boneless wings with like all the different wing flavors. God damn, dude, those like honey barbecue boneless wings. I used to get those like, as a kid. I don't think they even have them anymore, which is a damn shame. Of course I fucking spin out. Come on. That's a reset. Ready! As soon as Taco Bell starts selling fried chicken, game is over. The franchise wars will be won at that point. Honestly. Jerry, have a good night. The wars will be decided at that point. You know what was a great item that they need to bring back again? The naked chicken chalupa. God, my mouth is watering just saying those words. That was that was a good item right there. KFC is actually a Taco Bell KFC combo. Literally god tier. Like, I don't know what we did on this earth to deserve such a presence. Such a... It's the Mecca, dude. No mere mortal should have such, such divine gifts bestowed upon them. Do you live there? I, I wish I lived there. I don't know if you're asking Ghost. Be jealous. Two minutes away. That's still... He might as well live there. <laughs> Talk about used to have Pizza Hut. They got rid of the... They got rid of the Pizza Hut half. Long John Silver's KFC combo. I mean, that's the the first mistake was including Long John Silver's. You, you never include Long John Silver's. Yeah, dude, bro, I'm fucking starving too now. <laughs> Guys, I still I guess I still got 90 minutes of stream to go. See if we can win this. Clutch the victory, please. Yeah, close enough, close enough, close enough. Yo, have a good one, Robotnik. Thanks for being here, man. Waz, weren't you gonna go to bed too? <laughs> not 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 that I wanna persuade you. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you if you gotta go. Yo, this might be the win though. This might be, this might be, this might be it. Yes, dude, yes. That's the one. There we go. No, no, but yes. Yes, but no. Yes, no, maybe so, I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Built it right down the road from Cap. What is Captain D's? Regional seafood fast food place. Captain D's was on national oh, television when somebody flipped a stolen truck in front of it. Wow. Unfriggin' believable. Thank you, Codemaster. 
We got it. Thought you saw a ghost when you saw Pizza Hut a few months ago? You hadn't seen one for over 20 years. No, there's still, a, there's still, a, depending on where you live, they're still alive and well. Captain D's nuts. <laughs> Beat you to it. I would have to imagine that's better than Long John's. I would have to imagine. Captain D's nuts. All right, they're they're playing my replay where I bonked. We're greatest, guys. We're greatest. Yeah, Captain D's nuts. It writes itself. It really writes itself. You're, yeah, this is this gives off real your winner energy for sure. This is why Dennis is more than human. More human than human is our motto. First place, baby. Love to see it. All right. Good old Speed Racer. This is a fun one. But we played all of it. All right. I've got the perfect game for the next one here. Sound never gets old. Never gets old. There's a Captain D's somewhere in the Midwest where they built the drive through on a steep curve with no barrier around it. So every time they left the place, their car toppled off the road. <laughs> Jesus. All to get some fast food seafood. Imagine. You drive off a cliff. Worth it. Okay, we're playing we're playing an atlas joint up in here. Rackdim. It's by Rackdim. I always said race dim. Apparently it's Rackdim. <laughs> Rack these nuts. I'm sorry, I had to. Alright, we're playing some snowboard kids. One of my absolute favorites. Chaos. A bit underwhelming. I mean, the PS1 startup's definitely better, for sure. But I don't know. I, I like the PS2 startup as well. This this is easier than the N64 version. I would I would agree there, Wesley. Ready? Go. Yeah, we'll probably finish this one, honestly. I love the music. I actually have the, uh, can I show it? Maybe I'll, where did I put it? I actually got the soundtrack to this. I forget what company did the press of it, but, uh, yeah, they actually, they, they put out a vinyl soundtrack for this. I had to have it. It was a news story. Camping, Captain D's nuts. Restaurant can't, can't catch a break, honestly. <laughs> between between falling off drive through cars falling off cliffs and these nuts. Yeah, the noses in this game are a, a sight to behold. Are they gonna saying do I wanna save? Nah, we're good. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. It was in Colorado Springs. Just cars. Cars are falling off ledges. Yeah, I think on the N64 version. I don't think I've ever gotten past the... Oh, well, not never. I actually badged the N64 version. But, um... For the longest time, I didn't ever get past Copper Pass. Alright, we're gonna go with our boy Tommy. 
He's the fast one. It's Pinocchio High. Honestly. Board select. And we want the fast board, too. We're all about speed. Should have featured those noses on the front cover, heavy rain style, with them laying down, with the noses straight up in the air. That shit would have been funny. Ready? Go! Get that fast start. We'll say the frame rate on this one is a little rougher than the N64. But in all fairness, I mean, 32-bit machine versus 64-bit machine, you know? You can't win them all. It's just kind of amazing they got this game running on this console. And I, I don't know the story behind why this exists. And the fact that it was only in Japan, I have no clue. They built it so it confused drivers to turn off the road when they couldn't. They drove over it. Interesting. Wait, so where did they... So, But the it sounds like they toppled their cars. So they still fell off somewhere. Right? A car doesn't just, like, topple on smooth ground. <laughs> I'm I'm no I'm no I'm no physicist, but I don't I don't think that's how that works. There was a, there was a gap at the end. I assume there had to be some sort of drop of some kind, yeah. Yeah, one of the elements of this version of the game I don't love is the fact that it autopilots you in the 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 chairlift area. Now in the N64 game, you can you can actually steer right up until you hit the uh, the chairlift. Uh, the actual turnstile. Which it, it kind of it's kind of fun cuz you can you can kind of mess with the AI. Kind of miss it in this version. But this is also, like, the far and away cheapest way to get snowboard kids. So, I, you know, I was going to settle. Settle for I mean, it's a good version. How's it going, Knuckles? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's see. The better nose pull. Heavy rain is getting all the votes. Valid choice, valid choice. Speedpunks is great, Ghost. Yeah, you should pick that up at, at some point if you can get the chance. Doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, we're just playing some Snowboard Kids. The little-known Japanese exclusive PS1 version. It was a few feet above the sidewalk. Okay, that's kind of weird still. Okay, we're going to hit him with the ghost. Hoping that'll slow him down enough. It absolutely will. Get first dibs on the chair lift. Oh, and the pans missed us. Yes, dude. They built a fence. It took some precaution. Yeah, they're slowing me down. As soon as this chick passes me, I'm hitting her with one. There we go. Get wrecked. Oh, also the fan, the turbo. That good shit. Nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Easy, awesome, done. 
beautiful. This guy makes a cacophony of noises. All right, heavy rain wins. It's official. Heavy rain has the better nose. Yeah, the, the noses aren't very pronounced on the cover art for this game. And then you get in game and you're like, okay. Speedpunks is a lot cheaper than you thought. Yeah, I think it's like, what, 20 to 30 bucks, right? Somewhere in there. Typically. Yeah, it, it, it's reasonable for, and, and I think the amount of content you get is pretty good. All right, if I remember correctly, there I think there's, is there nine courses in this? I think there's nine. Thought you remembered it being pricier than that? Yeah, it's I, honestly, it seems like the vast majority of PS1 games I end up looking up are like in that 20 to 30 range. Ready? Like there's definitely, there's definitely some that, that, that ask for more, but like generally speaking, it's like almost every time I look up a PS1 game, it's like, yeah, 15 to 30 bucks. Unless it's some obscure title or some really sought after game. Rude game, rude. Luckily, I got fan. Yeah, I, I can recommend it for that price. Especially if you don't play like a ton of kart racers, because I think I think the uh, the challenge, the battle, the battle races are going to test you. They're pretty challenging. Even for me, I still have trouble with them. Grab it soon, yeah. Before I do a video on it, wink, wink. No, I'm kidding. Bro, I can't believe. I actually, at one point on, you know, I'm not trying to start, like, any, like, drama or beef or anything, but, uh, I actually, I saw at one point on Metal Jesus's <laughs> Patreon page. I don't know if he still does this, but he'd release the hidden gem videos early on Patreon. Cause he knew there'd be like resellers that would sub to his Patreon and get like early access to see what what games he mentioned. I'm like, bro, that's that's some next level kind of shady shit. My board's reversed. Oh snap! There we go. Well, not the greatest start to this map here. How's it going, Sizzle? Good day to you. Hit him with the pans. Does he actually affect prices? There are instances where absolutely he does. I don't I don't know about all the time. That's a smoking a cigar petting your cat type shit. <laughs> well, it was. Resellers reference metal. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he's got... Doesn't he have almost a million subscribers? No, his 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 videos can definitely affect the market for certain games. Undoubtedly. And it's it's not necessarily his fault. But when you're like on your Patreon where you're like, get early access to the hidden gem videos so you can snatch up the games before everybody else does, it's like, alright, you know what you're doing. Gonna try and get some PS3 exclusives before they announce the store closure. Do we think that's gonna happen? Cause didn't, didn't they try to close the store like a couple years ago and everybody freaked the fuck out and then they backpedaled on it? I do find it interesting though that Sony backpedaled and yet Microsoft was just like, yeah, we're doing this and like nobody made a fuss about it. <laughs> Like, nobody was like, how dare you, Microsoft? Whereas Sony got, like, all this kind of shit. 
to the point where they had to rescind their their judgment. Big YouTube videos can bring up price. No, they definitely can. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's there's definitely a correlation there. It's not it's not always. It depends on the game, how rare the game is. You know, how many how many people are maybe persuaded by the video to look after that game. Yo, Juker, how's it going? Base Snowboard Kids, you know it, man. <laughs> Freaking love this game. Hit us with the pan. Somehow we're still first here. Do you like this version better than the N64? It's uh, it's a little easier, I think. I'm single-handedly driving up the price of Tobol One. Oh, I don't think I've ever driven up a game price. <laughs> I don't have a large enough audience for that. And I'm kind of glad I don't. Because I, I, I can't imagine being, like, proud of that fact. For you, two is the best game, then plus, and then one. Yeah, two is pretty hard to beat. That's fair. Yeah, Sizzle, this is the, the little-known Japanese exclusive PS1 version. Juker, you drove the price of a game up once. And you, like, you know it was you? Actually? Jekyll and Hyde, yeah, Jekyll and Hyde would not be, like, a $20 game. Or whatever it is, if it weren't for the AVGN, 100%. Shame we didn't see the battle email. It might happen one day. Oh, Bomberman Act Zero. When did when did you stream that? Because I mean, just if, if it was recent, if it was somewhat recent, I mean, generally speaking, 360s shot up over 10 years ago. Have you been streaming that long, Juker? Or this was like a YouTube video you put out. Price has likely gone down since. I don't know what the way 360 is going. I'm not sure. I I know, I know you've streamed longer than I have, pretty considerably, but I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware it's been that long. Yo, Frowny, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, y'all. It went up from two cents to one. Up from two to one. Yes. Yo, Frowny, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Hopefully y'all are having a great one. We are doing some PS1. Playing some snowboard kids. It was like a $30 increase. Somebody tried to tell me that I affected the price of Motor Tune Grand Prix, but I don't think that happened. I think I think Metal Jesus has already done a video about that game at that point. Cause I used to I used to speedrun it a lot, so I'm like. I, I could see why people would think that, maybe, but I, I don't think I convinced anyone to buy it. Yo, Shweesh, how's it going? Uh, I am wearing a taco costume. It is it is Taco Tuesday. We hit our goal. I'm repping, I'm repping the bell. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming on through. Welcome in, guys. Frowny, what were you up to? What were you doing? Guys, if anybody in my community has not raided Frowny, or ha hasn't followed Frowny, I don't know how that would be possible at this point. Because we've raided him quite a bit, but... If you haven't checked out Frowny's streams... In fact, Juker as well. Juker deserves a shout-out, too. Got some great fellow retro streamers in here. Feel blessed that we have... That, that's the case often, actually. Demolition Man or Robocop Rogue City? Uh, dude, I'm still hoping somebody speedruns Demolition Man 3 do I'm waiting. Somebody somebody else has got to speedrun that. I can't be the only one. Worked on Punch-Out, Frowny? It's tough figuring out what to do. Yeah, which version? NES version? Wii? Super Nintendo? Juker, reason why you went to stream at all? Proton John had played Act Zero on stream. As a joke, checked if anyone was online. You were the only one. 
had so much fun, made for a real Bomberman Axe Zero League for a while. Genuinely, the game's good but ugly. God, that game is a shit birthday present. It changed your life. That's amazing. That's incredible. Also, you increase the pro I mean, hey, these things happen. On paper, it sounded great. Gritty reboot of the franchise. Based slightly on the original story. In practice, it ended up being what it was instead. It is what it is. What can you say? It legit plays well, though, Juker. It's literally just the visuals. How's a health bar you drop power-ups on hit? Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I've never played it myself. I, don't know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to trying it. I feel like a lot of people are be like, never playing that, but I, 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 I'd, I'd give it a shot. Why not? Can't online anymore. Big, sad. <laughs> RIP 360 service. Yo, Tyler, have a good one. Thanks for being here, man. Oh, come on. They tripped my ass. <laughs> and my board's in reverse again. Thought the servers were still up, just the marketplace is no longer there. Um, I think it depends on the servers, probably. Never would have streamed otherwise. Only popped in the lobby he checked as a joke. That's incredible. Just goes to show you, like, something so simple. I mean, I think about that a lot, too. I'm like, man, all the people I've met on Twitch. Like, so many, so many, of, so many of these friends I've made and acquaintances... Like, you just meet out of happenstance. I mean, I think eventually in retro, you, you know, you kind of get to know everybody. But there's a lot of people that I'm like, people that watch, people, fellow streamers. And I'm like, just like right place at the right time kind of stuff. It, it's kind of, it's kind of magical when you think about it. Ooh, penguin, don't want to, don't want to run over the penguin. Invisiboard. But yeah, this is the for those coming in with the raid. This is the Japanese exclusive PS1 edition of Snowboard Kids. These games are much better known on the N64. But yeah, there's like a little known PS1 Japanese import version that's actually pretty good. Gave it up due to stage fright, L. Yeah, it can be tough. I mean, just some people aren't necessarily cut out for being, you know, entertainers, presenters. Hell, I mean, I often think I'm not. <laughs> Somehow I've made it work. I, I don't know. Castle Crashers is supposed to be getting new DLC. Oh my god, guys. That Invisiboard timing? Wow. Luck 10 right there? You get to make your own DLC? It's basically like a create a character. Oh, really? Come on, get me back up. No, are you serious? Game. Okay, we do have another lap. Game's going hard on us. You can be the painter now? That's dope. Yeah, man, I haven't played that game in ages. Is that going to hit him? That is not going to hit him. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the autopilot's gonna maybe screw me. Okay, we're good. Glad they stopped doing the online pass thing. Do they have an online pass for Castle Crashers? Refuse to play that game because you played it with every character. Yeah, that would that would that would burn you out on it for sure. Oh, during seventh gen. How's it going, Sergeant Major? This is Snowboard Kids Plus on the the Japanese PS1. This is uh, published by Atlas. It's mainly known for being on the N64. But yeah, there's a, a little known PS1 edition. It's actually pretty swanky. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, to try and stop, like, used game sales. Right, they had, like, the online passcode, yeah. Yeah, I was going Penguin. Alright, come on, we got this. Lap three. That almost hit me, wow. Yeah, most people either forget this was on PS1 or just didn't know in the first place. <laughs> Which is fair. It's a, it's a pretty obscure version of the game. Okay, that should hit one of them. Dude, she is right behind me. Yo? We good? You beat the game on insane mode? Yeah, I can't even imagine. <laughs> any any game mode that's named like crazy, insane, nightmare mode. I'm like, yeah, uh, no, I'm good. Man, we keep getting rocks. Hopefully, we're good here. End of the last lap, we're in first. Looking solid. Boom shakalaka. I forget, is there a look back button? I don't think there is. Alright, three maps down. I think six to go, if I remember right. We're racking up some stacks, too. Uh, we can upgrade our board. I'm trying to remember how expensive the, the top end board was. I guess we'll check and find out. I think, I, I think it's more than what we have. Board booth. So level two is eleven thousand, which we do have. Level three is twenty-two thousand, though. And I think, if I remember right, I think you can skip level two and go straight to level three. So I think I'm gonna wait, especially because we've still been getting first. We're just gonna try and go straight for level three, I think. Playing Nightmare on Doom right now, it's not going very well. Yeah, like. I mean, I, occasionally I want a challenge in my game, but I also want to enjoy it. And I find when things are that stressful, you know, the difficulty level is that high, it becomes a lot harder for me to enjoy it. You're still on the fifth level. Which, which Doom is this? Is this 2016 Doom? Is this Eternal? Or are we talking like OG Doom? Go! Can video games be enjoyed, Frowny? 
I mean, that's the idea at the end of the day. You're doing SNES OG, okay. The, the concept is to enjoy them, Frowny. <laughs> Only pain. Pain and pain alone. Yeah, Frowny chooses pain sometimes. I can relate. I'm a fellow pain chooser as well, occasionally. I've had my fair share of pain. Cruising USA RA. That, that freaking Scooby-Doo RA, of all the things. Man, that one was insane. That winter bobsled level. I've definitely had some fighting games where I bit off more than I could chew. I was like, I could handle hard mode on this one. And then I play it for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> I like to think I've gotten smarter though. You'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. What was that N64 one? Um, was I doing retro achievements? I think for uh, RA I've done... Oh, Scooby-Doo. Um, no, this was the PS1 version. I actually don't know if I played the N64 Scooby-Doo. Is there, is there a version of Cyber Chase on, on N64? Yeah, because it was Cyber Chase on the PS1. That was a good Invisiboard. Love to see it. Cancel Crashers DLC is only on Steam. Damn. Presumably it'll come later. Classic Creep Capers. Yeah, I haven't played that one. Yeah, the one I badged was uh, Cyber Chase on, on PS1. And I gotta flex a little over Juker. I believe Juker left that that last bobsled achievement <laughs> unclaimed. In fact, there's a lot of people on RA that gave up on that one, and I, I don't blame them. Because it took way too freaking long compared to the rest of that. I feel like this game could use a bit more speed. The the N64 version's a little better about it. Yeah, this this version, unfortunately, the frame rate's slower, so it is generally also slower. Um, but I mean, even on N64, these games are never like crazy fast. We'll get faster when I upgrade the board too. That'll make things a bit quicker. I thought I wasn't gonna make that for a second. This is a really good shortcut, by the way. It saves a decent amount of time. I usually have more trouble landing it than, than I am here. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Oh, that was awkward. Cool Borders plays a lot faster. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, if you compare it to something like Cool Borders, yeah, it is gonna, it is gonna seem faster for sure. I prefer, I personally prefer this to Cool Borders, but... I don't know, I, I almost wouldn't even compare them. Cool Borders is more so a... I wouldn't say a simulator, but... It's more like arcade, kind of more realistic arcade action, whereas this is like, it's almost like a kart racer. With the items and power-ups. Rude game, rude. We do have one more lap. We can still win this. Oh, come on. Autopilot screwing us over there. Hate to see it. Yeah, sorry, Franny, if I missed it too. Uh, which version of Punch Out were you playing? Curious as to whether it was like NES, 
Super Nintendo N64, or not N64, the Wii version. Cool Burgess 2 was your first PlayStation game? Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad one to start with, for sure. I, I probably should honestly give those a bit more of a chance. I haven't, I haven't played too much of them, honestly. They're, they're early, they're early PS1 games, though, especially those first few. He's doing the NES version? Okay. Yeah, that's a tough one. I've, I've never tried to fully tackle that one myself. Done a little bit of SNES. I've actually beat the Wii version. I would say, I would say, Franny, if you like the NES version, you should eventually check out the Wii edition. Cool Borders 2 is 97. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it was a popular franchise, too. I mean, there was, what, like, four of them on the PS1 alone? Four or five just on the PS1? Like, they went hard. Yeah, they, they pumped them out there for a bit. Okay, we're gonna throw the ghost. I don't think it'll attack me. Yeah, I don't think I can hit myself with it, so we'll throw it out here. 2001 was on PS2. Was that the only Cool Borders that came out for PS2? Did that kill the franchise? Oh, it was on both? It was on PS2 and PS1? One of the rare, like, cross-gen releases. Efri, you want a PS1 game? You're emulating PS1 on 3DS. Yo, I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of cool. Push the limits of the emulator? Uh, what is a... What is a hardware push in PS1 game? Like a late release... A good question. Maybe like Ridge Racer Type 4 would be a good one. Or uh, Ninja Shadow of Darkness, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Legacy of Kane would be a good one too, for sure. Kensei, that's such a random one, Wesley. Kensei Sacred Fist. Not my favorite fighting game on the system. Alright, Grass Valley. Oh, that's right. It does have a high res mode, doesn't it? Yeah, any of the Spyro games would be good picks. I mean, how much money do I have here? Nineteen grand. All right, we need we need like three grand more before we get the the next board. Bro, I should have eaten a bigger dinner. I'm like starving. <laughs> 2001 ditched the cartoony art style for a realistic one. Didn't work out. Yeah, it sounds like it. Spyro, Ridge Racer. Yeah, I think those are good picks. If you want to ask which Spyro, I'd personally go... I'd personally go Ripto's Rage. It's probably my favorite. Although all three are great. If I have to choose one, Ripto's Rage. This is not snow. I, I don't. I think grass board kids didn't quite have the same ring to it, though. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I think I think two I like the most just because it strikes that balance of gimmicks versus just core gameplay. It's kind of like Crash. It's just like they got like progressively more gimmicky. And I feel like 2 just straddles the line better. Ironically, I like Crash 3 the most, actually. So while 2 is officially estimated to push the PS1 to 90% of its potential. Really? 90%. Bong Crash 1 is your favorite. 
started at all, right? Yeah, yeah, it's frustrating for sure. But yeah, like, exactly. You never forget, like, Bridge to Nowhere, right? It's like, after playing it, you're never gonna forget. <laughs> the valid point. And, and then, and then you learn that you can, you can actually walk the ropes on that level and it becomes significantly easier. That shit blew my mind. Was with the crash bash. <laughs> or did I? The bash crash. The crash bash? Words are hard. Yeah, you know, at least the first crash, for all its flaws and its warts, it ain't it ain't bash. That's for damn sure. It ain't this friggin' game. There, it'll sit right there. It'll it'll taunt me. You think fumbling in the dark is harder than the bridge level? Oh yeah, once you know the trick on the bridge levels, they're not as bad. Yo, know, Torn, thank you for the lurk. Cash brash? <laughs> now we're just making up words. Making up word orders. Generator City. Yes, yeah, toward the end of the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's some tough ones toward the end, too, for sure. The visibility on that state. Yeah, there's some draw distance. Limitations on that first one for sure. Well, I think some of it was just some of it was aesthetic. Like I think on some of those later levels, those 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 dark low draw distance ones, it's like Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog made a decision there. They're like trying to trip you up. Should have jumped there. Don't find the bridge levels that hard. What even even without the the rope trick? <laughs> One of the lucky few. I find it would be a pain in the ass. I almost always use the ropes. Hit them! Come on! There we go. When they're getting slowed. Damn! I was doing well there. Shin's just Shin's just flexing. <laughs> All right, it's been a while. Maybe if I played him now, I wouldn't I wouldn't find him nearly so bad. God gamer. I mean, hey, everybody's gotta have their accomplishments, right? Everybody's gonna have their yeah, I did that kind of moment. It's not that hard. Just gotta get good. <laughs> Damn game. That's why you never want to be middle of the pack. You just constantly get thrown stuff at. Oh my god, please. Hit him with the pans. They stole the box. Get it? The you can beat Saints for a four in twelve minutes and not even be in the house. Well, yeah, because you're 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 cross playing it, right? You're playing it on your your hand, your Vita. You're streaming it while on the bus, like a true gamer would. Gotta shoot these at him. Uh, those aren't gonna hit. Can I get? Can I snipe it? I can. Yes, dude. That was clean. Vita is life. Vita is life. Dude, I still feel bad. I should have bought a Vita. I feel like I was part of the problem. 
I loved my PSP, and then like everybody else that loved their PSP, like none of us bought Vitas. It's not too late. <laughs> I don't think Sony's gonna re resupport the system at this point. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, I think I think some of the onus was on Sony though to have a better a better games lineup than they did. Sent that before the other half fair. <laughs> well, and I don't. Admittedly, I don't do much handheld gaming anymore. If anything, I might pick up a PS TV, but those are those are kind of shot up. I mean, if I'm gonna play any of it, I'm gonna stream it. You know. I don't think there's any way to get video out of a Vita traditional handheld. You know. I, I think I may have missed my, my chance on the, the PS TVs, though. They used to be so much cheaper. They've shot way the hell up. Yeah, you know, I, I, well, that's that's another aspect where they kind of fumbled. It's like, bro, the OG PSP. At least, I don't think the 1000 did, but the 2 and the 3000. Yeah, the 2 and the 3000 had that component out. Shit was great. Remember when PSTVs were on clearance for like 10 bucks? Yeah, now they're like, good luck getting them for a reasonable price. It's unfortunate. Otherwise, I'd totally pick one up. That's kind of just, the, is unfortunately, the gaming market in general. It's like, a lot of this shit is like, man, this used to be reasonable, now it's not. <laughs> what the hell happened? Mm -hmm. Luckily, I've got most of what I feel like. At least in terms of hardware, what I need. The only things I'm missing at this point are the Vita... I have no way really of doing 3DS unless I emulate. And then other than that, it's really just, it's really just like N64 Dreamcast. Those are like the couple big ones I'm missing. There was a third I was thinking of the other day. Well, I guess GameCube. I have a GameCube, but I just don't have the, the proper hookups to stream it yet. Can't believe 360's been hit with FOMO spikes. Well, what I don't get about that is, like, even the physical games are shooting way up, and it's like, this store closure is not going to make the physical games dry up. You know what I mean? Like, it's just weird that... I think everybody just got reminded that the 360's a console that exists, and that's cool because of this store closure. And I'm like, the physical games aren't going to go anywhere, though. So to me, it's it's strange they've shot up as much as they have. Just went through all this with the 3DS. That market is mostly normalized at this point. Was there a big s surge in 3DS stuff? All right, we've got the top speed board. We are on course five, six. We're on Dino Park. New 3DS systems were flying out for like 300 bucks. Oh shit, why'd I hit level one? Damn it. <laughs> I meant to choose level three. You had to have a system to use their eShop on, but still. Limited edition consoles were even more screwed. Oh, right. okay, so the 3DS eShop was closed, so people were buying them. Cause they're like, shit, I'm gonna need this. Well, I guess we'll, do I try this with this board? Kind of handicapping myself. I guess we're, we're here, we'll try it. Fuck it. It'll make the board even more special when we get to use it next track. Yeah. 
Mario Golf was over $80. And it's Mario Golf. Like, you, you know that there's tons of copies of that. Ooh, I almost hit that. That was really close. That's what blows my mind about GameCube right now, too. It's like Sunshine is like a $60 game or something. I'm like, how many how many copies of Sunshine exist out there? Like, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes, the spinning teacups. <laughs> oh, my God, that totally killed my momentum. People move on to the next FOMO thing. Yep, that's how it goes. Oh, we've exhausted the FOMO here. Let's move it to something else. And then we'll all freak out about that. I don't know. I, I kind of enjoy it as long as it keeps eyes off the shit I like buying. <laughs> I'm like, all right, fine by me. I'll be over here buying my $5 PS1 and Famicom games. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way I look at it. You know? Same, same way I view... You know, the region of the game that you're buying. I'm like, so much of the games I like are like this, right? Like, they're super arcadey. You know, maybe they're fighting games. Maybe they're racing games. Like, bro, it does not matter to me whether or not I have a U.S. copy or a Japanese copy. And when the Japanese copy is, like, a quarter of the price or less, I'm like, bro, I'm just, I'm just going to buy the Japanese copy. <laughs> I have pretty much everything you could want on 360 and an RGH system to play anything you could want but didn't have. Yeah, right. Seems to you like people taking advantage of others. I mean, I don't I don't think it's that. I mean, ultimately, like, people are going to buy what they want to buy. Right? And if people get caught up in the FOMO, I don't know. That's kind of more their fault than whatever resellers are, you know, maybe making bank at that time. Yeah, how's it going, Electro? Good seeing you, man. Hopefully you're doing well. We're just playing some snowboard kids on PS1. Getting hit with pots and pans here. <laughs> we are doing first, though, despite me selecting the wrong board, so that's good. I mean, specifically seeking out the kind of stuff you could realistically buy every copy on eBay and then hoard. I mean, yeah, for those doing that, that's kind of bullshit, but I mean, that's bullshit regardless of FOMO playing a factor. People will do that just on random games. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, especially, like, if they're kind of obscure or hard to find. Like, there doesn't even have to be FOMO involved. How's it going? Shin, having a, ha going to bed? Take care. Thanks for being here. You don't have 2,000 copies of Sneak King. I will never own more than one copy of Sneak King. Unless somebody sends me another one, but I don't I don't I don't want another one. I actually do have two copies of, of Big Bumpin' though. Yeah, almost everybody I think associates this with the N64, which is Totally fair. But yeah, the, the first game got an expanded version on PS1. Japan only, though. So it is, it's it's a pretty little-known game. It definitely doesn't play as well as the N64 version in terms of, like, frame rate. But it's a little bit easier. And uh, they do add, like, cutscenes kind of an interesting addition. Alright, we're crushing it. We're in the lead. By a decent margin here. 
Nice. <laughs> we get rock. I paid 100 gold for a rock. with the hydrate I don't know why the uh, I noticed that earlier some of the some of the channel point rewards aren't showing up in chat kind of weird don't know what that's about twitch being twitch probably boing oh shit double boing <laughs> They almost remind me, those teacups remind me of like the bumpers on pinball tables. Practically the same effect. Dude, we are crushing, look at how far ahead we are. Oh, dude, we're, we're in it to win it. I didn't even need the faster board. AI's getting showed up here. Bro, it's a it's an absolute wreck. Total demolish. Easy. All right, we got three more tracks, and then we're out of five thousand. Thank you for the GG. We got the copper pass. I believe next up is Quicksand Valley, which is, I would argue, the hardest map in the game. So we'll see how we do. I heard a Spider-Man friend or foe on PS2. I have heard of it. I've not played it. I don't know much about it. Other than apparently it's decent. But yeah, I, I couldn't tell you too much. you would never heard of it. I don't know how well it sold. Oh, you saw it on eBay? How much is it going for? All right, we are gonna use the level three. Although, actually, this might work against me because this is admittedly one of the harder maps. I think I think on the N64 version, I actually had to switch to a slower board to help me out. We'll see how we do. This this is always kind of the, the hump I gotta get over. $70, okay. Yeah, some of them in Spider-Man games. Kind of wild. Got some tight turns in here. Oh, brand new. I was gonna. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I'm like, I don't think that game is that much, but I also haven't looked in a while. Oh my god, that almost hit me. That did hit me. <laughs> Invisiboard. I missed the shot. I think I want to go right here. If I remember right. Yeah, I remember there being a couple specific turns through here that were really challenging. Yep, here we are. Fucking rip. Shit, dude. Yeah, see, you don't want to be here when you can't really move. All right, note to self, uh, let's not go this way next time. Yikes. Although I think with the right setup and the right board and everything, it is faster. Yeah, because you get this cut through here, which is actually pretty significant. I don't know. Stupidly, it might still be worth it. 
I'm actually not that far behind, even with all all that nonsense we went through. Damn, they invisiboarded. Yeah, my guess on, on friend or foe is probably, like, CIB more like 2030. Or maybe less, actually, if new is 70. Hard to say. Friend or foe is also on Wii and 360. It's PS2, Wii, and 360. What an odd smattering of consoles. I guess things were like that, that gen, though. It's kind of a weird generation for cross-platform releases. Like, across generations, too. Kind of a strange time. 12 to 30, huh? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try this again. See if I can get it. No, I just slow down too much. And fuck. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have to like awkwardly hop here. DS and PSP classic. Gotta have the weird handheld editions too. Bro, see, like, I'm still almost caught up. That's the wild part about that... that route. And even with me falling a bunch of times, it's still faster. Wii version's the cheapest that checks out for sure. Wii versions are usually the cheapest, because the fewest people actually want them. It's very... No, dude! I was just about to say, it's very important that we're first here and don't get hit by anything. Son of a bitch. Tommy Big Sad. Come on, Tommy, you can do it. That was painful. Actually tragic. Legit tragic. Tragedy strikes, dude. What can you do? We're so behind. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Help me out, game. Help me out. The crazy part about this game is we could actually come back from this. Like, this game has so much crazy rubber banding that we could actually still win here. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna go this way this time. Hopefully this pays off. That's a good item. That's a good item. Make sure we hit that jump. This part's kind of tricky. Like I said, this part's kind of tricky. <laughs> there we go. Come on. No, I missed the jump. I thought I made it in time. I thought I made it in time. I did not make it in time. Uh, we need a miracle to happen here. Something's going to have to mess up like right at the end. If I can get a good defensive item too, like a ghost or a pan, that works too. Oh my god. Dude, where is first place? Where is first place? Where is first place? The pans. 
Give me something good. Just spam it out. Whatever it was. I don't even know. Oh, we were so close. Okay, we can. De we we definitely got this. We got this next time. Actually, I think maybe the third option down is restart. This might take me out to the main menu. Yeah. That's okay. Why is it the Owen Wilson? I'm ready. Wow, look at the noses on these guys. <laughs> I said a hip, a hop. The hippie to the hippie, the hip, a hip, a hop. And you don't stop rocking to the bang, bang, the boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, the beat. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that, was. I needed that. All right, we got this, guys. We got this. This is our time. To, it's Tommy's time to shine. She. Oh, 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 okay. We're fine. It's all good. Hit him with the ghost. So we have games released on multi-platforms. Remember a game that released on the Master System and the PlayStation? What? What game would that be? Are we talking like Duke Nukem? Yeah, that's a big Brazil moment, honestly. Oh, the Invisiboard's saving my ass. And then this is gonna ruin me, though. James Pond 2? Oh, right. But yeah, for some reason they released that in Europe on the on the PS1. Yeah, that was a weird one. It's a terrible video game. Featured in my Genesis Top 10 Worst. <laughs> Actually, that was the first James Bond. But close enough. Check out the YouTube. <laughs> Shameless plug. They port James Bond to everything, and I legit don't get it. I don't know why. Who likes him? Who likes that bastard? I need to know. Ooh, I almost hit that rock. Right there. Right there. The video coming up this Friday is gonna be all about the the versions of Wayne's World we played. All the all the Nintendo Wayne's World games. Look forward to that one. It, it is gonna feature the I think the best thumbnail I've ever made in my life. So proud of that thumbnail. In fact, I showed it the other day. I might show it at the end of the stream. Can you play James Pond in Doom? But can it run Doom? Run run Doom and James Pond or James Pond and Doom? It's a pretty significant difference between those. Right, hit him with the pan. We're gonna use the fan. I actually might want to save this for lap three, honestly. That might be the play. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, dude. Rude game, rude? Rude.
Wipeout 2097 or Wipeout XL in America had an official Amiga port. It needs a pretty upgraded Amiga to play, but apparently it's not bad. That is shocking. Who would win in a fight, Doom Guy or James Pond? Is this a trick question? <laughs> I feel like the obvious answer is Doom Guy, but I'm sure some James Pond fanatic could like actually explain why James Pond would win. OG Doom Guy or Dwayne the Doom Johnson? Dwayne the Doom Johnson. All right, we're first, even with this damn ghost on us. Ooh, they're getting messed up. This is good for us. This is good for us. This is excellent news. Yeah, you know some, like, James Pond fanatic would be like, well, actually, uh, James Pond could just swim away. Doom guy can't even touch water. Checkmate. <laughs> it's like you already know. You already know there'd be somebody. If it's the rocks, Doom, you, you go James Pond. Damn, son. Savage, honestly. Actually? Yeah, it has to go to snuggle. Um, actually? You would be, you would be mistaken to think that. You'd be incorrect. Yeah, this is this is why I saved this. Oh, dude, that was so much better, so much better through there. See, that made that made that part actually playable, and then I missed the jump. Good thing they missed. This is gonna be really close, y'all. I should end every video with checkmate. That would be kind of funny, honestly. Um, so that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Checkmate. You're wrong. Anybody that disagrees, checkmate. Okay, fuck, I'm third. This this did not go how I envisioned. Hit him with the pans. We gotta play cheap. Yo, Dunk, thank you for the lurk. Can I get an invisiboard? No, I get a rock. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't need it. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That is the ticket. You'll love to see it. That wasn't too bad. Yo, that pyramid in the back is glitching the hell out, though. All right. We got the silver pass. Start every video with, I'm Jank Jesus and you're not, like Chevy Chase. Uh, what can I tell you? I don't know. I'm more of a, I'm more of like a Dennis Miller era weekend update fan. I gotta admit. That's the news, and I am out of here. All right, we got two more. Silver Mountain. Yeah, this is like a, I almost timed this perfectly. Two maps. We got like ten minutes. And it might take us a little bit longer, but that's okay. These ones are significantly less difficult than, than Quicksand Valley, though. So I imagine if we don't get these first try, it's going to be like second try, maybe. Ready? I'm already getting flashbacks from this one, though, when we did RA, though. We, we had to play this map so many times. <laughs> yeah, Dennis Miller was fantastic. I really think so. He's he's my favorite weekend update host. Um, not not to say I think he's the best. 
he'd be up there. He'd be in the running. I think others would argue. You know, I lot I know a lot of people like Michael Che and Colin Jost. You know, the current anchors. I think they're great as well. Yeah, they they briefly put him on Monday Night Football, which was a really strange choice. I mean, I think Miller's a sports fan, but still, you're just like Dennis Miller, color commentary. Uh, uh, okay, I guess so. When I I kind of loved it because just like his weird, you know, kind of archaic's not the the right word, but. You know, a lot of his a lot of his humor was like you either got it or you didn't, which almost kind of makes it funnier even if you don't understand it. You know, he's like just pissing off a whole bunch of people, just like what what is this guy talking about? <laughs> yeah, how's it going, Sega Dave? Good morning. Welcome to the stream. We're just playing some PS1 snowboard kids. We're getting a lot of rocks here, damn. Yeah, like I said, though, guys, I mean, Quicksand Valley, I, I still think, is the hardest map. It's one rocky map, and they weren't kidding. Oh, dude, this, this, this area here, I'm getting flashbacks. Because we had to beat the time trials on the N64 version for, for retro achievements. And I remember, like, being at that final portion and just, like, staring at the clock and hoping we were doing well enough. So much of this game is just burned into my memory now. Alright, do I use the propeller? I think we do. We're gonna use the fan. We got rock again, and it helps to jump. You kind of have to preempt those jumps a little bit. I don't know what I don't know what it is with the PS1 and jumping lately. Same with toe ball. <laughs> Having some jump issues. I think I think it was some of it is like you get so accustomed on like 2D like uh, some especially some bad 2D platformers where it's like yeah you have to jump like with half the character off the edge of the platform before before you press the button or else you're not gonna make it. Whereas like in a PS1 game like if you're touching the ledge and you try to jump it's probably already too late. I think weekend update fell off when Colin Quinn took over. Colin followed Norm, right? Yeah, I mean, Colin Quinn seems like a nice enough guy, but I don't know if he was enough of a personality to really hold Weekend Update. Yeah, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, that was, that was a power duo. Oh, he was after Kevin Nealon. Okay, right. Kevin Kevin was another one that... Like, I really like Kevin Nealon, but I, I definitely think he was a better... regular cast member than an update host. Man, that ghost is hitting us hard. Colin Quinn's turned into tough crowd. <laughs> actual tough crowd, or is that is that a show? Sorry, I I actually am not sure. It was a show. Okay, I was like, I th I thought he was just saying tough crowd all the time, which I mean valid. Sometimes sometimes on weekend update the crowd was tough. <laughs> Especially with Norm. 
which I kind of loved. I feel like Norm was one of the few people, one of the few entertainers on SNL that like actually like thrived when, when the crowd was not having it. <laughs> like he almost got, he almost got a kick out of like the crowd not responding. It was like a news panel show with comedians. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it probably would have been a better fit for him than, than just like the standard weekend update format. But I think what was the weirdest to me on SNL was when they have David Spade do like Spade in America, which was basically just weekend update, but it wasn't. Like it was a separate thing. But it was a basically Spade doing Weekend Update, just not on Weekend Update. You don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if it lasted very long. The only reason I remember it is because he made that joke about Eddie Murphy. He was like, "Hey kids, look, a falling star, make a wish." Which is <laughs> just, just like the most savage shit. You remember that though? Was that no? That was that was David Spade. I think that was on Spade in America, or maybe he was on Update. I don't know anymore. It's been too long. All right, come on, lap three. They're like right behind us. Please don't screw me here. Can this ghost wear off? Holy shit! Give me the fan. Okay, we got it. The propeller clutched it. I'm not sure I would have gotten that otherwise. All right, guys, one track left. One track left. Yeah, I don't think Dennis Miller ever went that savage. We got the gold pass. Yeah, do I remember the last map? I'm getting... Oh, wait. Wait a second, what? Was that it? Wait a minute, what? No, there's more. There's another track. Hold on, game. Or there's not. I, that's credits, okay. Do I remember Dennis Miller's talk show? Yeah, on HBO? Or I've, I've watched some of the, the YouTube clips with him and like Dana Carvey. Man, some of those are so funny. Surprised this didn't get a release over here. It's honestly a shame. It's a really good version of the game. Thank you for the GG's. Yeah, guys, I think with that, we are going to bid farewell for the evening. Earth, thank you for the bits and the big GG. I mean, luckily a game like this is pretty, pretty playable still. Even, even without it being English language. Yeah, it's just kind of a bummer. You have to have like an import system to play it. All right, we are definitely raiding Maccas tonight. His stream title is playing questionable PS5 games. Oh my God, he's playing Grey Hill. Oh, no, we're raiding him, 100%. I was already sold by the title. Now that I see he's playing Grey Hill Incident, that's a raid. And you know, you know he's gonna be like, Kyle, you, you, you convinced me to play this. I'm like, I told you not to. So yeah, have a great night, everybody. We'll be back again tonight. Thank you for being here. I'm not sure what we're doing next stream. Maybe some more GameCube. In fact, that's, that's, that's probably a good chance that's what I'll do. But yeah, have a great night, everybody. Say hi to Mac. Yell at him about Grey Hill. Take care, everyone.